What? That's a super pro order. Yeah. No. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Bally Live Poker, live from the Tropicana, fabulous city of Las Vegas. Uh, we're playing a nice cash game today, a 100, 100 plus 100, 10K minimum buy-in, no cap. I have some pretty big stacks today, going to be a really big and fun game. I am not by myself in the booth today. I am joined today by Mr. Brendan Schiller. Hey, Brendan, how's it going? Hey, Brian, how you doing? Doing great, doing great. Uh, I think this is your first time commentating. It's my first time commentating. Word on the street is this is going to be a really wild game. And oh, I'm yeah. This is going to be join you. very wild game. We're going to have a lot of fun today. So uh, there are a couple minutes from getting started. Um, yeah, so today's game, uh, like I said, is going to be really great. Uh, as you can see here, our short stack today is Mooch, and our big stack today is Aces uh, in for $40,000. I don't think we're running any V-Pip game or stand-up game or seven deuce yet, but I'm sure that stuff is going to happen pretty early in. So the marketing said there's going to be a big name tournament player that's going to join this cash game. Oh yeah, we've got uh, Mr. Alex Foxen coming on over. Um, he's running a couple minutes late, but he'll be sitting down very shortly. You guys will see him in probably about 40 minutes from now. Mooch playing the Doyle from the hijack, flopping that uh, beautiful mid pair. In Chicago, the 6-4 is called the Elgin Nut from the JK that he's the playing. Doyle. Elgin Nut. Oh, that's a fun. It's what it's called. It's a fun name. I've not heard that before. Uh, Elgin is a city just outside of Chicago. Elgin's a city outside of Chicago. There's a there's a riverboat casino where there's a lot of poker played, known for wild poker play. Nice. Awesome. I guess 6-4 suited being the Elgin Nuts makes sense then. It didn't hold up that time. No. <laughs> Of course, if you're joining us today, there are a couple different ways to watch. You can obviously, you can watch it on YouTube, join our chat there, but we also have the Bally Live app. Why you might want to check it out there is because it is, is it, it is actually the absolute best place to watch the show in terms of our streaming quality. So if you want the highest place to watch, Great. come check out the Bally Live app. Also on the Bally Live app, not only do we have poker, but it's also the home of minor league baseball. And of course, we have a fan center there where you can chat and hang out with people just like you can on YouTube. So please check it out. It looks like we already have a big hand developing open uh, from a KJ from Will with a king and a jack and a three four a three bet a four bet from the ace queen from JK. Yeah. I got the confused KJ by the, the, K, the JK yeah, and the yeah. KJ. We're just and, starting. Uh, Will's gonna call with this king jack. Pretty loose peel, but uh, he is here to battle. Oh look at the flop. He flops top pair. JK there with the four bet has that gutter ball to go with. Being the four better you generally want to keep applying aggression and he is going to do so. Looks like he is continuation betting you know, one thing I've already learned is a, uh, Ace Queen doesn't have as much equity on a King 10 3 flop as I thought they would. I yeah, guess. It still does pretty well. 18%. Decent number of outs. Turn 4 of spades. Kind of an awkward spot here for JK now. You know, when your opponent calls, they can have some really strong hands here, as you can see here, having this top pair good kicker. But that is not going to deter JK here from firing a double barrel. You know, we learned from JK that he's a young uh, Atlantean student who is into crypto, so I don't think he minds taking some risks. Yeah, we have a very crypto-heavy game today. We'll hear a pretty easy decision for him to continue. It's just a matter of does he want to call or jam. This is, of course, our second hand of the day, and we're looking at a $22,000 pot. Halloween. Halloween. I, I still didn't really get that joke. 
Huh? Nine of oh, diamonds on okay. the river. Like no, I think that's a little interesting because that completes a, a straight that could have been in there. Queen although Jack probably does not. get there. Oh. Oh. JK just goes for it. JK knows he does not have any showdown. He blocks on the strongest hands that Will can have. He blocks Ace King, he blocks King Queen, he blocks Queen Jack. So pretty understandable spot for him to put Will in, but this is still a tough bluff to make. Yeah, I, I don't think you can ever fold here if you're Will out, can you? I, you... I mean, it's a tough spot for sure. Um, you know, it's not that much more to him, so he's getting pretty good odds, but his opponent is telling him that he has King Jack beat. Yeah. He's basically representing ace aces. king up there, aces, ace yeah. king, kings. I'm not like slamming it. In the Which a lot of those hands you do have blocked with king jack. But. Yeah. So that's why Will might call, but still a very tough call to make, even though it's only for this amount of money. Oh, he got it through. Wow, that is a great yeah. bluff by JK there. That is a discipline <laughs> hold there by Will. Ace king, we talked about it. 100%. And he shows. Ace queen. Yeah. Oh. That is a fire start. Like, <laughs> he is coming in cooking. He is just going for it and getting it through. He three barrel bluff through top pair, and then he showed it. It's not only a fire start, but it starts a little fire at the table. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> wow, I mean, a really tight fold. Okay. Sick. I pulled to the king. Oof. Bring that is like, pretty tough. That's so yeah, fun. Yeah. <laughs> I had to go for it. Little yeah, you went all the way. I just... So just before coming to this game, I understand Will was down like maybe a hundred grand at a Bellagio table and then tripled up all in three ways with Jack. Yeah, it's Jack. No, no, it's a pretty sick spot. It's far. Um, yeah. So do y'all want to do seven deuce game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, How much do you want to bounce? Because I had seven deuce and I was like, fuck, do I make a play? Or? They're already starting. They're already starting with the seven deuce game. They're, this is going to be a fun game. Uh, Definitely. 100, 200? Yeah, 300, 300. 300. 200 and uh, whoever uh, the last guy pays 400? Yeah. That's fine. $200 a person, last person paying 400. Make sure uh, showed up. Uh, 200 bounty on seven deuce. You, you and the last seven deuce game? Fold. Yeah. Seven deuce. 200 a man cool with you. To fold to the seven deuce page. Yeah, last guy to fold 400. Okay. Okay. Shota is always down. And if uh, they <laughs> win with seven deuce, it's just whoever. Yeah, seven deuce game. Uh, the other thing I noticed, Ryan, this is a very young game. Yeah. 200 yeah. and 400 for the last guy. Uh, a lot of crypto guys in this game. Not surprising. Wait, that's a that's game was a seven deuce, seven deuce, seven deuce. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Colin here, ace nine suited, raising to three hundred. Colin is from Atlanta. He actually went to high school with Ian, and he is currently a Virginia Tech student. Wow. <laughs> Will's Will. back in. Yep. With the king, with the king jack. Check to you. Uh, same back. Cold. And he takes it down. Yeah, nice little see about there by Will. He cut my steak Good aggression. Great to see. No. So he had the he had the, the open and straight draw and the backdoor flush draw, but he actually had less equity than the ace, but he still took it down with the C bet. Oh, we should wait for him to do it. Yeah, consistent aggression like that is often what it takes to do it. Oh, here you go. Anything else? <laughs> Got my steak up. I need to eat it. I'm too busy playing hands. Oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah, okay. Jeez. So it's currently seven handed. It may go to nine handed. So. Yep. It is going to go up to nine handed. We have Mr. Alex Fox then on his way and a friend of his. Thank you. Another three bet pot, Will three betting the Queen Jack from the straddle. Ooh, got a bit of a cooler here. It's top pair, good kicker from Will and showed it with top top. Unless Will gets lucky with some scare cards, uh, he is definitely going to go broke here. Will is definitely mixing it up a lot early. Yeah. He's putting himself in some tough spots. All in. Wow. Yep. Getting it in. One time. One time. One time. One time. 
already. First yeah. time. One yeah. time. I'll pick him then. Oh, okay. Looks okay. like we got a one time here to start from Will. He does have some backdoor straight draw possibilities. Yeah, there's you know. a couple different ways to find a win here. About 20%. There's equity. some chop outs too, running 6-6, six, six, sure. running 9-9, nine, nine, eh? <laughs> There's some possibilities. There's some hopes and dreams and aspirations. That's the nice thing about poker is there is always hope until that river card hits. Oh, well, that gives them some more outs. That extra gutter ball gives them um, four more outs here. 17% yet. Uh, does not get there. Well, it's good he tripled up on those jacks before he came over here. For sure, for sure. Shota, of course, longtime uh, game regular. He is from Japan, originally uh, from Tokyo, and he is a bracelet winner. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. What? He won a bracelet, I think, in uh, 2021, I want to say. I might have been a short deck. I'm not 100% certain. But, yep, 2021 bracelet winner. Of course, we have another bracelet winner joining the game in about 25 minutes for y'all, maybe 30, Mr. Alex Foxen. Game's already starting off uh, nice and hot. We have uh, an all-in. We had a 40K pot earlier with an all-in, and we're four hands in. We're four hands in. Um, Will's played three and been on the bad side of two of them and has to, already had to rebuy. And the, uh, yeah, the young Atlanteans seem to be playing well. <laughs> That's JK um, and AA, actually. Uh, yeah, I think AA is Alex. Oh, he's from Miami. From actually. Miami, um, but loves big pa uh, cash games, playing basketball. Where is someone? And it was Colin and Ian who went to school together in yep. Atlanta. Exactly. Okay. Got anything, Ian? Uh, looks like we're going to this flop four ways. Including with the eight three, the famous eight three off. The Octocrab. Shout out to Cairo. <laughs> Looks like Ian's going to continuation bet his mid pair of queens. Now do you, you just hit the ace? You got a big, so big flick? the eight three's big continuing flick. with the bottom pair. You want to you want to boss me? I'm hard to boss. Yeah. Bad idea. Yeah. M Mooch I mean, says I mean, all he does 24 hours a day is sports bet. So it's not surprising he's willing to play the 8-3 and continue after that flop. Yeah, he is a passionate sports better. Uh, generally he bets uh, basketball. I wonder if you got there on the You know, this is an interesting bluff card. A, a flush gets there at the end. If you're going to play 8-3, maybe you try. And he does. Nice. That is, uh, that is a fun bluff. Talks about being tough to bluff, and now he's going to run one himself. Don't you find uh, poker players often project what they are afraid of and what they're willing to do? Yeah, I feel like that's play? just like a thing in life. Yeah. So Payne O'Brien from the... Uh, <laughs> I probably have, I might Payne O'Brien's trying to troll us from the chat. <laughs> he wants to know what a brace the winner yeah, is. Still crab. <laughs> Yep. The Octo Crab. Uh, Mooch yeah. knows. Yeah, he buffed with it. What the fuck is Octo Crab? 18. Mooch. Mooch. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice. I didn't know that, by the way. I just, Nate, Nate, Nate likes the Octo Crab, our friend. So. <laughs> Shout out to Nate. I want to give my shot. Oh, I need to. Did you text him and give him a link? Yeah, I did. Okay. 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 How many, how many times you have the Octo Crab beat? Yeah, I had the Octo Crab beat. That was a nice little bluff there. You know, turning a pair into a bluff can be pretty tough. <laughs> and it's great to see Mooch pull it off. Yeah, I think that was a really impressive play. Well, I sewed the other one, too. Okay. Oh, action, huh? I had a five, man. My outs were dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 Uh, this game, it is a 100, 100 plus 100 ante. Uh, but we're often seeing straddles. <laughs> I'm serious. 
It's, it was happening on the Jacksonville stream. Oh, okay. I didn't. It is, it, it, everything yeah. that was promised yeah, in terms of action pack just a few minutes got the flop back. back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Technology oh. just can't keep up with you. 1500. Raise the 15. Oh. Oh. the three bet with the uh, King Jack again, which is. A light three bet, but he happens to be in really good shape against the uh, Jack Knight suited. Yeah, pretty lucky there to have uh, Aces uh, dominated there with Jack Knight suited. Oh, and what a flop. Make it a G. Aces would think he's probably good here, no? Yeah, this top pair you'd think is going to be in pretty great shape. And he's going to call this $1,000 C bet. Pretty typical C bet spot, and definitely an easy call. And unfortunately, the turn's lower than a jack, so it doesn't really scare. Yeah, he's going to have some pretty tough decisions here. Here we go. 3,000. <laughs> so that was like a 60% pot bet. Oh. Colin's best hand stays the best hand on the river, and he picks up two pair. Unfortunately for him, this Jack Nine is going to be kind of worried about this king. Yeah, that that probably let, that may let the Jack Nine so, get away. What's your name again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you from Vegas or? No, um, Jersey. Jersey. Okay. Yeah. Um, where do you like to play poker at? Um, Vegas and LA. Vegas and LA. You may know some of my friends. If you play like high stakes, do you play any PLO? No. no. Okay. I have a friend who plays really big PLO that lives in Jersey, so. Who, Eugene? Oh. <laughs> Eugene. I figured you guys yeah, might know each we, other. Uh, definitely know Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> you just knew who he was instantly. That's hilarious. This made sense. Yeah. Call. Wow, the all-in call. The all-in shove for the pot size bet gets the call. I, I, I'm curious, Ryan, do you think that he was more likely to get a call there all in than, if, than less than a oh, yeah. all in. Yeah, I think when you jam there, you polarize a little bit. It's a little bit harder for you to have some one pair hands outside of like ace, king, and aces. You know, you're not going to be jamming like ace, jack there. And he did block two pairs. He unblocked all the main bluffs, you know, the ace, x of clubs, nine, eight of clubs, that type of stuff. So definitely a tough spot for him. I can't blame him for calling at all. Nice scroll. My opinion is pretty irrelevant. They're trying to they're trying to pump information from the sports better on who to bet in the Super Bowl. Did you know did you catch that? Mm. Definitely smart to do. Walter says he likes the Chiefs today. <laughs> I don't know. He like went on a radio show right? today and said he really? Yeah, yeah. but you know, like he might get like. Of course, everyone's asking him that question, so you know. Yeah, what I mean? like, yeah. I feel like the line is unbeatable at this point. Maybe not. It, it might as well be. <laughs> He's got to be trolling, right? Will's finally getting in there, maybe with the best of it, Ace Jack versus A Seven, and they both top top flop top pair. So he could maybe do well this hand. Definitely a tough flop here for for uh, Shota here. Flopping top pair and this three bet pot definitely going to lead to him losing some pretty big situations. Graphics are uh, catching up. It is. Uh, Ace, queen, eight, yeah. turn eight, I Maybe. do believe. <laughs> well, interestingly enough, that makes it a chop pot, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, graphics, there we go. Yep, ace, queen, eight, turn eight. It's currently a chop pot. I only go on the top two pairs. So not really Ian got bad. blown off of an ace over there. <laughs> no way you had an ace. Will value betting is ace jack for 1600. Ooh. Oh, look at that counterfeit river. That is a nice spicy river there for Will. I think Camden's going to try to. Well, I'm not, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to create a metagame. <laughs> I'll have to play into it. What? He thinks and he does it. I think he's gonna so I'm curious, would this be a situation where maybe Shota should have turned yeah. his ace into a bluff? Or no, no it's just too hard. definitely has way too much showdown value. You don't want to turn a hand that strong into a bluff ever. 
Usually when you're going to run a bluff, you're going to run a bluff with like, you know, a pair underneath or like King Jack or something. I was trying to think about what you had. How deep does it go? Too deep for you. Yeah. Have you played with any of these people before? Uh, no. Oh. Turns into me just going all in and seeing whatever happens. Never. Well, you, make sense. How much? How often do you play cash games? Huh? I know it's not focuses on you, but almost never. Okay. I've played on the Bally live stream twice, um, and I've played cash three other times in the last five years. That's it. Mooch opening with the ace jack suit is an early position. That's a nice looking. That's a pretty hand. So the queen three three bet from Colin is actually kind of. Uh, funny because the queen three is one of the most popular three bet oh, bluffs on Bally Live Poker. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, there are a couple different players who just love using queen three as a three bet. You think about it for a second. Nothing to think about when you have the notes. The speech play, if you listen, is very interesting. <clears throat> you could think about raising. I did. <laughs> I'm serious, I did. Blue chair flop, top pair, top kicker. Pretty safe board for him, even in this three-bet pot. Turns a nut flush to go with it. I think if you're Mooch, you're feeling very comfortable. I'm surprised it went check, check. Yeah, I mean, Colin isn't too thrilled about running a bluff on the turn here. Yeah, base king right now. Or seven deuce. Seven deuce is a big, big, big one. Go. How much time do I have, by the way? Go, you have 20 seconds. Base up 2,000. Oh, damn. I'm gonna lose a hundred dollars because I didn't count them out. Uh, I should have barreled. I should have barreled on you. Here you go. Oh yeah, I wish you would have barreled on me. I can't hear I'm telling you, I had a good hand. That's yeah, just, just not much yeah, coward. Clubs. I wish you would have barreled on me. <laughs> wow. God, you're so disciplined. You're such a nip. Disciplined with the queen three off three bet. So why is queen three such a big bluff hand? You talked me off the uh, So going to the chip counts here, JK is currently our big stack with 41.5. Ian, our short stack here with 9,500. Most of these players bought in for about 30 to 40K, besides for Muchini and Moody, bought in for 10. Colin, currently our big winner of the night, plus $15,000. Aces and Will currently throwing the party here. Will throwing a 16K and Aces throwing a 19K party after that uh, bluff catch. Our current VPIP leader, uh, Will, is our current VPIP leader at 66%. Ian currently our tight player at 11, but we're only nine hands in, so this has zero indication of how someone's going to be playing throughout the rest of the night. It's a pretty small sample size, but it's interesting to see nonetheless. Yeah, okay. Sure. Has it on to do with your lack of, like, willing to go for it? I think we should say that for those who have turned in for Alex Fox, and he will be here momentarily. Yeah, very soon. I, I'm looking forward to it, seeing him in this crowd of young players myself. He should be in the game in about 20 minutes. Okay. Running good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel as though the game tonight is one of the youngest games I've seen on a stream in a very long time. It's uh, it's one of the youngest games I've seen anywhere, honestly, and I'm I'm, uh, I'm both hopeful and surprised. I'm hopeful it means it's a bunch of young folks getting into poker. I'm a little concerned <laughs> that there's all these folks still relying on crypto and using the money to get into poker, which, based on our conversation, seems to be where where a lot of this money is coming from. Yeah, pretty much everyone here is a big crypto fan. Even Mooch is being a sports better. He's also into crypto some, but everyone else, yeah, really big into crypto, except for Will. Um, he owns a liquor store based out of New York. He says he's the biggest fish here, but I think that's him just being really humble. Well, self-defacing. Here we go. For sure. Uh, aces on the button opening this ace three offsuit. Uh, Mooch three betting from the small blind to 2,400. Colin cold four betting from the big blind to $5,000. And he's going to get that through. 
bad. Just a kind uh, of lucky bad. dynamic. Uh, I'll, 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 I'm, I like, you know, I, I show it. Sometimes I have to have a good hand, you know. Sometimes no, I don't. Sometimes have shit, I don't. Yeah. No, uh, uh, everyone gets stealth aces, you know. That is true. No, actually, I haven't had them all day. Oh, no, okay. I had a, I had a good hand. I should have been sucking in. I was in a call. I was ahead. I had pocket sixes. Oh. You were at We have another queen three open, uh, although I, it's not an unreasonable open, and the ace nine suited is calling. This time the queen three is opening from uh, under gun plus one. Ace nine suited three betting to twelve hundred dollars. Wow. Oh, I missed the three up and taking it down. Yeah, we're getting a lot of really big pots and all ins. If you're enjoying today's stream, please give us a like. You one block. Usually we do some giveaways if we get a decent <laughs> number of likes. I don't know what the plan is for today yet, but welcome, give us a like if you're enjoying it. It definitely helps us out a lot, and we really appreciate Trust it. I'll, Either I'll way. Action. No other way. Guess it's not I'm dirty, Oh, we have our seven deuce so open. The seven deuce generation. game is on, and oh, AA has opened it. Yeah. Seven deuce game is for uh, two hundred dollars a person, and the last person pays four hundred. So Shoda defended from the big line with six deuce, and they both now have bottom pair. The battle of the ducks. Quack quack. Yeah. That would have worked. Yeah, I would have missed that. You might have to call. You have a gut shot and over. So you kind of. As expected, the seven deuce continues, and will get paid off. Maybe. Good. Good point. Bring it off. Yeah, he is showing it, and everyone's going to get the bad news. Show to the worst news, paying that extra penalty. 200. So seven deuce is, is the most well-known of a kind of a bounty hand game, where if you win with it and show it, everybody has to pay you a bounty, and usually the last person to fold pays a little bit of an extra bounty. Yep, definitely an easy way to encourage action. And always a really popular format, which I I really enjoy it. I don't like those those uh like liquor and beer shots or whatever. Where you chug it? Is that one of those ones where you chug it? Car bomb. We know you like apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ashamed to enjoy cider. You can try to make me feel bad about it all you want. Three hundred First. Three. Make it a G. Yeah. So Will is open from the button here with ace queen, which is a very strong hand. Mooch open. Oh, Mooch, I'm sorry. Betting. Mooch yeah. opened with uh, nine eight, and then Will three bet from the button. Give me big chips. No. Oh, any oranges? Nothing. No, no oranges. And Ian's going to cold call from the big blind with king jack suited. So your heads up in this three bet pot with about twenty five hundred in the middle. So interestingly, that's a flop that no one hits, but probably favors the big blind as opposed to the opener, no? Yeah, the big blind, when they cold call in this spot, is going to have some of these weird middling-ish hands. But Will does currently have the best hand, and we'll see about it. These two overs, back to a straight draw, back to a flush draw. And Ian called, presumably with a plan to do something on later streets. So if the turn misses everybody again, does... Yeah, Will doesn't really have too much of a reason to keep betting here unless he decides to turn his hand into a triple barrel bluff. Usually these ace highs here have okay showdown. Looks like he is going to bluff with it. He bet 1,700 on the turn. And takes it down. I was gonna, I was gonna triple barrel. I was, I was getting that. He, he was, he's showing it as if he, th he thinks it was a bluff, but it was actually the best hand there. I'll take, I'll take another Angry Orchard. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Salt and Lime would be great. Yeah. I was going to just make a margarita for him while you're at it. I mean, put some, put some, uh, oh, did, does everyone want Salt and Lime or is that just me? No, I don't want, do you have, uh, McKellen? Yeah, we got, um, on, on ice, on ice. Yeah, yeah, um, scratch the polliner. I'll have a McKellen as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll take the whatever tequila with uh, salt and lime. 
Another King Jack open, this time for Mooch. You want to you want, you want a tequila shot or a uh, McAllen? The uh, I'll do a tequila shot. Do you need another beer? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I already got one. Okay, Thanks, Bobby. Way. I didn't look this way. <laughs> like, thank you. Here we go. Uh, Will decide a spicy call with 3-4 suited. And Jake K has decided a spicy call with 8-3 suited. 3-bet, uh, actually. Oh, 3-bet. So I missed that. Sorry. 3-bet with 8-3 suited from the big line. That is a, an Octo Crab shout out there. And he takes it down, too. Does he show it? Yeah. Of course. I almost stuck it in. Shout out there to Cairo Loves You. Cairo certainly loves that 8-3 suited. I stick it in the past 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of money. Yeah, I had a lot of money. It was shooted. It was a shooted. I had one of those four high hands. Uh, I feel like a complete moron. Oh, uh, yeah. I had King Jack offsuit. You what, folded? What? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what can you do? It's Jack okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull on yeah. I thought about it. I did. But I was like, mm. When in doubt, uh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I, you don't have to tell me. Colin's got some fans in chat. Just, I'm, I'm exercising like a lot of discipline right now. Cole says, I love you, Colin. Actually, oh. Great news. Callan wanted us to shout out Cole and Jake, I believe. Yeah, we'll exactly. So Callan loves you too, Cole. Probably would have gotten called by JK and I Good. You might have lost to A3, and then, then you're really on tilt. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tie. Right, invited this super Cole. pro. So JK gets another three bet through, this time with the ace five suited. The, 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 the salvers love that. How are the people in Maryland? Huh? How are the people No, there's this guy that looks exactly like you. No. From Maryland, yeah. Oh, From Maryland. They just look alike, huh? No, Come on, no, man. That's not you, like. you just have like a very like similar. No, no, I know who it is. It's Danny, right? Danny, yeah, yeah. Danny. Oh, yeah, okay. He looks yeah, exactly yeah. like you. He looks exactly like you with the hat and everything. Just, really? Yes, yes. Bro, it looks, but he's, yeah. he's different. He's super tight and you're, <laughs> you're kind of fun. <laughs> kind of fun. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah JK currently not only has he been one of our loosest players, he's also been our most aggressive with the most three bets so far. But they've generally worked, so it's been a good play for him. Poker's all about that controlled aggression. That's the hard part, though, is the control. I, um, I, I've played with Danny a couple times, and he looks exactly like him, so with the hat, you know what I mean? Right? Like, Crazy. So here we had Will open with ace eight off under the gun plus one. Ian three bet king queen off from the cutoff, and Will called. Check, check. 2100 in the middle in this pot. Looks like both players are going to check. Turn eight of spades is a lot of fun. 1000. Ian gets the second flush draw, and Will has a pair. It's a second pair on a check flop. Ian is going to count out that call. Heads up to this $4,100 pot going to the river. He also has two overs with his nut second up flush draw. Was this good? Will makes a hot half pot size bet and takes it down. That is a real thin value bet. I like it a lot. What you have? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I'm ready to step Double on the cards, man. Yeah. I, know. Easy, easy. I know the graphics. Easy. I got I none easy. Like, the graphics showed Will behind a little bit, but I, I like this play so far. Yeah. Yeah. He's been also showing some nice controlled aggression, going thin for value. Yeah, he's completing it. Yep. He is not scared, as shown by his willingness to play in uh, the game he was right before this. I would definitely, I wouldn't mind. Oh, yeah, I owe you a bluff. I definitely owe you a bluff. So you call? Yeah, check. Okay. So JK opens with clean seven suited from the cutoff, and Will, promising a bluff, uh, defends with jack, jack six suited. Under, from the straddle. Under, from the straddle. 1300 in the middle. I saw a jack high, uh, ace jack deuce two times. I need a very particular card on the turn. Boom. Oh. Will's still the only one who's connected with that board at all. 
Jake picked up more draws. Jake Hay, though, has a pretty good bluff opportunity. It's a card that a lot of his rangers are going to pick up some equity on. It's also a card that's going to start putting Will in some pretty tough spots when he does have a jack like he does here. Now we've got a fix. Will's being a little sticky, though, and making Deuce. the call. Oh, oh what, a turn, what a river. Yeah, pretty unlucky river card there for Will. He might have called a triple barrel. Ooh, got lucky. Wow. Very good. You, you bluff and then you just hit shit. I mean, I hit it and I checked. <laughs> I saw some bluff there and I okay. got there and I just checked. God, this is how it is. Will was joking, but I think some of that just expressed a little frustration that JK got, got there now, on the river. Now I gotta watch out for the bluffs and I gotta avoid the lucky ass rivers, right? <laughs> I was gonna raise a turn too. Oh, my God. oh, you'd be thinking about raising a lot, huh? I always think about raising. <laughs> when in doubt, raise. Right? 300, keep that. Cool. Oh. Raise. See? So here, Ian opened with the 8-7 suited, oh called by aces with the 9-8 suited, and then the three bet from the ace king with the, with the ace king from Mooch, which is pretty standard. Oh, and Colin oh. also waking up with ace king behind. We're gonna see definitely an all in here. Yep. Yeah, four bet all in call. And he has a fucking aces or something. Coming out here, He did not look happy oh. when you put that hand on. Thank you. No. Oh, you can't throw him. Though. You don't have to. Don't yeah, have tell to me has to show. Camera, but it's up to you. This is, I think, your GG moment. Uh, At least that's what go. flashed <laughs> across the uh, screen. <laughs> is this the ultimate <laughs> laurel? It helps if you do, because right now the RFID is not working. <laughs> 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 At least you guys have one suit that's fine, you know? One suit. Oh, harsh. Two nits There's getting no each way. other. We're running a one suit, right, guys? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're one drinking yourself. One time. You're drinking yourself. Oh, I mean, I can just go over here. We're ready? Uno. I need... I don't even know what you're doing. Diamond. 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 You got the cards, I ready the cards. Did you think I had seven deuce there or something? No, Some bullshit? You probably did. I mean, I had big slick. I put the money in. It's a draw for you, but right? Is there another player coming? Is there another player coming? Okay. Easy Rider asking in chat, is a Tropicana getting demolished? The Tropicana is being shut down on April 2nd. So if you want to check out one of Las Vegas' long-standing staples, I think on April 9th would have been its 58th anniversary. So it's been here for 57 years, and it is getting shut down. I'm glad you knew the answer to the question and the attended trivia. That was very impressive. Right? It's almost like I've been working here for a bit. <laughs> It has an old school uh, Las Vegas feel to it when you walk into the casino. Kind of the lower ceilings, the the older motif. <laughs> it's probably worth just stopping by to see it. Uh, so we have a new player sitting down. Um, Y'all might have heard of him before. Goes by the name of Mr. Alex Foxen. <laughs> So how do you think Alex feels when he sits down at this table and looks around at like seven young guns who are crypto rich? Is someone else coming? Um, you could say he's happy. I forgot to order you a tequila shot. Oh, you want Give me a tequila shot. Come and have yours. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clip it on the jacket and show you take it off. And I'll come and fix it if you take it off. Okay. That way we got it. Yep. We are getting a baseball stadium and the now to be the Las Vegas A's. So the chat is bringing up the Las Vegas A's. It seems like Las Vegas is raiding Oakland for its sports teams. Yep, yep. We're raiding them for the Raiders and for the A's. Oh, my guess, sir. Who made it 300? Me. Oh, he did? Oh. Yeah, Alex is either the oldest player now at the table or second oldest. I'm not certain how old Will is, so uh, yeah. We, one of the Wills is the 
oldest player at the table. Yeah, for those who don't know, Alex, his first name is actually William. Yeah. Yeah, he's but he goes by Alex. And he, he opens up the very first hand he gets in. We, we know it's a mystery hand, apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had the, the table yesterday crash. They're working on it all night to get it fixed. Uh, so please bear with us if uh, graphics are struggling a little bit. I appreciate it. Oh, shit. Right. Easy Rider is trying to test your trivia knowledge, uh, Ryan. They want to know if, if Tropicana is the oldest casino. We play seven deuce game, 200 each. Okay. Oh, Alex Lee, I'm sorry. Yeah. 400. Uh, no, he was just asking uh, if Alex is the oh, oldest player. Alex is the oldest player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just read the chat. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I'm down for stand up. Let's, let's wait. Let's wait. <laughs> Every night. Yeah, but sometimes, yeah. Uh, let's okay. wait a little. How much do we do? 300 or what do we do for the body? Uh, two or three? Three, yeah, uh, three. When we cross that bridge, we'll figure it out. Right. Yeah, we can do it in a second. Alice, of course, wants to get the stand-up game going, which, yeah, stand-up game is so much fun. Yeah, get the action, like, juiced up. Well, they already have an action table with the seven-deuce bounty game going. Why not? And they want more action. They want more. Not enough. You need to get someone. Old man in chat, Flamingo is the oldest casino. Yeah, that was going to be what I was going to say. Oldest casino on the strip, at least. That makes sense. Another casino with that kind of old-school feel. So here we have an open from Ian with ace-10 suited under the gun and a call from Colin with king-10 and from Will with queen-nine off. That's right. Check. $1,200 in the middle. We have an eight-five-six, two-heart board. Will flopping uh, the two-overs and a gutter ball, but the ace-10 is currently the best hand. Well, I'm getting a read. with no continuation, it checked around to Will, and he's taking the opportunity to try to take it down. Yeah, definitely. Having that gutter ball, having that nine of hearts, it's pretty powerful. And the, and the turn gives him a double gutter. I'll take a water, please. Yeah, pretty wonderful turn card if you're going to miss it. Tough spot there for Ian. He does fold. Can't blame him for that, though. Yeah, it's hard to continue once a red jack that misses you comes off on the turn. <laughs> so you guys all know each other? No. Uh, no. Seems like you do. Only person I know here. Really? I know. I know them too. Like, them know each other. Like, just the youngest. Um, I know them too. So Alex is. Yeah, he's bringing up how young this table is. Thirty-three. Oh, I'm no. the same age as you. I'm 34. So. I just okay. turned 34. Oh, somebody turned 34 at the start. No, he's, he's joking. Oh. <laughs> I was like, he's very young. Yeah, so Will and Alex are the two oldest at the table at 33 years old. Lying about your age? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like you're It's a very young table. Yeah. I have a child older than 33. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> I do. <laughs> You have a kid older than me? I'm also 33. Yeah, I, 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 I'm all in. I have a, I have a daughter older than you, right? Wow. He's had enough being he pushed the, around. He put the big boy pants on. <laughs> MMK rooting for Shota. Shota, Shota go go. Yes, indeed. I like Shota a lot. He's he's always an action player. He's a lot of fun. Really nice guy. Seven oh. deuce. How good was it? You had like a uh, tens? Seven yeah, deuce. yeah, it was pretty solid. So it was a, a, a three-bet jam for a hand we didn't get to see. That was uh, yeah for just, 34 big blinds. Pretty uh, typical jam spot. I think y'all was a uh, tequila shot. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I do think it was interesting. Alex is getting in, trying to learn a lot, learn some things about the table, ask questions, and get a feel. Yeah, poker is definitely a game about information, and he's just trying to get information in as many different ways as he can at the same time. And when you don't know anyone, you just no sit down and ask questions. Thank you for the loan. It also looks like he Fox and topped off once he sat down and saw that there was more money at the table than maybe what he originally sat down with. I don't know. Or was that just what he originally I think bought? those are 500s. Oh, big one. One, two? Yeah. Yeah, those are just some 500s. Okay. Uh, looks like Foxen bought in for 50,000. I played a lot like that said. So he is covering the table slightly. Super millionaire? Super pros. Super pros? Um, no. So on this hand, it's Shota versus JK, and JK flops a plus draw. Shota calls with bottom pair. Yeah. JK well, turns the flush. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's nice when you're playing aggressively yeah, and running hot. To have. Yeah, JK is, that's a lovely yeah, turn for him. Person, huh? 
Shota going for the check raise. He's going to rep the hand that JK actually has. Yeah, I love it if you're JK. Is Ring give me 15? Thank you. I'd say Joda's dreaming of Vegas and the Tropicana, but he's already here. <laughs> so he's just living the dream. Interesting that JK just called. Yeah, he wants to keep in all of his opponent's bluffs. It's hard for his opponent to have hands that can call a raise. Oh, he was hoping for the check raise on the river and didn't yeah. get it. Shota shut down. So the one where I had the set? Oh, yeah, I really, I'm pretty sure that was the biggest one I played. Yeah. I did lose it. How big was that? 180. If Shota doesn't have a pair there, maybe he, he maybe he barrels on the river. But the deuce was just enough Also, he, he didn't have a diamond in his hand, and that's really the main thing, not having that diamond blocker. I mean, I'm the one that sucked the money in. I probably should have just checked, but... Why would you check your set? So there was the flush. There was, there was no, literally you got it in good. No, on the river the oh, flush on came. The river. Oh. There was like a bunch of money in the right. pot already, and I only had like a little bit left. I just stuck it in, because like I mean he could have had worse hands, but Thank of course you. he has the flush. He snapped, He beats me in the pot, and I'm like, oh, this is yeah, great. Dude, that happened to me. That's a bad feeling. Yeah. That was I, a, a I, GG I, moment. It's always a great game. Deuce, 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 nine. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And I, so I went all in. Yeah, and it beat me in the pot with seven, yeah, seven deuce. deuce. He had a quads. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like probably 160. Oh, three deuces. Three. Four deuces. Oh, he had four oh, deuces. Like Wait, deuce, 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 it, nine. It was, sorry. Deuce, deuce, oh. nine. So Mooch is opening oh, from under the gun with King Jack suited. A pretty uh, hand. Got a lot of interesting hands tonight with King Jack already, and it's only 24 hands in. Callum three bet with nine ten suited. Another pretty hand. Yeah, solvers really enjoy these like uh, double suited connected Broadway three bets. And, and Will just flatted with six five suited. Fucking head. Oh my god. It was already in there. It was already in his head. King Jack just jams with. And actually has the best hand too. I can't call you. We have a very aggressive game already. I, I, there's not a player here who isn't afraid just to put the chips in the middle. That's yeah, sure. this game is very, very aggressive. Yeah. Uh, so I'm curious, if you were to sit down at a really aggressive game like this, how would you change? Would you change how you normally play? I mean, I would be playing more loose aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah, I'd be joining them. The key to playing in these really hyper aggressive games is you want to play a little bit less aggressive than them. You want to play aggressive enough where you get to battle with them, but you want to like and give action, but you don't want to be giving so much action that you're getting into these bad spots. Yeah. So it's about finding that controlled amount of aggression. And honestly, just watch how Foxen plays. Whatever he's doing, that's probably what I would be doing. Makes sense to me. Or that's what I'd be trying to do, I should say. So we have an open from Will with sixes, and JK picks up another hand and gets the three better real hands this time with jacks. And no, wow, Mooch picks up ace king and four bets. Yeah, I don't see this not getting in. They're not that deep effective. The game's been playing really aggressive so far. I'm lucky. Well, it looks like he does just call pre flop. Is it maybe he because he's on the button? Yeah, that definitely helps. So we have a $5,900 pot already. This, and, and, and Luch wow. luckily have uh, flops in this. Yep. So good. That was a, a nice wow. preflop call there by JK. If he jams preflop gets called, he would have loses his flip. and said he now gets to save his money. I, I, I was about to say the same thing. And honestly, JK has played really well. I mean, he's been aggressive with certain hands, and he knew to slow down there and see a flop. I thought that was a really nice play, I agree. Uh, yeah. Oh. Haha. Oh, yeah? He didn't put on the whole thing. Oh, yeah? No, do it, do it, do it. Uh, you do it. Come on. Can I please get out of the high? Oh, I have the 200. The piece high. Bless it. I don't even know how many chips I have. JK with another hand open, this time ace eight suited from the cutoff. All in. And, and Mooch just jams. Three bet jams, king queen off. 
Uh, looks like we had a double straddle. That's why there was an open and then a jam. Well, like 15, I think. Maybe. The graphics were catching up. We've been taking our Gs. Man. Yeah, we had a straddle to 200, a double straddle to 400. <laughs> <laughs> so the pot's already 18,000. Look at all those chips. You can't call that bet. <laughs> well, that includes the all-in. That's a big bet right control. there. <laughs> Get out of there. Go. Okay. I mean, I had a good hand. Interestingly enough, Mooch was being honest when he said he wanted to fold. Yeah, there yeah. Go. Let's go. <laughs> and he was being honest about having a good hand. Can we see a flop? That's pretty much like a tournament spot almost. Yeah. You know, hey. essentially like almost big blind like 500. So it was a three bet jam for like 25 big blinds. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a pretty standard raise, pretty standard fold. You know what I have clubs too, though. So yeah. Oh, yeah? You had clubs too? Yeah. I had clubs. Yeah. So if you've been uh, watching 10 1, uh, as you can see, very, very action game. I, I, I don't think there's oh. been a hand yet where there hasn't been <laughs> like some the size. Yeah. Uh, man. We're on hand number 27. Yeah, I always, always wait till it folds to me I'll before I look at my hand. I don't like to give off any tells. I give off all I know he has a shot that I would have definitely double shot. It's your go. Straddle. Straddle. Mooch is opening from the button with queen four suited this time. Yeah, I, I need to finally a hand that just is oh, yeah, yeah. a raise and a fold. Yeah, our first hand of the night that is a raise and a fold. <laughs> Just took 28 uh, hands. I'm gonna do everything I later. I mean, I think we need more. Should we wait for everyone else to get one? Yeah. Does everyone else get Who one? Who wants a shot? You want a shot? It does seem like Foxen is actually. I have a better idea. You guys take your shots now. We'll taking a step back round. and try to we'll all take one all the oh action. Look, well, I'm already on my second. He's also being dealt some pretty bad hands so far. So. It will. Easing into it. Alex also needs a shot. So we're always gonna have a shot. Yeah. Okay. So this is open by Alex Fox. It does, does catch a hand. King Queen suited under the gun. And Mooch three bets the five four suited, and Callan opens with pocket nines on the button. Point five G. Uh, Colin four bets the twenty five hundred. <laughs> yeah, a little more. Cool. Wow, Fox and going for the five out, King Queen suit. All out amongst themselves. Throw the seven high. And he gets no, both folds. All insta buck for yeah, I had five. I had, me, me. <laughs> I had two live cards. Man, show seven deuce out. Clear the man. Five four uh, clubs. I wish. Why would you have to re-raise? Come on. Where is Shota? Shota's here. Shota is on Foxen's left. Thank you. You oh, sorry, Foxen's right. Uh, Shota must have uh, left. Uh, chip count so far. Uh, Foxen actually has about 50k in front of him. It's a little bit off, but JK is our second stack there at 44k. Current VPIP, Will is currently leading with 53%. Foxen out, down at the bottom with 10%, but Foxen did just sit. So these numbers will certainly be changing throughout the night. Current uh, big winners of the night are JK and Colin, each up about $14,000. AA so far throwing the party at 18k. There's no way that Alex's V pip is that low. Can we get an auto to the V pip? Make sure his is. Oh, they get to see, they, they yeah, see the statistics. They get to see all the same statistics behind them. Uh, it's really nice because they'll occasionally play what's called the V pip game. Where if your V pip isn't above a certain number, usually it's like 35%. You spend the next entire dealer paying $200 ante per hand. <laughs> So it gets real expensive. Just another way to increase the action at an uh, already ex action. Asking yeah. whether we'll hear Fox in the commentary tonight. No, nope. today's commentary, back to the normal commentary. If you didn't really enjoy coaches hopping in chat, uh, hopping in the commentary booth, uh, go to that game, give us a good like, give us a share, um, and we do plan on doing more of those coaches nights in the future. I'm, I'm, I need to look for a good spot so I can call and like make it make it two pair on them. Big Jack, Big Ten, the Big Ten student. And although those statistics were a little off, that, that four bet from Foxen was only the second hand I think we've seen him enter. Uh, five bet. Five, five bet. bet. Yeah, five bet. Um, yeah, so that was like the fourth hand we saw him dealt into. No, no, no. The button moved twice. I was just big one. 
Pretty sure. Oh, Peyton asking, what does winning a bracelet? So the World Series of Poker is the, you know, the World Series of Poker is actually what it sounds like. And when you win an event, you win a bracelet to go with it. Uh, Foxen is a bracelet winner. I think he has three bracelets. One of his bracelets came uh, earlier, I want to say came last year in the $250,000 buy-in. And he won it for $4 million. So he's not financially strapped right now. Yeah, he is one of the biggest players in the game a true legend certainly going to be a hall of fame player without a doubt and the difference is if you play if you win a, w, a world series of poker event during the summer during the series you get a bracelet if you win it during one of the circuit events you get a ring yep exactly i'm slowly creeping up there though i used to always be the youngest now it's not even close anymore here you go so Mooch has a real hand in his opening oh, come on, Ian. with 10s. Hey, I'll, punt it. I'll punt it all the way to you. All you got to do is your seat. Mooch calling from the cutoff here with the ace seven offsuit, $1,100 in the middle, and we're heads up to this flop. What's that? So you don't know how to catch. I don't know how to catch. Flopping top set is always fun. You're gonna and he sent the trap with it immediately, too. I love to see this. What's the raise here? Turnover. And it works. Oh, like Will take some punt. shot at Putting it. his foot right in that trap. No, I, I got he it. He ends up winning. <laughs> Can you explain that one more time? I'm not sure. What <laughs> it made sense. And Wooch decides to bet out a small bet, and Will takes the uh, trap again and raises. Okay. But it's fourth and long. So um, Wooch goes for the three bet on the turn, letting Will out of the trap. Fortunate for Will there that he didn't really have a hand with much equity and could fold. Just like he fell over. I had ace high. Yeah, Fox is definitely a wonderful person, too. Uh, played with him yesterday in the coaches game. I've known him for years. I was a coach with him at Chip Leader Coaching. Great guy, great player. Uh, he actually used to be a D1 football player. Yeah, you can tell. Player. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's built like a college he's football built player. Like a college fo I'm not a small guy, but next to him I feel like a small yeah, guy. Yeah, <laughs> D1, so top-tier football player back in the day. I didn't really know much about I mean I knew about him I didn't know him till I but the last few years I played with him several times and he is a really good guy I, I think mm. he's a good guy at the table so here we have the uh, ace king open for Mooch and Shota has woken up with the seven deuce which is part of the bounty game is on and he three bets it and Alex has ace queen off on the button and he four bets it yeah, seven deuce bounty is worth uh, two hundred dollars a person, four hundred dollars the last person, so it's worth a decent amount. Oh, oh wow! AA with AA, <laughs> wow! What, what a, a what a great name and what a great spot! <laughs> you get the ace king open, the seven deuce trying, the ace queen four bet, four bet, yeah. and there you open up and you wake up to ace. I'm, I'm counting, count the Dracula. I think you need to call her up over there. She's giving you the speech call. I mean, the speech game. You got like 20. Yeah, I have a point. Time. Time. On. Yeah, brutal cooler here for Mooch. Really nothing he can do. I like this jam a lot. All in. All in. Wow. Oh, Foxen went all in too. Oh, wow. What did. Um... Oh, geez. Ouch. Oh, wow. Oh, that hurts. Foxen just running into ace king and aces. Oh, that's brutal. Funny enough, Foxen has about the same equity as Mooch does on this. Yeah. Oh, I'll keep this. What a brutal spot there. I was worried about him, kind of. But... Yeah, what the fuck was that? I've never done that before. That's crazy. Wow. I have ace king, though. You got ace king and ace queen to jam into you with aces. That's, that's hard. Hard. Yeah, that's disgusting. Twice. Twice is fine. Twice is fine. Run out. I mean, yeah. so all this is our GG moment. It is always a great game, especially when you're aces up against ace king and ace queen all in pre flop. I mean, how often do you even get to see that? I, I rarely. Um, I, I, all three players have agreed to run it twice, which yep. is unusual. So they'll see two boards. Yep, we'll see two full boards here. Yeah, if you're AA, you're loving life, obviously. I'm going to need some cards that come. <laughs> Not good for me. It's not a good flop for you guys. Queen or a 10. Or, yeah, a queen or a 10. Some backdoor outs for both Alex and Mooch, but not much. Not much, yeah. Doesn't matter. We're both dead on the first one. Don't put it. Yeah, if you've been enjoying this game so far, please smash the like button. There we go. Okay. 
right, best way to help with the stream and see more of these. <laughs> right, let's, let's, let's put the pain out this time. I'm always one time, by the way. Yeah, okay, so they one, just one like, yeah. the first board, which means guaranteed at least half the pot. I mean, we're 31 hands in, and we have our first $100,000 pot of the night. Uh, this is a very action game. 106,600 in the middle. Thank you. They're basically playing for a small suburban house in some in some states right now. Buy a house in like Detroit for 100k, yeah. no problem. Uh, I'm good for now. Yeah. I'm oh, good. actually, uh, can we get a, some shots? Um, and the players one, think the game needs to be bigger, so bring some shots, yeah. doing some stand-up games soon. Oh, oh queen. Wow. Oh, and a jack behind it. Mooch has a gutter ball. Foxen has two queens. Ten. And there was no tens or queens on the first board. Ten. Ten ball. Oh. Brick on the turn. At least there's some drama. See if AA can fade the queens and the tens. Oh, wow. How do you get aces versus ace game and ace queen? Get all in and win two full runouts. I don't know. I've, I've never lived that good. I've, yeah. <laughs> AA here really living the dream with AA at the Tropicana in the fabulous city of Las Vegas. I'm just gonna assume he has a very strong moral center and is a good and generous man and therefore he deserved all of what he just received. Hopefully, hopefully. But it is poker, so anything can happen. <laughs> you never know. This was our GG moment, aces holding. It is always a great game, especially when you get to bust two players with pocket aces in a deep stack cash game. I need more chips. There you go. The one month There's another 100K pot you can welcome, add to the, to the book. Uh -huh. Welcome to the losing. Yeah. 41. Yeah. 41. Yeah, you already have a very active game with all sorts of prompts to make it more active, and then you just happen to run an ace at least and ace king good. jamming into yeah, your aces. Yeah. Pretty unlucky there for Fox and two. This game has been pretty ridiculous, and he just gets max I've done cooler. That, well. I, I put in that was our GG moment. Thank you for trying. Thank you. And you guys take care of this. Thank you so much. Very nice, very nice. So uh, looks like Foxen's adding uh, 40K. Winner. Might be 15 total. <laughs> which is buying back in for 10,000. Who's the buying? So AA's only been playing for about three point you three and a half years, four years. Yeah. He's from Miami. Very new to the game. Fish for getting just placed cash games. Yeah, he added on. Ian did. What was that? He, 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 saw, he saw how crazy this game was. You had to add on. I had on a while ago. He's trying to... He's trying, what he's do you add on? I didn't see. Yeah, fucking Ten. secret assassin over there. <laughs> secret agent. Super pro, super assassin. Yeah. for playing big cash games. He also loves to play pickup basketball. All right, thank you. No, no, no. Feels like you see a lot of that, people that really enjoy poker and really love sports. I mean, Alex, D1 football, got basketball players, you know, like Berkey's play baseball. There's lots of ex golf and tennis pros and you name it in poker. Really go hand in hand. I think some of the same discipline that requires you to be a good athlete applies to poker. Uh, SH asking 100K pot win, you literally just missed it. So go to the stream. Uh, you can pull back, he just pull aces. back about three minutes, and you can here. get to see the full cooler situation. So here we had a three bet from eights and a four bet from King Jack from A, who now all of a sudden has all the chips. And his feeling is just... It looks like JK is immediately going to call, so we're going to be heads up in this four bet pot. Pocket eights with 8,800 in the middle. If you think ace, if you think six... not a great flop for you don't eight eight. Well, apparently Collins is a runner and was also D1. Sure, you get some limps and sit and try to see a flop. I would have got away from it. Big Slick is a drawing hand, believe it or not. You're drawing for... AA hey, hey, is going to continuation bet and take it down. JK did have the best hand, but that's a really scary board for him. Yeah, it's hard to continue on a four bet. I pumped it up way too much. The ace and the ten. No, you're, you did what you were supposed to do with aces. Uh, I think I put... It sounds like Colin has a uh, fan base on uh, on our chat. Okay, yes, thanks. See, you just remind me. Yeah, Rachel and Peyton rooting for Colin. You wait, wait till you hit bigger slick. Triple shot Then you put my... No. Too much. <laughs> Alan goes to Virginia Tech. Tight, tight, tight. And he is uh, big into tight. the Tau crypto, whatever that yeah, is. Yeah, Tau, T A O. If you're a crypto fan in chat, please give us a like. If you like high stakes cash games, please give us a like. After losing that hand, how the fuck did you not put it on? Yeah. 
So it looked like that Ace's hand and those chips uh, gave AA some real confidence in order to make that four bet play with the King Jack. Be careful. Yeah, also with how aggressively this game's been playing, understandable to use it as a four bet. You got trying to see it fall, man. Yeah, I see it fall. I don't like all the the limping. What the fuck? Well, so, uh, sometimes we don't have uh, we have a double straddle currently, a uh, three way for the flop yeah. in the big blind yeah. straddle and double straddle. With seven, three, ten, four, and nine, five. <laughs> Mooch currently flopping the best hand, but uh, Will's got that gutter ball. Now you get to play some real poker. Check. 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 check, check on the turn when there's a blank. Get her out seven deuce. Um, check. Check. Seven. It's surprised Will didn't want to take a bluff at that when he missed his gutter and got there to the river. Yeah, but there aren't that many scare cards. You know, there's nothing that'll scare a seven or an eight. You know, a river 10, river jack, you know. Those are good cards to bluff, river king. Deuce, deuce, not so much. playing the big cards. I should have played the small ones. Hank the Tank saying he smashed the like for the aces versus ace king versus ace queen hand. I thought it was such a sick cooler. You know, definitely a very likable moment for everyone except for Fox. <laughs> brutal, brutal spot for him there. There's always two sides to a cooler. You feel happy for the guy who got it and sad for the one stuck with it. Rachel and Peyton rooting for Mustache, Mooch, and Ian. There's only like 10,000 in play. Well, Ian and Colin went to high school together, so they may know both yeah. of them. So they can get the graphics right. <laughs> So Will raised here uh, under the gun with the straddle. I'm sorry, Will called from the straddle with Jack-10. A, A, Ace has raised the King-8 from the button and, and gets a monster flop with three hearts to a flush and the eight high flop. Yeah, A, A is running hot. I thought I had a good night last night in the <laughs> coach's lineup. This is, uh, I'd rather be having his night right now. Yeah, we, we'll we get the statistics in a little while, but he's got to be up like 50, 60 grand at this point, right? Yeah, he's up around 70. Okay. I support the state. I like full draw. That's a pretty good night. I like when it comes in like a glass. I feel like a degenerate when I have like a beer bottle. I hate for you to feel like a degenerate. Have you gained any insight into any one of these players watching so far, Ryan? We're 35 I mean, hands in. Just that everyone's very least aggressive. <laughs> yes, they all are. <laughs> that is uh, very apparent to me. This is a game I would absolutely love to play in. I got kids in there. So aces again uh, raises the uh, cutoff this time with ace five, and he gets three callers. A hodgepodge of calls. But Moose smashes the flop. Will also has that pair of sixes. So a couple players hit to some degree. Which is going to continuation bet he, or bet his queen and going to get a call from Will. Will has found himself in a bunch of hard place, uh, spots this whole, this whole uh, night where he's either had second pair or top pair with second kicker. But he gets away here on the turn. Yep, good fold by him. Not really a, a scary card, so very disciplined fold by him. I mean, I can see why, given how aggressive the table is, he, he's been making the calls with the second pair, or even the top pair, worst kickers. It's just been bad, bad luck how he's yeah. Yeah. run into it. So we do have this seven deuce game for 200 a person. We're uh, curious as to why, the, in part, the game's been a little bit more action. Seven deuce game is certainly going to cause that to happen. Man, we need him in this game. Foxen wakes up to pocket sevens under the gun, and Ian right to his left has pocket nines and three bets. He's like, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. And Colin wakes up with aces on the button. Jeez, Foxen getting a good hand and running into aces again. Two days or something. Pretty fun. But because it's been three and four bet, he can get away from it. Yeah, definitely a uh, pretty easy fold there. Ian Calling getting very good odds, getting about four to one. And his pocket nines could be the best hand, unfortunately for him. His opponent has aces. So it's now a $5,200 pot, and it's not the worst flop for nines. It's a yeah. 
Yeah, the queen eight four rainbow, it's pretty safe. Like, you're mostly worried about aces and kings. You're not so worried about the queen. That's an interestingly smallish type bet from Colin. <laughs> yeah, so the way that these three and four bet pots work is you don't need to continuation bet very large. So a small bet is going to be very typical. Seemingly another safe card on the turn for the nines, although we know it's not. Yeah, unfortunately for Ian here, this turn is bad news for him. He thinks it's a great card, and uh, his opponent has it crushed. It's coming in on the river. This time is about 40% pop bet Back. from the Aces. I was at one of his cards, by the way. I'm not going to tell you what it was. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fold Colin. Fold. That is a good fold by Ian. Ian correctly reading the speech game as being sh very strong. Great fold, Ian. Yeah, I think that is a good fold because you still you beat a lot of hands. Obviously, you beat Ace King, Ace yeah, Jack, Ace definitely ten, very tough fold. Yeah, because of that. Yep, exactly. Really feel good. It's a good fold. I think you made a good fold. You have the best reach. You did make a good fold. I'm serious. I would never troll anything like that. I, I'll always be honest. When it comes to telling Ogre. people, I'm good. no, it's like if they make a good fold, I like yeah. to tell them that. I can't tell if that was an honest no, statement. No, I think that was very honest, yeah. but it was yeah, Mooch telling it to him, not honest. Colin. Oh, <laughs> well, how does he know? He read, he read Colin correctly for being very strong. That was a great fold by Ian. In a game playing that aggressive to make folds like that, it is very tough. And in the long run, that's how you actually make money at these cash games. Yep, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very so Aces opens Ace-9 suited and gets three bet this time by Will, who has the seven deuce. Seven deuce bounty is live. $200 a person. $400 if you were the last person to fold. And... Alex wakes up with Ace Jack and sensing some weakness. Apparently, four bets from small boy. Should I put the Stone Cold Steve order? Forty-two hundred. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, yes, I do. Sambuca, uh, IPA and IPA. Sambuca. Cheers, cheers, and to you guys taking a shot in a few minutes. Cheers. Women drop. Cheers to chat too. Chat, cheers. To do something Will thought about doing something, but Man, we, he we gave it up. We have to pay the seven-deuce bounty one time. I yeah, understandable. When I get seven deuce, it's going to be on like Donkey Kong, man. I was hoping that's when you had that other hand. No, no, no. I had Ace-King, and it was still no good. I got to good. see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> paid a little bit to see. Big thing was bad. He paid a little bit, as in forty thousand dollars. That's a little bit for him, given his. What does he have? Like sixty-five million in winnings or something? <laughs> no, I think. Uh, I think only like thirty million. Oh, okay, exaggerated. Action, like he re-raised, you re-raised. This guy called. I'm like, God damn! Out of the three of them, one of them's got to have something. So J.K., who's been quiet for a little while, is opening this hand with Queen Eight suited under the gun. I was right. Thirty-two million. Yeah. I, I knew you would know. Up against, like, aces or kings. Exactly. Like, like, does. Yeah. And I was. If you, if you don't have a bigger slick on We the have ball, a non-three bet hand, ball, actually. So Shota called on of, on from the button, on the button with queen jack off, and Foxen Fox, called I, from the small I, I, blind with defending. king nine suited, and everybody missed the flop. King nine currently the best hand, but it's very hard for him to know that. Also, seven deuce game is live, so a seven deuce three board is actually way scarier than what it would normally be. That's a good point. Interestingly, here, Shota has decided to just peel to float, or did he raise? I didn't even know we had time on. I think Shota must have raised from the button with Queen Jack on his spot. After JK continued. He's a super pro. Oh, and we have a three bet here from JK. Wow, what a great read. Wrong play. If we had Nitty Kitty here, we could bully him for free. Yeah. Shota must yeah, be sensing weakness. Oh, he does. A four bet bluff? I feel like we're in 2011. <laughs> oh my. Wow. Yeah, what, the hell? what a boss. What, what can he be doing? 
God, if you like that 4-bit bluff, which I absolutely loved it, give us a like. Give Shota a like. Wow, what a bluff. I like the 3-bit bluff from JK, and I love the 4-bit bluff from Shota. What a and boss. That was really impressive poker player. I, I was already a Shota fan, but yeah, I'm a Shota super fan. What a champ. I love that. Very impressive. That should definitely get some likes from the chat. Oh, yeah. Honestly, that, that, that's a GG moment. That, that hand was great. This is like very old school, hyper aggressive. This is like bringing you back to like the 2013 online battles. Yeah, the, the, the clickbacks. I wasn't there, but I've heard about them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Callan's opening uh, under the gun plus two with sixes. And Alex just calls with the king 10 on the button and Ace has just called with the 10-8. <laughs> And the straddle. He's got crazy eyes, too. Like, Two different players popping straight draws. Boxen, even though he doesn't have the best hand, he is pretty close to the best equity and pretty great spot. <laughs> yeah, he has the two larger cards and the gut shot and the backdoor flush draw. Aces isn't going anywhere with the open ended straight draw. Open seat. Open seat for Pluto. He won like 50K, I think. Yeah, he probably dumped it all back. So Very interesting dude, turn. I don't think, I don't Ooh, think. Brings a pair uh, to the aces. Like he actually that. has the best yeah. hand and the best equity, but the, the uh, I think, uh, prettiest hand and the straight completes for Alex on the river. Yeah, just going to be a chop pot. I don't I see anyone doing anything outside of like maybe a bet and a call. Yeah. yeah. Fox is definitely not going to turn this into a bluff. Maybe. Did he pick them out? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I've seen that show before. A pot size bet, and Foxen is going to yeah. get out of here. Snap it off. Yeah. We got a chop pot. There's you, there's no Great. scenario where you see someone trying to. What a double straight. No, bluff. if he was going to like try to run a diamond, so if he was going to rep the flush, he would have bet the turn. Yeah. Should have raised. Y'all want to play stand up game? Is it too early for stand up game? Uh, I don't care. Let's do it, yeah. Wait till right. he gets back. Yeah, yeah. So they just give us buttons. We don't actually stand there. <laughs> right. Yeah. Did we? Did we pay precept dealers? Did we do that? Did we do that? Or um, we're just tipping we did, we did, we did, probably. We did? Yeah. Uh, precept? Did you take one, is there a one thirty? Wait. Who's go, is it? Uh, What's the time? Time is $10 per person, and we are taking $50 for dealer. Okay. okay. So what they're discussing right now is the rake and the tip. Yep. Um, so there's like a form of stand-up game with the buttons that's pretty fun. If you guys, so like instead, of, like for every time you win a hand, you get a button. I don't know if we have enough buttons for it. And they're also discussing a way to play the stand-up game. Yeah, they want to do the progressive stand-up game. It gets so big. Let's say arbitrarily, like it's like $300 per button. So this hand Mucha so, opened under the gun with the pretty 10-9, oh and Callan three bet the queens, um, and every time I AA oh, finds oh, jacks and four bets. Oh, uh, what a rough cooler, cooler spot for him. Colin is going to call the four bet pocket queens. Like, there's only one person. Well, the ace on the plot may slow things down. And you get paid per button. Already. Yeah, so, pretty uh, rough yeah, card for both players. So like once you already, you, once you're sitting already, you're still incentivized to like win hands. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I don't know. Like, it depends on if we are allowed to do it. I don't know. But I'm sure we can figure it out. Interestingly here, it was yes, sir. Awesome. AA who Great. bets out. Calum yeah, he's going to continuation yeah. as the uh, pre-flop yeah. aggressor. His jacks can still certainly be the best know. hand here. Uh, I just ordered a bunch, so. Fortunately for him, Column has them um, to 3%. Shota, do you drink? Uh, no, I'm very... You drink, Alex? Uh, it goes check, right check. It okay. probably goes yeah, check, check Colin. on the river as well. Someone will have another. Order for, uh, yeah, oh. both players these mouse showdown. Colin drilling the queen, oh, making yeah, his yeah, decisions dude, like, very easy uh, now. Yeah. 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 No one's going, you know, like, there, there, there's enough, we're not. See if AA is going to run a bluff. Thank you so much. Ian's going to start. Ah, uh, that looks like a very thin value bet. Uh, let's make Colin double up over there. He's going to get some bad news. It's just a matter of how much Colin's going to raise to. Yeah. It Maybe even a blocker bet more than a thin value. Yeah, well, blocker bets are often thin value, yep. And, of course, Colin raises it. 
Yeah, going to 12,000. Absolutely. So when he raises this large, he is polarizing himself as much as possible. So he either has a nuts or, you know, the effective nuts, which he does, or he has a stone bluff. And he actually has some pretty good stone bluffs here. He could have, like, King Jack suited. He could have 7-8 suited, 9-8 suited. Yeah, the fact that the spades didn't get there is why A, A, A is thinking about calling, actually. Yep. So the large raise yep. may work. Tequila. Colin? Tequila? I know you're all in, but or you're, you're betting. He's a little preoccupied. Do a shot here. There's nothing stronger than doing a shot time. while you have queens. Yeah, I, I knew he had queens. <laughs> you got a pretty light call. I mean, yeah. You call the four of us. That was a good like size by Colin there. River, yeah, that's when terrible. he polarizes right, himself, that puts AA there in a much tougher Dude, spot. Like the, and AA not having uh, a seven, eight, nine, or spade in his hand is probably why he found a call. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So very reasonable call there from AA. Unfortunately for him, his opponent had a set. Uh, I don't know how long you've been going. They just put water in mine. There's actual you tequila here. Exactly. So during that hand, they had the whole conversation about the progressive stand-up oh, games. Can you explain that? Uh, not yet, oh, but no. they probably will be doing stand-up game we'll later, possibly some progressive stand-up game. We'll see uh, what what ends up happening with it. I love the stand-up game. I think it's great. I think it creates a lot of action. Obviously, this game doesn't need the extra action, but they want the extra action. that we can get McCallum here. Yeah, that surprises me too. I mean, you can't get it at Aria. There's a lot of excitement. Well, not at poker. I guess they want some more. Aww. Yep. These guys love to play and love to play big. I mean, it's a G. So Ian is opening the, the pretty there. queen nine suited from the cutoff. The high limit area. The table. Yeah, it looks like there's a double straddle here. So we're playing one, one, two, four, and he's raising to 1,200 and gets it through. Well, I was told that they don't do it, but maybe I just misunderstood, right? I mean, we, were paying, we were paying, what, 250 a down? They could probably give it to him. I don't know. Maybe it's all good. Are, are, are they at the point? So at this They're point, it's not really a... Yeah, is is everybody double straddling? Or is that just No, happening? it's just happening occasionally here and there. Okay. It is happening pretty often, but no one's agreed to do it. I had to choose, man. I mean, I don't know. I guess people don't want to go out of their way. Go Bird's asking, who are the pros be besides for Foxen? Um... I think possibly uh, call in. Yeah, one more. And maybe AA. But I'm not certain about that, so I very certainly could be wrong. I don't play much cash, and I haven't played with any of these players before outside of Foxen. I think part of the question is also how do you define a pro, honestly? Yeah, that can also be a little bit. Uh, a little bit tough. Desmond there giving us our 97th like. Thank you very much. We are only three likes away from 100 likes. If you're enjoying this game, which I certainly am, please give us a like. It is the best way to help us grow the stream and keep doing more of these. AA flops a set on a four bet pot. Unfortunately for him, Colin has nothing of that flop with his king queen. Oh, but smashes the turn. Oh, what an ugly turn card for Colin. And he's checking it to set a trap. Fortunately for him, he's trapping himself. That was the best possible turn for AA. Yeah, what a disgusting turn there for Colin. And this is the same matchup where Colin just got a big chunk on the Queens versus Jacks hand. going to be very hard for him to not lose a ridiculously big pot here. It's just a matter of how much. Here we go. Call. Does call. Oh my god, what a river. Oh, uh, you, you have to feel for calling here. Thank you, appreciate it. Love that it. is the second worst river card in the deck for him, worst card being a king, but I mean, they're effectively the same. It's I don't see how same. he doesn't go broke here. It's, it's the same, it's a non-club queen, and I don't know. Not he's sure. gotta be feeling he has the best hand, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You want another shot, Ian? We got two uh, spares over here. 25. Seriously? 25, you will. Uh, of course, I'm never gonna deny it. Yep. Just wow. calls. You got wrecked, I told you. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good call. You. Well, it was a pot size bet, and it was, and that may have. Yeah, that saved him 15,000. 
Still, yeah. such a what a brutal run out. To do, man. Yeah, boy. I don't, only saw I saw he had the queen, but I don't yeah, know that's just card. so unlucky for him. If it was the king, that's sick. I would have probably lost my stack there. The and I would have lost my stack on the queen. I would have jammed it for value. Yeah. I would have lost the extra fifteen thousand. If you're if you're AA, do you ever just jam and so instead it. of leaving the fifteen yeah. behind, or I mean, yeah, with the force. Wow, this guy's really um, good. Yeah, I like his bet size. He, he could have also gone all in. That's why I'm not um, really good deep he betting pot or jamming are both fine. Do you think your opponent's enough. more apt to fold? I uh, AA here now up to $133,000. Um, has more chips than second, third, and fourth combined stacks. Wish you're currently our VPIP leader at 47%, VPIP yeah. meaning uh, the percentage of hands that they're voluntarily entering the, entering the pot. Fox in here, currently the lowest at 19 percent yeah aa here our big winner of the night up seventy three thousand dollars fox and now throwing the largest party down 36k after that really rough cooler earlier so i know the stories aa he had the aces he had the set of fours he's way up but me as a poker player, even though Alex Fox is way down, what I'm finding instructive, I know he hasn't hit a, had a lot of cards, is the way he's treating this really aggressive table is he's not entering the pot a lot. It seems like yeah, but when he is entering, he's coming in very aggressively. Very aggressively. Four yeah. bets, five bets. I still find it really instructive to watch how he plays in this really yeah, aggressive Yeah, like table. I said, if I was, you know, if I was in this game, my goal would be to play how Fox is. Sorry, I'm not trying to distract you over there, Camden. I think that's a good rule in almost any game. <laughs> yep, he's definitely one of the best players in the world. I mean, he has 32 million in tournament earnings for a reason. So here we have yeah. Jack three with uh, for Mooch, and he actually has the best hand, but no part of this flop. And this Will's in with 10-9 off dollar. from the big blind, and has a gutter. Yeah, gutter ball to the nuts. These spots are definitely kind of hard to fold. But when your opponent bets over pot, he might. He's definitely thinking about it. He does I, call. It was a button open um, with a jack three. And when he's calling with this 10-9, he's just not, he's not just calling to hit a jack. He's also calling to hit a 10. He's calling to hit a nine. He's also calling to run bluffs on future streets. And he rivers the best hand when the nine comes after it goes check, check on the turn. And he's probably confident that that's the best hand. Yep, looks like he's betting uh, $2,600 for value and gets a fold. And to be honest, your will. Thank you so much. Thank you. For folks who are went all in, would you have called? Um, that uh, who don't play a lot. He was confident based on okay. that the ten and the nine were good just because it was a button open. Yep. Also because his opponent checked back yeah, to turn. It was like but I didn't like the twenty six. It scared me. But before the river came, I was like, hmm. If the straight card comes, I might go all in because I had a jack. So that was my thought process. I was hoping the jack came. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, so I know I'm supposed to be the color commentator. I really feel like I'm the color questioner here. You yeah. give me the color, I'll ask yeah. the question. <laughs> yeah, if anyone here has any questions, feel free to fire away. Um, if you have any questions for the players as well, in particular for Foxen, we can always ask as well. Um, feel free to chime in. Blowing it all away. So uh, I'm curious, because they asked the question earlier about pros. How do you define a pro? Because there's, is it just whether people make money off of it? Or do you have to, like, play a certain amount of time, do a certain amount of study? How is I that mean, defined? There's not really a direct definition. I mean, I view it as someone whose main source of income is playing poker. To me, that's it. That, that's a fair. That's, that's the most objective way to define it. Yeah. He had 10 9, right? So here, AA is opening. God, I'm sorry. Alex Foxen is opening under the gun. Jack with, three. Uh, <laughs> King 3 suited. AA 3 what bet with mean? King 10 <laughs> off. And oh Alex God. is calling. <laughs> yeah, graphics are <laughs> catching up. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Whoa. graphics loading in. Oh, Will is also in there with King Jack suited, the best oh, yeah, man. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to call you tight, that's for sure. Check, check. and a flop that misses everybody. Yeah, but with AA being our uh, pre-flop aggressor, he is going to continuation bet. Pretty tough for Will to know that he has the best hand. Having Fox in behind him makes it pretty tough. 
Fox is not immediately folding. Um, his king high could be good. Also, he has backdoor like flush draw, rip. and he can rep cool. drip fives. So, like, yeah, he has the, the he's, no, this range, his range oh, theoretically oh. fits the spot better than yep, exactly. anybody else's range. Why do you think I just... And he is going for that check raise. I wasn't fucking watching. People are going to be watching this and thinking I'm like horrible. What are they gonna I am. They're just going to see my cars. They're going to just shake their heads. <laughs> No, the Ace King one was wasn't bad. The yeah. Jack the Reaper. Yeah, one. no, the Ace King one. I'm, I'm. There's gonna be someone like talking shit, saying I should have folded or something. I, I promise you. Are you, going, are you, going you home should have known. That, what? You Pretty tough spot here for AA. Hard yeah, for him to definitely. know that he has the best hand. Yeah, so Alex's th uh, raise works, and, and I'm curious, do you think he just did it just based on the spot, or do you think he picked something up in terms of AA's demeanor? It could have gone weakness? both ways, honestly. Alex is one of the best. You can't go back and get it. I just, I just didn't know that. The hand hit the mark. I was, I was standing over there while you no, said you guys, it. It's known you have to show your hand. It hit the mark. A dealer says something. If, no, if nobody says anything, it's reaching range. You can grab it, but it's... I mean, it was. Uh, <laughs> what are they? Arguing? Oh, so the stand-up, the stand-up game is now live. I'm on Will's side. No, of course you have to show it. So the stand-up game is basically everybody has to win at least once, and the last person who loses owes yep. everybody a bounty. Yep, exactly. And they're doing it for three hundred dollars a person. And rule one of the stand-up game: you must show. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So you don't, you, you don't get count. It doesn't yeah. count as a win if you yeah. don't show your cards. Um, I don't think Foxen has played with the stand-up game really before. Uh, maybe he played with the in the coaches game, and maybe maybe one other time before. Man, so, oh, here we have another uh, aces against with a three bet in play, I believe. Aces for for Will versus ace jack suited for Mooch. He's re raising me like five times. When in doubt, you raise. Exactly, all in. And Mooch just jams. Jams into aces again. <laughs> and Will finally, hope it looks like, is on the better side of a... I mean, yeah, pretty unlucky for Mooch to just run into aces again. <laughs> you know, I was, if I saw your hand, I would 100% go one time. Because three hearts on the board. I can't scoot. I'm always one time. Yes, I, yeah, yeah, of course. But I'm, I'm always one Will is one time Will, apparently. <laughs> run that shit out. I want to see a run out. King, queen, <laughs> ten of hearts. We're on the floor. I need hearts. <laughs> Put them out there. Or, or maybe ace jack jack. <laughs> You're going to win. Don't worry. That's you. Yes. Oh. Okay. And that flop. Well, maybe a little backdoor straight draw. Yeah, he's got some. He's got a little bit. Yeah, not much. Will hoping for a little bit of sweat just for giggles. Put a, put a queen of time. Boom. Boom. Eight. Okay, okay. And that ends it. Oh, stone dead for Mooch. Oh, so really unlucky there for Mooch. Incredibly aggressive game. Stand up game now going to. Will's been very active. Yeah, I don't think there's really too much he could do there. Can't blame him for going all in. Just a cooler spot once again for him. And Mooch is only buying in for uh, 10,000. For 10,000. So he's starting every hand with, with, with. Given the straddles and everything, basically. Yeah, exactly. 50 big blinds, 25 big blinds. Nine. Yeah, I don't think this spot was straddled, but whether it was or wasn't, it's just a cooler spot for him in this game. So I, before the hand, I, I interrupted you a little bit. You were talking about whether Alex has played the stand-up game before. He played in the coach's game last night, but that might have been the first time he's ever played it. Because he's not really a cash player. Yeah, no, he plays high-stakes tournaments for a living. And the stand-up game obviously just yeah. applies to cash. And the stand-up game's only been around for a few years. I think it's only been around since COVID, maybe a year or two before COVID. COVID. It's definitely yeah, yeah. under 10 years old. I, I think it might be under six yeah. years old. And I think I show my called the stand-up game because initially people would stand up. And yeah, then yeah. The way it works is you're usually physically standing behind, and then when you win a pot, you get to sit down. But that would mess with the cameras here. So instead, any player that has a $1 chip in front of your stack, like you see with Will there, $1 chip in front of those 1Ks, that, little white chip. that means that he is sat. He is sitting. Oh, yeah, he got one. And if you yeah, don't have the little $1 white chip, you're yep. still standing. Yep, yeah. exactly. So they are sit down buttons. So much chip. 
So okay. Mooch is opening you here with the queen nine suited, which is to 600. Hand, right. So it must have been the baby straddle. Hand, hand, uh, yeah. yeah, I think there's a $200 straddle. <laughs> oh, and Alex wakes up with kings. So. I, I should have to win two. Hi, Alex is going to get his chip, most Every likely. Time I raise. <laughs> yeah, we do have a straddle to 200. Good Straddle's going to fold. Mooch is going to fold. Shota with the 7-5 suited on the button. We saw earlier Shota likes to get sticky behind the button. Yep. He's on the button, having positions pretty nice. T and Fox are deep effective. Stand-up game is going. No, you do. Oh, uh, yeah. he is going to fold. If he had 7-6 suited, yeah. definitely going to be in there. <laughs> is that a serious statement? Yep, 100% he's going to be in there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So, so Foxen did show his kings that time, and now he gets his chip, so he's okay. sitting down. Yep. Stand, okay. I mean, if you want me to buy him for 100 <laughs> See, I think they're just doing the normal stand-up game, but we'll see in a sec. Um, I don't think Will got a second chip, so they're just doing the normal stand-up game. And what's the difference between the normal stand-up game and the progressive stand-up game? So in the normal stand-up game, if you win a chip, you don't need to get another. You're just you're sitting down. But in the progressive stand-up game, each time you get these extra chips, it's worth another, in this game, $300 per chip. So let's say the stand-up game goes for like 20 hands, and the person who loses it is going to be out $6,000. So somebody could win five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But in this game, since it's just uh, an eight-handed game, the person who loses the stand-up game is just going to be out 2100 bucks, which is so, still a lot. Um, not necessarily in this game. Have you been watching it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, these pots have been ridiculous. Uh, so we have an... Open to 300, two callers, a three bit by Shota to 2,000, and nine. AA here as ace king. So so Shota decided to three bet with nine yeah, cents to when there was five people in the hand, which may make sense. Yeah, four bet to 6,500. But unfortunately, he ran into the ace king. <laughs> And he is going to get sticky here. Because now he has a suited connector. Yeah. Big difference between a connector and a one gapper. The connectors hit 30% more flops. That's and they're pretty much a flip right now, too. Uh, and, and he look, sucks yeah. out. And he smashes the flop. It isn't the worst looking flop if you have ace king, is it? No, two overs and the back door not flush draw. Probably your second. Not my second. So there's, it's a fourteen thousand dollar pot already. It's a four bet pot, two pairs and Ace King leads out. You know, instead of just calling for, the river. Yes, yeah, it's like yeah, about yeah, one third. Well, half pot. Ace King leads out for half pot, so it's a you fairly did, large bet. Had, yeah, like, Shota going you know is going to set? call. No way you know had Shota a, has only about nineteen thousand dollars back. You called really fast, though. And that's yeah, a yeah, very nice turn for Shota. It gives him the up and down straight draw to go to this top pair and. Yeah, so now even if he thought AA had aces again, he's got the nine as now, he's got a jack as now, and a six as now. He's not going anywhere. It's, yeah. He's got less than, what, 40%, 60% pot stock stack ratio. Yep. Eight jack suited, man. No, I get it. You really can win? Oh. How do you okay. have aces there, man? That's sick. Just, the real question is, does AA give up? Or does Remember that in your head. Yeah. yeah. Double or triple barrel here. I'm really scared right now because... I don't think you're scared. I'm serious. I'm really scared because... So A checked. Twice. So the question is, does Shota check? I haven't even gotten stacked it's with not the that strong enough hand, hand to, to, get to check with behind, is it? No, it's a pretty good hand to check back. Just the issue with checking back is you give your opponent with Ace-King here free equity. So he might jam, he might check it back. Both options are very reasonable. I'm probably going to get stacked. And I need to win that. I need to... There's a thing going on. we got a big pot. Do you think I care? <laughs> I need this pot to be over with so I can play another hand. <laughs> yeah, so Said like a true gambler. <laughs> they definitely, the rest of the table just wants to get it yeah. in. I'm disrespectful. I need this pot to be over with so I can gamble. <laughs> you know, I'm an action player. I like to play a lot of hands. Interesting. He only goes for one seventh pot. He leaves about... 15000 16000 behind and bets 4000 into a $28,000 pot. Showed it us. Yeah, very interesting oh, size. Hand, like, takes 30 seconds max, and one hand takes like two minutes. You're like, what the hell? Like, you almost have to peel if you're AA, don't you? Yeah, definitely a tough spot, though. 
I guess that's why Ishoda's doing it, trying to get value from these ace highs and get a little protection as well. And that's a pretty good turn. If you knew you were yeah, good that on is the, a safe. On that the is river. a safe river card. If, not safe river. If you knew you were good on the turn. I don't think he can jam this for value, though. Um, he might, but it's, it's, it'd be a thin value jam. Sparkling water. Well, the pot's 36,000. He has what looks like about 15,000 behind. Uh, yeah, 15, 15, three. That is accurate. He might go for it. You know, it's still a tough shove, though, because your opponent can still have tens, jacks, queens, kings, aces. Oh, he is just yeah, so he does check it back. Yeah. What the straight foot? What is going on? Was the 4,000 there designed to make sh to just get a check yeah. back down the, down the river? The show is like an in-position blocker bet and thin value bet, which I like it a lot. It's a great size. He might have made max on that hand. I don't know, though. Like, if, if he jams river, AA doesn't have an easy fold. Yeah, there, there was the, obviously some straight draws that missed, some flush draws that missed. You could, and we saw AA make a, a Yeah, a pretty thick hero call earlier. Earlier, yeah. yeah. Shota getting on the board, though. Uh, Shota tonight, right now, is one of the tightest players. In pretty much every other stream I've seen, Shota has been the loosest player. Yeah, well, this is a pretty loose yeah. table. <laughs> so this, this has been, yeah, this has been an insane table. And he's been kind of spot that, so it's good to see him get in there. No, 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 I will probably be all in this hand. And what we've seen is when Shota does play, he plays position well. He's been yep. playing his position. Yeah, Shota plays a lot of poker and plays a lot of high stakes games. So this is his cup. Of tea. Yeah, like, oh, makes sense. Oh, AA opening again with. I'm sorry, I think the graphics are a little off. Yeah, I think we have a triple straddle. Is that what it is? Okay. So Will triple straddled and AA opening. Yeah, nine, we seven. have a we have a straddle to 200, a double straddle to 400, and a triple straddle to 800. So essentially, effectively, we had five blinds then. Yeah, exactly. One, yeah. one, two, four, eight. Yes, we're playing with a hundred dollar ante. Stand up, seven so. in the stand up game. <laughs> and the seven deuce bounty game. And the seven deuce bounty. I just get sacked like me, like more. Uh, he had at least seven. Players who have no compunction of just getting it all in anyway. This game is playing uh, essentially as big as our 100k forced buy-in game did on Saturday that had Eric Person, Patrick, and Tony as Viver. This game is playing as big. And what we have is a bunch of 20-something-year-old crypto-rich students from yep. the South, basically. And then you have uh, Will, who owns a liquor store, and Alex Foxen, one of the biggest tournament players on the planet. What a fun game. 1.2 It is truly a great game, you know? Um, Honestly, we didn't get a GG moment there, but that hand deserved a GG moment, and this is truly a great game. No, there's been some really good plays, some really informative, interesting decisions. We have uh, the straddle and double straddle going at it, 5-4, 9-6 suited. 9-6 suited is sometimes referred to as dinner for two. Yep. Oh, that's a... That's a that's the most polite name for 968 I've ever heard. I like that. I, I went with the polite one. I like it. That's there's, great. Other, there's other names for 968. That is a, that is a nice name. I like it. You had the best hand. <laughs> yeah, you had the best hand. I only saw one card, but I think I know what your kicker was. Do you have a six? Four. Four. Did you have six? You were ahead. I'll take an angry orchard, please. Yeah, but light in the water, please. <laughs> this is certainly a very fun game. Great to see it. So we are playing the stand-up game. Uh, the one dollar chips in front of each player notes if they've won a pot. Uh, Mooch has not yet. Colin has not yet. Um, Foxen has one. Is Ian? JK doesn't have one. Ian doesn't have one yet. So we have still have four people, and then there's a yep. bounty paid when the last person is standing. Yep. And then on top of that, we also have the seven deuce bounty live for 200 a person, 400 for the last person. Although I've noticed the three or four times somebody's tried to get muck it up with seven deuce, they've run into ace king or yeah, aces. Yeah, seven deuce has been running real bad tonight. Yeah. Check. I ran incredibly hot last night in the coach's game with seven deuce. It uh, was great. Ryan, I loved it. You ran incredibly hot in general last night, and you play. I, and I mean this, not, not just because I'm sitting next to you. Yeah. You played incredibly well. Thank you. I appreciate that. I actually uh, got Fox in a real fun one. If you guys uh, go to our clips on the channel, check it out. Fox and I played a real nice four bet pot for each other. He's also never happy. 
<laughs> Never appeared. Oh, always have. So the seven deuce game, the stand up game, at least seven players willing to just get in, and they're ordering alcoholic drinks left and right. Small and they're upset when somebody takes time and tanks because they want to get to the next dance. And they're upset even though we have time going and we have time shifts and a clock. Yeah, this is a great game. They need to, like, apparently these guys want, like, 10-second clocks. Every time. Use the time sheet, get an extra 20 seconds, and that's it. We have at least four um, crypto traders and a full-time sports better at the table. So in this hand, um, raise the 700 from the button. I think we have a double straddle live. Ooh. Ooh, Shota wakes up with kings after a raise and a call from the straddle. 32. Three exposed. Three that is up. the type of straddle hand you want to see. Why do I feel hard? Fuck. <laughs> Your odds. Unfortunately, hit. there's not much. <laughs> other hands. Will probably would have called, but a three of hearts got exposed. So we folded. So pretty that, unlucky for Shota. Yeah, Will had nine eight of hearts, so one of his, he obviously he, if he does call, he's looking for the flush draw. Nine high the flush. <laughs> You identify some interesting things, Colin. Yeah, it's, uh, I keep seeing it. Oh, man. So, this well, hand, there's only one straddle, and it's Alex Fox. I think it's Ian, who's not generally straddling. Really? He's the have one. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I don't know what the fuck happened to it, but. He sounds like a great idea. Put a Bakara table next to a poker table. That sounds like a printer. best thinker and player. Yeah. That's such a money print spot. I can't believe it. Production was right. So Cowan has decided to raise from the button with 9-4 off. The blinds fold and Alex defends from the straddle with four deuce suited. Dominated and, actually, and drills it. It actually drills the flop. Calling it a continuation bet for 600. Pretty standard spot here. Should expect to get folds pretty often. Five of hearts on the turn can't really scare Alex that much. And it goes check check as expected. Seven deuce, pretty live. Foxen doesn't really have too much of a reason to bet, but he might try to get value from like an ace high. <laughs> he does. He does bet a thousand dollars, seeking value. What does he have? Uh, I'll wait, wait for him. He has, um, he has, there's one card that he has actually. I saw it, believe it or not. You know what he has? A pair of balls. One of the four suits. Oh, oh shit, no, no. Yeah, well, So maybe that explains I what the conversation that. earlier on the hand about 15, 20 yeah, minutes ago. It looks like Mooch is it. just <laughs> looking at Collins' yeah, cards every yeah. once in a while. Yeah, they're just messing around and having fun. They play a lot with each other. They're longtime yeah. friends, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Value move. All right, who's going to double me up? You. Probably, well, I can't double you up. It's got to be the quiet. Who? <laughs> fucking yawning and shit, blocked me all day tight. <laughs> yeah, Alex looks like he could still play D1 tight end, honestly. <laughs> yeah, he he works out a lot. He goes for it. You know, the thing is, you know, a lot of high stakes guys are in really great shape because if your body is in really good shape, then it's much easier for your brain to be functioning well after these long sessions. All right, we have a call in from King 10 suited, and it may actually get the two better hands that are in the pot now. King 10 off suit. King 10 suited. off suit, I'm sorry. And there's, doesn't have a button right he's now. trying not, not necessarily like, knowing, but getting king, queen, and like nine to put attention to the fold. Yeah, it looks like he's there. trying to get a button. Yeah, it's like ten a big pair. pair. Nine so to if, ten. You, if you guys don't got a big pair, quit wasting our time. You got you got ten seconds. Adding time? Uh, a bunch of speech play from he's adding Colin. Colin. Yeah, Colin is what I'm yammering. I like JK giving call. Call. Ian is actually it's considering the king, like queen, queen off to call. This is a GG moment. Ian in a pretty tough spot here, but dominating Colin. Stand up game causing a lot of chaos. <laughs> what do you have? I'm not showing. Does he, does he have to? Yeah. He, he doesn't want to show. I don't want to show. No, don't show him. I don't want to show. Just rip it. Fuck yeah, it. we'll do one time. Show. All right. Oh, he did call. So he oh, did, he did stick it in. And they're doing it once. Guys are well. yeah. And they're, they're both, so they both are missing the stand-up chip. So that's really Yeah, so they're just going for it. Yeah. You're, you're, you're dead right now, buddy. You're completely dead. He's probably got like not the best spot for King Two. Like, King Ten off. He's still smiling. He's hurt the river one time. He's still smiling. Ian's in great spot here. 
Oh, we got some chop outs. Yes. So a two or an eight would lead to a chop, and obviously a ten would give Colin the win. We have seven deuces good. Oh, it's a chop. So in the stand-up game, that means they neither win. Is that yep. what No you to chips. Win. You got to win. I'll show one. The only way you can get a stand up in a chopped pot is when you do uh, when you run it twice on the first board. That'll count for the chip. I get the button right. Makes sense. That was the aggressive <laughs> ball. It's a chop. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, no one gets the button. If you run it twice, whoever wins the first. So that really was an example of how the stand up game does create action. Yeah, exactly. That jam was about getting the chip, and that call was about yeah. getting the chip. Because if you lose a stand up game, it's twenty one hundred dollars you pay out. I get it in with Ace Jack, and I'm just like stone dead, and he gets it in with King Ten. Unbelievable. Because you guys, you morons, have no big hands. I could tell them that none of you had a big pair, so I made a move. Yeah, it was a good move. Thank you. I made it a couple hundred bucks. If I would do it, I would do it again. You'll get an what does that even mean? Sure. If you would do it, you would do it again? Yeah. I mean, if, if someone tells you you could make it. So A is the big winner so far. He's on, under the gun plus one, and he raises queen to win this one. What did he say? I mean, how could you refuse such an offer? Right. Me. Thank you. I mean, I guarantee a couple hundred dollars. Uh, this is for you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, those are dead. Uh, uh -huh. Wow, that's so easy. What the fuck you have? Pocket pair. Huge hands. See, this is what this guy has whenever he goes all in. X yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge hands, yes. That's what I have. I mean, a pair is a big hand. You be your big, beating Look, big slick, and you'll get in their 20 if pair you're gonna, If you're going to convince aces. everyone to Boots jammed 8-8 eight, eight there with the short stack, and he got it through. Yeah, hitting. definitely great picking up that chip. Ace king or big slick or a pocket pair. So we're down to, I believe, Ian and Colin, right? Because the only two without a chip. Yeah, they're heads up in the stand-up game now. Which pocket pair? So wait, can we get votes? Better Would you rather vote? I'm raise, I'm your hand if you're, raise your hand if you're on my team with pocket pair, and raise your hand if you're on Cam's team with big slick. Up. Whoever said I was an advocate of big slick? Me too. I like the pocket pairs better. I'm on team pocket pair. Gonna... Looks like we have a straddle and we have a raise. I could whack you with this thing. It's a weapon. Will raised his pocket threes. Oh, I didn't even order a beer. That's like I go for <laughs> And Fresh A called with pocket sevens, either, dominating the threes. I mean, interesting flop for beer. giving those two hands. Ian, do you have a beer? Yeah, yeah. the flop can definitely hit both players' ranges. Uh, Will three certainly can be the best hand here pretty often, and he is going to continuation, but winning third pot. <laughs> AA has been running very good in terms of usually pipping you you got King Queen? the players he's in. Yeah, it's how he's up about $60,000 today. Yeah, it is. Like, what a super pro. <laughs> the king on the turn could slow down the action. Shit, he's got, a, he's got big slick. I'm going to draw. It does go check, check. Oh, well, the set for AA improved the already winning hand, but does bring a four card straight out. No, yeah, but he should have the best hand here pretty often. Else. Oh, shit. A couple different options here. He can go somewhat large and try to like polarize, or he can go small and try to induce bluffs. Both options are very reasonable. He decides to go large, paying 4,000 to a 2,500 dollar pot. He gets a fold. Yep, certainly can't blame him for that. I know, I don't think I made any big Uh, three players left. So, oh, JK's also. Yep, JK also. So, uh, we are going to chip counts. AA currently the big stack with $116,000 in front of him. Mooch or shorty for 10K. Oh, uh, the second thing went in pretty quick, but uh, AA is currently our big winner tonight, and Foxen currently are, are throwing the party. Uh, Mooch being the highest B pip, 49%. There we go. AA up almost $60,000. Shota up 22K. Foxen throwing the biggest party of $29,000. But we're pretty early in on this night. I mean, Foxen ran into a couple real early coolers, and he's slowly but surely kind of Yeah, he's been grinding it back. He's showing why he's one of the best. Poker yeah, players in the world. Got involved with AA. <laughs> now, notice on the V pip, there was three people yeah. at twenty percent: Shoda, Foxen, and Ian, and then yeah, everybody yeah, else was well above thirty. Yeah. 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 yeah and my guess is Foxen's goal would probably be to be in like the low to mid thirties. 
thought maybe he had. But sometimes you just don't get the spots that you want to take, or you get open and then three bet, four bet, or so on and so forth, or you want to call, or you want to four bet. There's so much action in front of you. So in these really aggressive games, it sometimes can be hard to get those numbers up. Here we have Shota and Ian going to the flop with two pretty hands, Jack-10 of hearts versus King-10 of clubs, and neither one really hits the flop at all. Backdoor flush with straight draws for Ian with yeah, Jack-10. Ian's having these two overs plus backdoor draws is actually pretty strong. Shota does have the best hand, and he has a good check-raised hand as well. Uh, looks like he's just going to let it go. Can't blame him for it. Well, I mean, uh, what I've seen from Shota is he will do the aggression when he's is in position. And there, if he was out of position, he was in the hijack versus the button, and he, he won't yeah, do the... Yeah, so far, but we've only seen about 40 hands. Shota will go for it. Shota doesn't care. I mean, we saw his, uh, what, four-bet bluff earlier? Yeah, that was with yeah. the queen jack, but he was on, he was on the button. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that was a great four-bet yeah. bluff. But uh, I've seen him play a lot. He'll just go for it. He thinks you are weak. He doesn't care. Yeah. But yeah, you have to show. Yeah, I'm just going to win another one. We'll, we'll, yeah. okay. I love that attitude. That's very good. You have to... I thought that was completely different. Oh, about. Ian didn't show. He doesn't get the button. Oh, no. And they're three-handed for a two. That could be a $2,100 plus mistake for him. That's, that's a big mistake. Sorry, you got him up your way from I made a very similar mistake the first time I played the stand-up game. So on the Valley live stream, we were playing uh, 50, 100, 200, 100 Annie, and I made the exact same mistake. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've, I've never played the stand-up game, but if, you're, if your habit is to not show, obviously, yeah, it's hard exactly. to think about right when you take down the pot. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was a great JK. Wow. No. I didn't show. I forgot that was a rule. I thought they were talking about seven dudes. And I kind of tuned out. <clears throat> so here we're going to a flop with Foxen having ace deuce off and Mooch having jack seven off and hitting the flop. Probably not going to be a costly mistake, right? After a check check flop, Ox like a, like Alex a turns a cut shot straight and makes the call. Yeah, and his ace high could be the best hand here, too, pretty often. Fair. Oh, well, trip sevens for Mooch. You think you got the, the river? river. I mean, not if I didn't have anything on the turn, probably. Sure. He just <laughs> likes projecting his hand a lot in the speech play if you listen to it. Yeah, he has been doing that. So let's see if Foxen has been paying attention to it. See if he's noticed that. 4,000. 4,000? Yeah. Also, every time Mooch has overbet like this, he's been bluffing on rivers. That's interesting. So he's paying four thousand to a fourteen hundred dollar pot. He's three xing the pot almost. Four G's. Four fucking G's. Real money over here. And even though Fox only has Ace High, it's actually a really tough spot for him. Uh, his opponent could very easily have Jack-10, Jack-8, 10-8, 10-6. The hearts miss, a bunch yeah. of straight draws miss. That's a good fold from Alex. I got there on the river. You were already there. It's a fun thing to say when you win. Hmm? I do. Dude, that's a fun thing. What I've win. noticed is yeah, it is actually oh, easier to observe when, when you're just observing win. certain tendencies than when you're at the table. Yeah, of course. You have, when you're at the table, there's all these other things going on. It makes it so much harder. That's why, like, being able to execute at the table is a really important ability to have. And Foxen is one of the best on the planet at it. There is a hand three-handed in 250K he played where he called a turn raise and river you have jam to with ace high the in a really disgusting spot where he had an ace high flush draw hand, right? it was so. one of the Two sickest calls i've ever seen it was pot worth like a million dollars in equity um, so foxen is one of the best in the world at executing in these really tough spots here we have a three bet from mooch with jack jack said suited again from the small blind after an open from shoda and a call from Alex. I was around 10 G. Shota has king, queen off, and Alex yeah. has ace, three suited. <laughs> yeah, understandable for Shota to fold there. You don't really want to be off suit in these spots. Foxen is going to call. It's ace high is currently the best hand, too, even though it's a very weak ace. I have a good hand. Well, we up. saw from yesterday, Foxen likes the suited ace wheels. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are very good hands. Oh, it's a much better flop for Mooch, though. Yeah, Mooch flopping this up, down, straight draw, two over cards. Backdoor flush. Yeah, he drilled this flop without actually hitting all it. In. Oh my god. And he makes the all in jam. Check, raise all in. 
Yep, yeah, that was a nicely played hand by Mooch. It was a good three bet, good check jam, very well played yeah, hand. Well played he got Alex to pull the best hand too. Well, uh, Alex had the best hand, but actually not the most equity yep. he saw. Yeah, and really tough spot That's there for right. Alex. Alex can't expect to be good there very often. <laughs> and even when he is good, doesn't have a lot of equity. Right. Kind of, kind of like he drinks Bud Light. So, can you explain equity for anybody uh, equity watching? Equity is just, you see that percentage next to their hand, that's the equity that they have. But it means percentage chance yeah, that exactly. win when all I mean, the cards come. It's more complex than that, but that's the easiest way to say it. Yeah. I've, got a, I've got a full glass. <laughs> Let's get an angry orchard for the table, huh? <laughs> Colin loves the angry orchard. Very prone around here. Colin's trying to get everybody drunk. Yeah, that too. Yeah, that, was, that was a funny joke. Seventeen hundred dollars. What the fuck are you doing? Mooch has been very active. AA opens the cutoff with king queen off, and Mooch three best to seventeen hundred with ace three suited. I know it's like I, I wish he would. An AA being cut off for his button. I'm trying to win a hand. Can't really expect King Queen to be in that rough shape with how aggressively Mooch has been playing, but he does find a disciplined yeah. fold. He gives it up. Man, you know, just because he got the big slick. He was out of position. There. King Queen off suit isn't that great of hand, so very understandable. You have to wait there. for the flop. You can just see a flop and then. Yeah, I'm fucking around versus this guy. Come on. See a flop. That's true. I think, you know, as aggressive and, and loose aggressive as this game has been, it's actually been fairly well played. I don't find almost everybody. Yeah, everyone's, like, picking pretty good hands to do it with for the most part. There have been a couple people really going for it, but for the most part, everyone's picking, like, hands that they're kind of supposed to do it with, which is good to see. He saw it. He saw it for sure. J.K. did a lot early, but he slowed down and maybe just not had the hands. Yeah, J.K. was playing very aggressive earlier, and he still is. He just keeps getting, like... 3-5 off suit, like there, he just yeah. had 8-5 off. Like, when you're getting oh, those hands, you can't do anything. Time to make a move. This is your time, <laughs> Colin. Uh, I can take a long sip of the cider. Yeah. Oh, okay. He needs to, like, act like he's... Mooch is in for, like, the seventh hand in a row, raises with queen seven, but Colin your timing with the on the button has ace-four suited. I'm going to read three into bets. a lot. Mock his hand. He's... <laughs> <don't like> cards. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going? Let him know that I'm all in. Dude. Well, that's one way to win. Oh, the three bet. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, he hadn't bet yet. Yeah, right. he just tanked and then three bet jammed ace four suited, trying to take down the, you have the best pot thing. and get gets that stand up chip. Give me a fucking button. Just JK and Ian. <laughs> yep. Now JK and Ian are heads up. Yeah, and Ian like, earlier really won a pot. And forgot to show. So he, this could actually literally be a $2,100 yeah. mistake. Or even part. bigger if he and JK battle it out and yeah. he loses a pot. That's why the stand up game can be real brutal. So, also, one of the other rules of a stand up game, you can't tell the person to show, show their hand. And some places will make it a penalty where if you do that, you actually will lose your button for telling someone. Oh, wow. So yeah. you have to remember, and you can't, it's like influencing yeah, action. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This, is, this game is all about blood. No, he's watching. Blood in the water. Ian raises the Jack 7 suit, and you see JK calling on his left. This call is strictly a stand-up game call. Yeah, he can't give up. If it's a twenty-one hundred dollar loss if he yeah. just lets Jake, if he just lets Ian take it down. And AA is aware of both of that, so he has an easy three bet here with the King Nine suited. I mean, King Nine suited is a great three bet hand, anyways, but it's even better with the stand-up game. When you're aware of this dynamic, and you have all the chips, and you've been running good, so you just take it down. Makes it even easier. <laughs> Man, there's two guys left. I mean, I was gonna do it myself. If you didn't. It's, it sounds like everybody's aware of the yeah, dynamic. Yeah, of course. This is the fun of the stand-up game. Pretty much all of our players tonight, young crypto kids. Uh, a couple exceptions. Mooch's uh, support's better. Um, a lot of these guys are from the Atlanta area. <laughs> with Ian and... That's awesome. Colin having gone to high school really, together. That's awesome. Yeah, they went to high school together. JK's also from Atlanta. Um, Will is the East Coast person yeah, yeah. from New Jersey and the one businessman. He owns a liquor store. Uh, JK is also a business guy. Oh, JK is a business guy. But pretty much everyone here is into crypto. So do I. Why do you think I raised from early position? Yeah, you have three students who are into crypto. Uh, you know, it's going to be hard for you to win. 
You never know. We're colluding. Uh, so Colin earlier, we gave him a shout out, but we'll give another shout out. Uh, he's all about the Tau. T A O. He also, and we said this earlier, he wants Jake and Cole to know that he's here thinking about them. <laughs> uh, Jake Hay, probably about to get the stand up. Flopping top two pair of 7 3 offsuit in the straddle. And he, as you said earlier, he wouldn't even be in there if it wasn't for the stand-up Well, game. And yeah, exactly, because even though he's in the straddle, he defended versus an open. Also a good value card. Back at that big slick. And Ian's not even in this hand. We don't know what Mooch has. All right. Smart, very smart. But JK is pretty apt to just have the best hand. Oh, here he goes. And he is going for that check raise. I had it. Yeah, he takes oh it my down. God. He said he had it. What and had it? Ian loses the stand-up game when he should have gotten a button earlier and he forgot to show. $2,100 mistake there. Definitely feel for him because I made the exact same mistake when I played in this game. No, no, we're not doing that. 21? The seven dudes. If you're feeling there for Ian, feel a little bad for him, give us a like. Make sure I get paid. You know, he was very nice. He just told JK, nice hand. He just threw out the $300 to everybody. everybody. It's, it's a good bunch of guys. Yeah, they all know each other well. They're friends for the most part. Three, didn't you? <laughs> but it, it is unfortunate yeah. that he made that mistake. It's essentially three different groups of friends that know each other. And then Foxen, who hasn't played with any of them, and Shota, who hasn't played with any of them. Yeah, thank you. I literally just put it out there. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here to help me, dude. You know, you've never played the game before, I'm telling you. Oh, we have a... Retrospect over here. There's a, uh, yeah, I have a friend that lands in Vegas at 9, so... Is Shota and Foxen the only two not drinking? Fortunate enough to have the superpower yeah. hindsight. Foxen doesn't drink and play. I've got yeah. foresight, and I know... Oh, shit, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> leave my phone over here. Sam, it's on you. <laughs> I, I call, I call blind, call blind, call blind. <laughs> Just defending blind. Call blind as well. I like this. All right, we have like essentially a functional bomb pot. I mean, <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> Don't fucking check, yeah. Race to 2000. Let's stand up game, right? Yeah. yeah, we're we're good. We're, I don't think we're playing it. <laughs> All right, doing a short break on stand up game. Mm. Usually they do the break on the stand up game to allow people to go to the bathroom, take it easy for a bit, pull back a little bit on the action. Man, I'm dead. So AA recognizing that everybody was just calling blind. Um, bets uh, two thousand with queen six off, it takes it down. Yeah, he has been playing really well, very aggressively and running hot. Nice little combo there. It's why he's their big winner so far tonight of $65,000. I think AA also is not drinking. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's drinking. And I think it sounds like maybe by your definition, he might be a pro. He says he just plays a lot of cash games. Yep, he likes playing in big cash games. Just like, you're gonna put on the 16. I'm at the mercy of the- We have a triple straddle. Oh, we do. So now we're playing one, one, two, Two, four, eight. Is like, this is already a big pot. Nobody has seen their cards yet. I want. I want the close. I can go eight. on with the eight. I can if probably eight, go on with the eight. Is two, on, yeah, but this thing, if the eight is JK on, waking up with pocket tens from the small blind. You know what I mean? He's been very aggressive all night. He's been card and spot dead for a while. Fortunately for him, it doesn't look like anybody has much except for oh, Will. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh. So the Will with the triple straddle has kings. Kings versus tens. Wow. Oh, what a brutal cooler for JK here. Surprised the nitty kitty isn't fucking. Yeah, kind of a have about 35,000. over here. I know. It's going like, like, 66? I think it's from Tom and Jerry, like the cap with money in his eyes. 56. <laughs> So three bets of 5,600 on uh, a triple straddle at the small blind open. JK is out of position here. They're only playing about 40 big blinds deep effective. So this getting in preflop would be very reasonable. Him calling preflop would be very reasonable. And he does four bet to looks like 12. Yeah, I mean, this is essentially just a tournament spot with some dead money in the middle. There's them getting it all in preflop, very standard. 
You know, thinking about hiring a camera crew to follow you around. Both can call here, he can jam here. Both options very reasonable. What would it be called? I don't know. If he jams, it really just comes down to can JK find a ridiculous fold, which I would not be folding. It doesn't so. like a funky name. I'm JK at this point only has about 23,000 to die. I'm trying to need it. He doesn't need to sell it. He does jam. He did eat on tilt. I know. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, I think it's just inevitable. That's what they all say. Go ahead, say it, say it. Say, tell me that you don't. Yeah, Will is one time Will. Doesn't matter to him how big it is. One time. No, I need a lot more than 8,000 to get even at this point. Trust me, I know. I was. <laughs> you were watching him give it all away. Yeah, dude. I was getting texted. Just a $71,000 pot. $71,000. You know, a 1 1 game. <laughs> I mean, a 1 1 2 4 8, but it's a 1 1 game. Well, the rest of the tables are no good, jocular. The, You're up against King. Will and JK are real quiet looking at the flop. Yeah. It's a good thing, actually, Will. for JK he got it in. I mean, for Will he got it in uh, because the ace Yeah, the ace would have killed the action. Yeah, for sure. Look at this. Another Bobby. Yeah, and you can't fault JK at all for four bets stacking off. Just a brutal cooler for him. <laughs> Ian, do you want another Bud Light, Ian? Ian, I got to talk. Uh, Down to two outs and one river card. <laughs> yeah, pretty ugly spot for him. What do you do? You're working on your V-pip. Oh, my one off. Drink. I'm the only one drinking. I'm literally. I thought JK was actually playing really good early on. He just went card dead, and then he finally gets some cards. And it's and in a triple straddle, tens into kings. It's just it's a huge cooler, and it, you got to feel after you've been card dead for a few orbits old. This is finally my turn. Yeah, turn-up. exactly. Yeah. You don't know this guy. Yeah, just a very rough cooler for him there. Four. I would go broke with that too. Do not ever. I am for this. Do not give him credit. Wow. That's a suck out. No. There are new to our game tonight. We started a little late, so we're probably going to be running pretty late. So we probably still have about three plus hours left in the night. Great. Did you not see it? It's been a very big action game. That's why you start off the 800. I would sincerely love to hear Cairo. Uh, comment oh, for an hour or so okay. and, uh, and, and just be able to sit here and listen oh, to him yeah. do that. I think okay. you could come up here and... Yeah, I'll send him a message. <laughs> no, that Dealer, yours. You have no idea. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a fucking... Yeah, that's a fucking Especially you. since there's been <laughs> like three or four times that they've played the Octo Crab in his honor. It's your, it's your 200. It's your 200. Thank you, man. Try to get even. Trying to get unstuck. Big Ian, raise it up. Whoa. All right, I gave him a message, so I assume we'll have uh, Kyra in the chat, or in the commentary booth soon. This could be an interesting hand. We have both ace jack suited and ace ten suited. Yeah, and unlucky again for JK that he's dominated. I don't know what patronizing means. You don't know what that means? He's just rebought in. Or not rebought, but re -owned. You're on TV. Stack, it means like, like, topped off his stack. It means like, I'm on TV. It means like you're making <laughs> but, someone feel Oh, he drills the 10. He yeah. drills the flop. I'm not making you feel small. <laughs> Unlucky there for Ian to get sucked out on. Making them feel less than you. You know what I mean? It's like, Luckily it's like for you, though, there's not much on that flop to make him you know what I mean? stay like, around. Like too calling long. someone buddy. That you get it. Do you ever, really? like, you, people call you buddy a lot. Of yeah, time. of course. And that's, it's sort of patronizing. Interesting. It goes check, check. I call you buddy, right? I mean, I'm not trying to patronize you. All right, big call. Is that JK just yeah. trying to get value on later streets? Big. Yeah, Ian's going to take his showdown with Ace Jack. You can call Eric Big Eric. <laughs> yes, I do. Big Eric. JK now going to bet his Ace 10, <laughs> setting a trap on flop. Little Ian. And it works. Ian is going to call. I mean, something else, dude. It's, it's Patreon. All right, Ian the Crusher. Ian, we need, no, we need Super Pro Ian. You. I need, I need a nickname. Ian's on, Ian is like three I was, letters. I wish, is Nate not was here. I wish Nate was here so he could say old Roadhouse. Three letters is not enough. That's, I need Roadhouse something. is a good nickname. I mean, hell, six letters is not enough either. JK is trying to figure out how much he wants to bet to get called. But I can count it. The $6,100 pot, he looks like he's so going for almost a pot sized bet. Yep, this larger bet's going to polarize uh, his range. I don't want to say his name. Trying to tell Ian that he has essentially top hair, top kicker, or better. Oh, shit. He's probably like, I can't spell money, but I can count it. Or a bluff. Did not say it like that. This time he had it. Eccentric. Probably because he's up. What do you think about Ian's play there? The, the 
Non continuation bet on the flop yeah, said, and then the like, check call on the turn. Yeah, it allows your opponent to uh, still have a lot of air in their hand. Um, let's say you think your opponent's going to float flop a lot, then you can just see bet small. But if you think your opponent isn't the type to do that, you can check call. Or if you think your opponent's going to think you're really, you know, weak by checking, you can check trap. So, a lot of different ways to play it. Both options are very reasonable. You could have gone for a flop check raise, could have gone for a turn check raise. Okay, we are adding 20,000 uh, What time did the game end? Jimmy V? Um, whenever yeah, I busted, I think. Uh, really? It ended when you busted? Well, I mean, it was three-handed. Uh, it was five, I was six a.m. Right, <laughs> yeah, it should be. Yeah, should be. Single straddle in this hand. Who's goes it? Both? Which one do you want? Okay. Yeah. Looks like Ian's gonna add some extra chips. Yeah, what, do I, what am I supposed to call Ian? I'm not allowed to say Big Ian anymore. So I'm call Ian so. Probably close to. Big Ian anymore. You have 100k behind Ian. Uh, four or five hundred grand on the table right now. Buying for 100k, pussy. Oh man. I have five Gs. I have like. Do that. How's Vegas been so far for you, Ian? So the seven deuce Fine. game is at play. Small. What time did you land? Yeah, Callan is going to just jam it. Uh, and so you have. 10:30. <laughs> so the seven deuce game right now it's two hundred dollars a person, but it's four hundred dollars the last person. So AA is going to pay an extra bounty on top. Who's the last guy to fold? He just he happened to jam into the right hand. Okay. I'll take that big Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you think the big hand's like a four yeah. or five? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna call this ass if it wasn't for you, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's his name? Uh, fuck, what was that guy's name? Wait, the button's here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was his name? Can you ever tell anything? by how people stack or don't stack their chips. Callan seems to be just a let the chips lay kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, it feels though when people do that, usually means they they tend to be more fun players. Yeah. It's pretty rare, like professionals will do anything but keep their stacks very clean and even. And actually in tournaments, you're required to keep your chips in very countable locations. Um, a lot of cash games require that too, but a lot of people don't necessarily enforce it super hard, unless it's like they, you know they have some big chips buried and you want to make sure you can see them. Yeah, and obviously the purpose of tournaments is so everybody has an idea yeah, exactly. of exactly what they're... And especially in these like time games, it's generally a lot more like must keep it in 20, that type of stuff. I think, uh, Ian, I'm pretty sure... Did you meet Matt? What do you mean, don't mean Matt? So here we have A, a with queen yeah. 10 the tall and Will guy. with queen 9 on yeah. a 9-high yeah. flop. So Will yeah, well, is starting sure to turn the tables in terms of Ocean Prime. his luck a little bit. Tomorrow. <laughs> okay, yeah, he was talking yeah, Will running those uh, kings into 10s and like holding was very nice Even for him. Chain, they're really good. Up a nice chunk now. So you might want to... And here, you he started off with the worst hand and he outflop AA. Yeah. It's only a $1,600 pot right now. AA could run a bluff now. The straight completes on the river. Yeah, nice little four liner. And A is pretty yeah, apt to have an ace, man. too. I don't know. I, I just want to. Uh, I'm do you run, man. Christian McCaffrey. Take it, take it, take it, run, take it, take it man. I'm, oh, wow. He did that. It works. Yeah, understandable fold there from Will. A just has so many ace highs. <laughs> you know, um. Yeah. That's good. The old, yeah, right but there's a lot of speech play I've noticed, and and they really do keep kind of telling where they're at. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know if anybody at the table cares that much. No, not really. People have just been like it wasn't good. messing around with it, having fun. Yeah. That's not widely available, unfortunately. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. I'd probably go uh, there's Chiefs. Um, yeah, Colin and I have a really big Just wondering where Pizza Tony is. I haven't <laughs> seen him in a bit. Um, I've been commentating most of the games over the last month or so, and I haven't seen him. And under Actually, uh, yeah, he's played a few times. I think he played in the game when I played. Really nice guy. So AA raises with the pretty queen jack suited, and three players go to the flop, and AA just smashes what the queens. What a flop. <laughs> AA is running truly hot tonight. He's playing good, too, though. Yeah, he's playing very well. witnessed by that last hand where he Yeah, I think he's been playing great. You haven't been all in a while. 
know. Like, Ooch's hand amazing. again is the mystery like, hand, yeah, but I'm, it's hard to imagine it's better than. I do not. No, I, I don't need a red bull. I'm, yeah. I don't need wings at the moment. What's your opinion, though? The graphics have been working really well tonight. It's just the players don't always hold their cards properly over the spots. I need an opportunity. So if you're not holding it properly over the card readers, it's not going to pick it up. So Shota called the turn with seven high, clearly planning on doing something on the river. That's out of position too. You're right. You're right. You, Shota will just go for it if he thinks his opponent's weak. He does not care. So I assume we're about to get a check raise into oblivion right here. King, I'm probably going to be all. Oh, looks like he decided to give up. Or if I have like a blocker, you know? A blo oh, wow. You're using big words now. I don't know what blockers are. Will, once okay, again, with the selfie like, facing uh, speech but play. Have have <laughs> cards, but you only have one. You're blocking them. This is Norm. Correct. It's kind of like. Never mind. <laughs> no, 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 okay, say it. No, no, that's okay. It's I mean, I'm, I'm on stream as well. Thank you. I am trying to figure out how to play against these people. I'm trying to figure out how to be It's AA. very hard. How do you be AA? Um, well, I mean, it's not easy. Yeah. It is not easy to be AA tonight, that is for sure. Not when he's getting trip queens on the flop or getting sets of fours and turning yeah. king top pair for some of his opponents. Yeah, it's pretty it's hard to beat someone running that hot. And, and he's playing well, too. We have four to the flop with a uh, kind of crumb. A lot of different hands, yeah. <laughs> well, Will flops middle pair with the flush draw. I mean, Shota has an up down straight draw. A little bit of something. Yeah. Moosh is making sure Colin's already messed up chip stacks. Yeah, it's more even more, more messed up. <laughs> we're, we're, this is called. Uh, nine of Diamonds actually flipped up. At least it's a non action killing card or anything. There's a name for this upwelling. Have you ever heard of upwelling? Deuce. In the ocean, when there's like the currents, it pulls the bottom of the ocean. Four of hearts on the turn doesn't improve anybody. It's the word of the day. Because my vocabulary is rich. You know what upwelling? Shoulder is? just gives no, up. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Google upwelling. I'm gonna take your word for it. I don't have my phone. So. I learned it in um, 11th grade, I think. Okay. Uh, geography. So right now we're getting a um, vocabulary lesson. Yeah, well this guy's shitting on my lack of words, so. Do you know what patronizing means? A little bit. Was that like a crazy, I thought that wasn't crazy words for a while. You guys should be, you guys are all at the same age. You're like 22? 23, 23, wow. 21, how are you? So, 23. Will is, is oh, interrogating oh, everybody about their age and trying to like, make sure that he knows everybody's 21, 22, 23, <laughs> 23 years old. <laughs> I mean, this is a very young lineup. This honestly reminds me of when I first started playing live in Vegas. Yeah. Like everyone was my age and then now everyone's aging with me. Now yeah. I see these kids that are like 25. I'm like, wow, you're so young. So with every passing year, you realize how much younger and younger the whole rest of the world is. Yeah, pretty much. I just moved to LA. Well, I now am starting to know what it feels like for you. Just a little bit though. <laughs> just a little probably, bit. Just a little bit. I guess that's when we played at parks, right? Yeah. You probably know a couple of my friends. So I have some friends that play at parks. Eugene, everybody knows Eugene. He's he's good at action. I know Eugene. They like Roman. to say, huh? Roman. Um, I I know that person. I he's I don't know who he like, I don't know him personally. Who else do you know? Um, Adidia. Oh. I know. Uh, so our sports better seems to yeah, be starting like to slur his words guy. a little he's bit. Like he's been the one that, drinking a lot. Yeah. So. Mooch and uh, Colin have both nice been guy, nice guy. Supreme going for it. <laughs> no, he's a nice guy. I've, I've done business with him. Zero action. Only eight. There's not a whole lot of people named Navi. <laughs> Will popping it up to $300 with the ace. Oh. He took it all down? Yep. Got it through. Oh, no, I the, the 
loose. And it's oh. just kind of slow down. Chip counts tonight. AA currently our big stack up to $118,000. Will after that Kings versus 10 at 72K. Mooch and Colin, the two shorties at around $10,000. I can settle from anywhere, right? Mooch currently the highest V pip at 47%. Will up there at 45. Ian and Alex down at the bottom, down there with Shota, each around 20%. I was just <laughs> JK has dropped his V pip consistently as the night. Yeah, he's right. been pretty spot dead all night. A are currently our big winner with 58k thanks to that aces versus ace king is queen. Foxen are throwing the party at 33k. Super pro anymore. I decided. Wait, wait, what happened? What? Did I miss a big hand? You got a lot of chips. No, dude, I just bought more. <laughs> he won that. I just gave E in a heart. Yeah. I accidentally needled E in about his chips. Yeah, there. saying, uh, yeah. Yeah, Ian, he's now the super pro because he has 30k, but he took 20k out of his pocket. It's like you're the mooch special suit. I'm surprised. Oh, yeah, Dude, you know what happened tonight that usually doesn't? I did not get stacked within like the first 10 hands. That almost tonight? I thought you did. No, I didn't. The Ace King was like two hours in, like maybe 90 minutes. Sweat, sweat. Just leave it there, okay? My hand Can I look at one over there? Yeah. Can I look at so we're going to a flop where Alex has ace three suited in diamonds and Will has four two suited in spades and nobody really hits it. There's a lot of gut shots. Alex is in the cutoff. Sure Will is defending his double straddle. <laughs> I fold. <laughs> yeah, nine, six. Last time he ate double straddle, he had kings. The four deuce is not quite. Yeah, the, the four deuce is a lot closer to the average. So he had kings, and he has four deuce. And the near result the top is, and near the bottom. is expected. I had a two card six. Foxen yeah. wins a hand. The first pot I've seen him drag in a while, I think. Yeah, he's been running real cold in tonight's game. I, I figured that. No, I figured that. Which, you know, as a pro, when you see a lineup like this, everyone's having fun, everyone's drinking, playing a lot of really big pots. To lose in this lineup is a little bit frustrating, but, you know, he's used to playing these types of games, playing big stakes. So he's taking it like the pro that he is. Yeah, I, can, I, I can't specifically imagine. I can only imagine if you... If you're this accomplished a pro and you sit down at a table like this, you have a lot of expectations, and when you don't get cards, it could get real yeah, frustrating. Yeah, yeah. Or we're getting, like, real cold deck. Yeah. yeah. That's your second account. No, it's not. Oh, it's not? That's because the thing You bet all my chips on this. But here he wakes up to ace-king after Shota opens with ace-ten suited. And I think there's a double straddle on, so we're playing one, 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 two, four. Apple juice. Come on. So this pot could get really big. He can't even drink his apple juice. I think boxing called. Oh, he only flatted. Was setting a trap. That's how men ever learn about. They put a bunch of ice in it. Water. And the flop doesn't hit anybody. Boxing still has the best hand and has that king high flush draw. Uh, backdoor flush draw. Fermentation. You, you ever heard of up well? Oh, you can check this back or bet this for value. Looks like he is going to bet it for value. Drink a little less. Talking about fermentation on stream is shit. Yeah, what the hell are you talking about, yeah, man? That's talking where you put, like, Shota's ace-10, often going to be the best hand here, so probably going to see a check call. He might also check raise it. Wow. wow, he does check fold. That's really disciplined fold. Very smart fold. He was he only had three outs and was in rough shape, so He got lucky fold. by the, uh, honestly, once the trap was set, he got lucky given the, the, pet, the texture yeah. of the flop. Um, three low cards, straight draws, flush draws. It didn't those cards. Yeah, and you really can't blame Fox in there for setting the trap. I mean, this game has been playing so ridiculously aggressive that, and the two of the most aggressive players are behind. Plus, Shoda himself has been yeah, shown exactly. some willingness to mix it up a little bit. So. Good trap spot there That's for Fox and just unlucky no one woke up with anything. If I was to be playing in this game, I'd probably be playing pretty similarly to Fox and are trying to play as well as him. Walks away from the table. Yeah. Ian wakes up with Ace Queen and a hijack. Ian, I was like, they got my mic on right now. I was like, Ian is also one of the three players with the uh, lowest V pip, so he's been a little card dead, but he's also only getting in it seems with really good hands. Yeah, I mean he's been going for it a little bit, but he's definitely playing a little more carefully. Ian, we need a name, the Goat Herder. That's what his name is. Yeah. <laughs> 
He fucking herds goats. So he gets beat up by AA with the nine eight offsuit. A is clearly feeling himself right now. Yeah, also he's up against a late position open. He's on the button himself, so while this isn't a theory three bet, it's a good spot to attack an opponent that you think will be capable of opening somewhat loose. Lucky for him, Ian just has a very good hand here. I needed a lot of goats to be And he four bets his ace queen really large, it looks like. 8,000 just takes it down. Goes for like a... Like a, what is uh, so I I know there's a big difference in the sizing in terms of three bets and four bets in cash game versus tournaments. Yep. Can you explain some of that? So usually the deeper effective you are, the larger sizes you want to pick. Um, usually at about 80 big blinds, you go up to three and a half x. At uh, I want to say at like 150 or 200, you go up to four x for in position. Um, and then usually for out of position, you add an extra one to one and a half x. So in position in tournaments, you're generally three betting to 3x or 4x or 4.5x. Four yeah, and I swear to just God. from what I've witnessed in the tournaments, in position, you get a lot of the kind of smaller 2x, yeah. 2.5x. Yeah, so that happens X. when you're sub 40. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hey, no one to play some after this. Yes, no. sure. Lario. Colin. Yes. Kansas is out, Matt. He was. There, there was, he was out. So here we have JK with Ace Jack going to the flop. <laughs> oh, wow. And out flopping in some ways, Shota with who has the Ace King. Uh, he was, it was, flopping it was the straight flush draw. Yeah, Shota technically has the best hand, but he's actually an equity <laughs> dog. 46% versus 54. I don't get it, but. It's an AI, right? The coaching, it's an AI. So JK actually leads uh, yeah. it out and Shota just he calls. An and the turn I'm serious. is like I'm serious. I'm not even trolling. Okay, yeah. Are you not big in AI? Are you going to deny that one? Continue like to tell the AI. same story. JK yeah, yeah. leads out again cool. with a okay. little bit more than half pot. I'm trying to, I'm trying to and network here. You guys no, 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 I know. Like I'm AI. sorry. I'm being yeah, understandable the fold there from Shota, not having the flush right. draw. You know, you could just be stone dead there with you, your ace high and gutter, gutter ball. From Colin. I like to think oh. that. Like, Every time what I do you, what do you I don't know, from me? Uh, Colin, he's like, what do you say? I don't know, I don't know. Okay. What? I don't believe it. Well, he was asking me about AI, and I was but like, well, you might put in like 400 big ones with Ace Queen. No, but like, he, I don't know, he has yeah. a. That was a. Like, Colin and Mooch don't look long for this game, if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah. I was caught up in all the action, man. So. Bro, I, I, I was gonna actually say something about that. It's just a needle, and I was like, ah, uh, let's just let it go. You can do it. You can do it. To pick his I, I can take a needle. I was like, I was like, that right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's quick. Definitely not normal, normal, no. Especially yeah, when he lived and he jammed. Uh, so <laughs> AA opens the hijack with Jack six suited in diamonds. No. And Talon. What game do you mean? Trying to figure out a contest. Decides to just call with the king four suited and Will three bets the ace ten suited from the small block. Yeah, nice three bet squeeze here by Will. Really good hand to do it with. Has the best hand as well. You'll find out in a second. Are you angling me? Let me just tell you, whatever you do right now is the wrong decision. Slam in a time chip and act like it's a call. That's a great angle. Yeah. <laughs> be like, I call. Boom, time. Yeah. You don't even have a, a $500 chip. Stand up. You accidentally put in two chips and then be call. How much you playing yeah, behind? I meant to do it with black. Yeah, hey, you're running out of time, brother. You better use a time chip real quick. You, you, want, you, you want to borrow mine? You're dead. I'm all in. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Colin just decides to nice. punt with King 4 after the big speech play. Welcome to the Will, Will got him with the speech play. Great work by Will there. He's not showing. Now he's got a hold. King 10 off it's, a, it's a 3 to 2. It's actually only a 3 to 2 with Ace 10 versus King 4 off. Yep. I mean, King 4 suited. I have a very mediocre hand. Oh, please. Show me that card. I'm not oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. What a flop. This is not good. King 4 now the equity favorite. Uh, what the fuck did you jam with? I don't know. I hope he has, like, 10-4. You will never guess the hand that he has. Oh, oh he no. drills it. And somehow I mean, Callan pulls it off. Oh. That's poker, isn't that what they say? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Callan with a little dance after drilling the king. Oh, um, Callan is definitely the funnest player at the table right now. Yeah, and he's having the most fun. And he will probably continue to have the most fun. There's this interesting dynamic where the one side of the table with AA and Mooch and Mooch and Callan playing one way and the other side with Shoda and, and Ian and JK. Although, I mean, Shoda has been going for it. JK has as well. They've just been really spot dead. Yeah. 
You know, they're willing to battle. It's just they they pick their battles a little more carefully. <laughs> Not even that careful. I mean, I've seen Shota really go for it. I mean, he had that four-bet bluff earlier on the flop, which was, I loved it. Yeah. It was spot on. Yeah, it was spot on. It was a great bluff. I don't know if I can equate that to the King Four Jam. Yeah, though. <laughs> the King Four is uh, yeah, that's that's really Three, going for five, it. Jam Four Bet. I would have been, uh, been pissed if he sacked me. I might have left. Definitely a fun action game tonight. These are the types of games that like I dream about. If, if every cash game was like this, I would be a cash game pro. Yeah. Okay, and I'll take it. I did not give you 3.5k. You're you sure? fucking lying. And I don't mind when players like, you know, players having a lot of fun do the, you know, dance after they win big pots. I don't sure. really care. It doesn't bother That's me. That's why they're having fun. Exactly. I mean, but this also shows you even if you get it in 60 with a 6% favorite, you still are going to lose 40% yeah, exactly. of the time. It just is just what it happens. is. It just happens. just part of the game. If that didn't happen, oh poker would be more like chess and there was no money in chess. Oh God. Sorry. So will three bets here with ace queen off from the button. Which could look like a steam raise given wow. the hand that just happened. Wow, Shota going for it the four bet. 6-5 off two. Like oh, I said, oh. Shota's just willing to go for it. <laughs> You're right. He'll pick his spots well, though. I'm not sure this is a well-picked spot. No, unfortunately for him, that Will has what? ace queen. No, it was four. And it could have, like, because Will did just lose that last hand, he couldn't think he Will think is steaming. Yeah, right exactly. Plays and lose. So I think Will just calls. I would have said on tip leader yeah. coaching day, I would have said I won. Or I made a good play. Yeah. And another bad flop for Will, unfortunately. Yeah, that's yeah, just unlucky for Will there. Sure. What type of, like, AI is it? When you say AI. It, it's uh, it kind of, like, feeds you hands that you're that you're doing poorly in. Like, so if you're playing flops bad, it'll give you more hands on the flop. So he would be getting all sorts of hands. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Uh, it wouldn't know what to, to feed him. It would just be feeding uh, listen, him everything. I don't want to be co coached in poker. I don't want that. But he went. Fox is trying to pick up a client. Yeah, yeah, Callan's declining. <laughs> yeah, he's just talking about it. People have been asking him questions. He's just telling them. Ian's on. Yeah, and this showed a continuation betting three thousand dollars into the seventy-seven hundred dollar pot. He does now have the best hand out flopping Will. That's what Ian's to call. He has the best hand and actually has eighty percent equity. Yeah. What are these guys doing? What? How do I play against these guys? Like. Uh oh. Wow. Will going for a raise instead of calling. Hell, coach. I mean. Seriously, what the fuck am I supposed to do? It's an interesting decision. Essentially, what this raise does is... Just add on more. It frees up a lot of equity. If Shota has, like, some hands that have, like, a lot of outs, he's trying to just get those hands to fold and just end the hand. Like it also, 9, 10. Yeah, exactly. Hands like that. And also what it does is when Shota has some really big hands, it allows Will to get to the river cheaper. So it does a little bit of multiple things at the same time. But it also isn't Shota somebody who's capable of coming even over the top of this. Yeah, game. that's the danger of it. That's the danger of doing it. That's not going to happen with me. Wait, these are a minute? Yeah, each one. Wow, don't, don't give him It also kind of disguises Will's hand, so if a queen or ace does come. Hell, I mean, hell, we could just take a nap. I mean, you know. <laughs> Oh, oh, Shota does go all in. <laughs> You're right. Nice nice read on that. Shota going so, for it. Well, I was just listening to how you've been talking about him. <laughs> yeah, he he will definitely go for it. I know, but also will just run into some real unlucky flops the last two hands. Yeah. Also, speaking of uh, crypto, JT909, GME on Solana, get in or get left behind. Uh, shout out to our executive pro producer, Alex Lee. Big on the GME Solana train. Train. Yeah, I, I don't know anything hey, about it, but apparently Alex has made a lot of money recently. Yeah, it's been doing well. It's been pumping hard. <laughs> I want him knocked. <laughs> I'm serious. Mooch picking up the ace king. Mooch played a lot of hands. It was up, really, really loose early, so the ace king could okay, give me be some well disguised yeah, here. Yeah, he had a... Uh, Tone it down a little bit, but he's still one of the most action yeah, players. So definitely going to get paid if he hits this hard versus JK. Jack nine is a pretty hand with the straddle. Oh, what an unlucky flop there for JK. Yeah, they both hit that flop. Great flop. I'll bet in the dark. You want to check in the dark again? No. And again, if you heard. Oh, 
Okay. Flush draw for the turn. Did we, it went check, check on the flop? No, he see and called. Oh, okay. Moocher was asking if you wanted him to check. And JK told him no. Chips. Just tell him it's 41 chips. So that turn gives him about 28% equity. Mooch bets 4,100, and JK definitely calling, turning this flush draw. His jack could be good, his flush outs should be good. Okay. I'm all in. all in. And the river was, we don't, we missed the river. Uh, we're about to get it. Oh. King of hearts, yeah. jeez. Bad card. Yeah, JK's been running pretty bad in these spots. He had that tens or kings earlier, and now he turns his flush draw and bricks out. Getting very good odds on a call, but hard yeah. for his opponent to have that many bluffs. The all-in is only half the pot. It's 5,500 into a... a he is getting good odds, so he's definitely not an easy pull for him. No, no, no. He, don't count it. He's folding. <laughs> Mooch with the speech play that I think actually you can pick some things up on, but maybe not. I don't know. Can we get a VPIP count? Yeah, Mooch has been talking a lot, and if, if you've been paying attention to him, you can definitely bathroom. pick up on that stuff. That I mean, I'm, I'm going to bathroom. Number one and number two. I got to go number good one. Fold from JK. Good read by JK, yeah. Getting very good odds on that. Very aggressive wow. player. Looks like we're getting a bit of a raid here from the GME community. Shout out to GME. If you're a fan of GME, give us a like. Can I use one more time? I don't think you use it. But we really should do more smaller increments, because like... It does make more sense. Uh, yeah, I'll take a water and another increment. Usually like you need 10 seconds more, 15 seconds. Uh, that's fine, that one's fine. A whole minute more is really rare. Ryan, I just you want to say thank you life. for allowing me to comment on Bali Live Poker, this live stream. Of course, yeah. It's, I'm having a great time. Good, I'm glad. You. Everyone here stopping by. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for being patient with us. Uh, Nikki had a uh, something pop up for tonight that she's doing. She's hosting somewhere else right now. Uh, so we had Brendan come in. And Brendan, this is the first time ever doing commentary. If you've been enjoying his commentary, please let us know. I've certainly been having fun, but I I always love doing commentary. I don't care what the game is. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Well, this is a very fun game. It yeah, really this game is. has been great. Just objectively. We have at the flop, A7 for Alex, and he actually hits the flop up against Jack-8 off of AA and 8-6 off of Callan. This is all Alex on this flop, I think. Yeah, he should take this down, but Colin could go for it. Oh, it looks like Colin bet. Yeah. Oh, Colin does turn a 6. Colin may have gotten him, got himself into a little trouble with the flop okay. bet and then turning the pair. Except, <sighs> how is Alex Foxen running tonight? Jeez, Alex has just been getting cold deck and cold deck and cold deck. How do you get Point runner, runner six if you're Colin there when you opened up? <laughs> and Foxen going to bet for value. No reason not to. But he's going to get some bad news when Colin check raises here. And Foxen actually would have a very tough fold. Colin's been a lot of action. Colin's uh, been having a lot of fun. There's some missed draws on the on the river. Although those weren't there on the flop when it was back. And Foxen said, hey, you're being real quiet. And Foxen Millie says he believes you. My bet is the main reason why is when Colin had the king four suited, he was talking, he was really animated. And now he's very quiet. Yeah, I think I Foxen think picked up a tell on uh, Mooch earlier, and I think he's picked up a tell on uh, Callan now. I think yeah. you're right. Sometimes it's at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. All right, we'll see if you're lying. Oh, wow. He still Fine. puts in the money. Oh. Uh, Fine, bitch, I got it! <laughs> and there <it> goes. <laughs> Kyle was uh, having a fun that time. That Foxen should have trusted himself. He knew, too. He said it immediately. He just didn't follow through on it. Nice yeah. Time. Thank you. His instincts were right. The river. How did you see he just the wanted to see. The river. <laughs> uh, six, eight. You know it's the Mac, Ian, right? Yeah, yeah. I had to play it. You had to.
That may have, could that possibly have also been a frustration call from Alex, you think? It certainly could have been. You know, that's the thing about poker is that when you're running really cold and when the game's really aggressive and, you know, this guy has a lot of beers deep, sometimes, like, what you think might be a good read could just be, you know, this guy's just randomly clicking buttons, so you don't really know. And, you know, when you're off your game a little bit because, like, you're running bad in this game, you know, it certainly could be part of it. You, use them? you know, that's the thing about poker is that, like, it really is an art form and a very uh, mental game. Yeah. It's on the ground somewhere. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, we were discussing this earlier off offline, but it's not just theory or ability to read people. It's the ability to execute at the table, and that's really knowing yourself and trusting yourself mm -hmm. and being kind of willful, so to and speak. Boxing really is one of the best in the world at both the theory, about the execution, and reading people. But, you know, anyone can miss that. And honestly, I really don't blame him for calling Colin there. Colin has been incredibly, incredibly, incredibly less aggressive. Yeah, that's fair. JK here, three betting with a nine six off. I think that was a four bet. Four bet. Yeah, four bet with nine six. And it looks like he's and he takes it down. <sighs> Or no, or it's, yeah, yeah it didn't get it down. Yeah, this game has been insanely aggressive. One of the most aggressive games yeah, I've seen in a very long time. Like, what is that, like 10 feet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah 10 feet core for. I mean, that's what they sold Jump to me. The 100K buy-in game on Saturday ended up playing a little bit bigger. But I think this game, it's technically playing almost as loose. I, I guess the one thing that the game on Saturday had going for it is they were doing the VPIP game at 35%. Uh -huh. So that was forcing a lot of these ridiculous hands. So we haven't played the stand-up game recently, but the no. seven-deuce game is still on. Yep, seven-deuce game is on. And when the stand-up game was going earlier, it played really, really, really big. So yeah. I think once the stand-up game gets back on, we'll see a lot more of those 30K-plus pots just naturally happen. And it looks like there was three or four people regularly straddling us now down to just one or two. Yep, so. exactly. So there's been a lull. I feel as though that's pretty common in a lot of these types of games as well, where you'll see like this back-and-forth give-and-take in the aggression. Very interesting turn here. It ended up giving Ian the best hand, but Shota the flush draw after have, after flopping the best hand. We're three ways to this river. And a blank river that doesn't really change anything. 7-8 uh, does get there. Will could decide to bluff. Shota could decide to bluff with that. But everyone's going to take their showdown, and 10-9 is going to take it down. Yay. I'm saying GME coin supports Bally Live Poker. Thank you guys. We all really appreciate it, guys and gals. If you've been enjoying the stream tonight, please give us a like. Best way to show support to the stream, like and subscribe. It really, really, really does help us out a lot. Of course, share it on social media as well and tell your friends. Tonight's game, of course, sponsored by in part by GG Poker. It's always a great game. Yeah. Also, if you are enjoying it on YouTube, there is another place you can enjoy that. And it is on the Bally Live app. It is the highest quality place to watch the stream. the question if we're fine. So you keep telling me about this app. You say if you watch it there, you get much more higher definition, yep. quicker There's feed, chat. less buffering, more chat. Yep, exactly. There's more chat as well. Top of that, the Bally Live app is the place to watch minor league baseball. If you're a baseball mega fan, you can check out the minor league game there on the Bally Live app. You can download it from anywhere in the world. I bet you if we asked Mooch, he could tell us about a couple of minor league baseball games. To yeah, he's a sports better, although he said his main game is basketball. basketball that's true. Yeah. He did say that. Although he does have 49ers first half. No. Okay. On the money line, just winning it outright. Yep, 49ers first half. So Alex's continuation betting his threes on an ace, jack, jack, flop, and it actually works and gets through. It was the best hand. Yeah, these types of board textures are pretty good for the in-position player, and threes need protection and sometimes can get value. So pretty easy bet spot there. 
Yeah, how that's how one of so I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm I keep trying to ask questions so I can learn things. Honestly, the the small pocket pairs on those type of boards in tournaments, when you're in position, are those always continuation? Yeah, they're pretty much always the bets. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, just any time you have the pre-flop aggressor, any time you have like those really static board textures, you generally just keep continuation betting. Alex opening here with Jack nine suited on plus one. Oh, never. No idea what that is. Things is an amazing oh, game. Unfortunately. Okay. Do you well, want to explain it, or you want me to question? explain it, or? Do not tell me the answer. I'll ask. I'll ask you for the answer later. Okay. How many times do you think I look at my phone in a day? No. Okay. Think of the answer Let me know you when you have an answer. Have Do an not answer. tell me the answer. Four, three, four, I'm not going to is explain that for us. Who am I playing against? You? Uh, Colin. Colin. Five, yeah. 300? Yeah. All right. No way. Well, All right, looks like we have a, a raise, a call, and a three bet to 2,400. 10 8 of clubs. Fox is going to call the Jack 9 suited. Heads up in this three bet pot. 5,800 in the middle. Those were uh, some hands that all interacted well with each other, but not with the flop. Yeah, not with this ace high flop. Going to expect to see a continuation bet here from Will. Being the pre-flop aggressor, this ace king board is going to be very good for his range. He does see bet a uh, quarter pot and takes it down. Like it matters. It depends on like how. Yeah, he's literally bidding on how many times he thinks I've looked at my phone, and there's nothing what, what subjective about looking at your phone. Yeah, so essentially you ask a person a question, it's over. they set a line, and then two players do a bidding war, and then at one point someone will say under. If the number is under that, they win. If the number is over that, the other person wins. And it's not the actual reality. It, yeah, it doesn't what matter. The, so yep. if you could, how many peanuts are in the jar doesn't yeah, matter. Exactly. It's what the person thinks is yep. in the jar. And the people who came up with this game were Phil Locke and Antonio Spondiari, and they were at the table with uh, Johnny Laden, and that's how it came up. That's why it's called Lot and Things. We learned what there you go. That is I haven't um, heard it early in a few 2000s. Years. Yeah. yeah, that is some early 2000s. It shows how old we are. <laughs> I mean, I've how old we are. Huh? Hey, I've been playing <laughs> poker professionally for 14 years. Okay. I think that ages me a lot. I'll give it I think to I'm you. older than you in poker. That's you at are. 14 years. You are. It's on now? Yeah. Foxen's a little. I think actually Foxen's about the same amount as me. I think he's been playing professionally also for about. 12, 13, 14 years. Maybe a little less, actually. Uh, he had college football player, so maybe a little less. Well, this is a very interesting That's flop with 9-8 in from Will yeah, and Ace-9 wow. in from A-8. And Foxen actually has the only pair. It's a pretty small pot size so far, but we have a lot of action hands here. We don't know what Shota has. Foxen either thinking his seven could be good or thinking that uh, he can just drill another seven, drill a queen. Great, 22. AA gonna use his ace high with this up down straight draw to raise to 2200. So Will was in the small blind and checked initially. I, I can't imagine him going anywhere. No, definitely not. Um, no, he, he actually let on a flop. Okay. He bet 500 and okay. showed a called and Foxen called. So. Will is going to call. Top pair up down straight draw. Currently the best hand unless showed his mystery hand. Somehow has 9-8 beat, which I would be very surprised if that was the case. Oh, wow. He's going to blast off either way. <laughs> oh. So he called the initial bet from Will and now is... This could be a trap. Four yeah. betting. This is Maybe like... he flopped a straight or, or two pair. Yeah, this could certainly be a trap. I kind of like that we can't see the hand, though. Yeah, so as AA and as Will, I don't know what I would do here, honestly. I mean, I guess i call, maybe? So AA's in position with the up-down straight draw. Yeah, so that helps. But it's a big check raise. He does call. They're pretty deep effective. He's cold. Will... Will hasn't acted yet, has he? What are they saying? Yeah, they, they, named, they named the whole YouTube thing. They named it Young. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, showed him making sure in the action. Really? Yeah, Will did fold. Yeah. Will may have folded the best hand, honestly. We still yeah, there's a good chance that... 500 call. I'm definitely not sober. I'm, I'm not sure I'm drunk. I, I would um, consider... I'm, I'm buzzed. Yeah, there's some confusion about the pot right now? Yeah, Will should be in for 2,200. All the chips in with. His straddle. Yeah, cold, 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 cold. Throttle, cold, cold, cold. So, oh, great. Pre flop 900. <laughs> yeah, pre flop 900. And 500, cold, cold, cold. So, should be 14. 
No, I didn't call. I raised. Who's go is it? I think Shoda's confused. Yeah, Shoda's confused about the size of the pot. He's making sure the pot is correct. He's going on yeah. Yeah, he was a little confused. He thought. Step back. Yeah, he's uncertain to how much Alex was in for. Fucking gambling on a six, seven, eight board. Yeah, so they're just making sure the pot's accurate. Well, you right. do a bet. Uh, I think now they're good. Pot is accurate. You don't bet on anything like that. Bet on more. That's worth like four hundred dollars. Make him drink a bottle. I'll do it if I win. I mean, yeah, AA doesn't pick up extra equity. He's now flushed around the turn. If Shota bets again, pretty tough spot to keep putting in chips. If I'm gonna drink a lot of beer, I mean, Ace Nine could be the best hand though. Ace Nine literally could be the best hand, but if Shota was bluffing, that is a great. Yeah, that's a great card. Yeah, that's a great card for Shota for sure. This comes back to Camden. Yeah. I, listen, it'll cost me four hundred dollars. Cost you four hundred dollars. Yeah, don't that's do that. Steve that's call. Sure. Right, what are we drinking, Ian? Do you have anything left in your cup? No, I'm empty. Okay. So showed a bet out seven k, which was only a third pot. <laughs> so he's he's essentially representing that he has the bait straight. I think at this point. I think if he had a straight, he might go larger. I think this block bet is like two pair. This feels like two pair to me. It doesn't feel anymore like a pure bluff. And that seven. That could be a full house. That could be a full house. Goes back and rechecks. Could Obviously, be AA has nothing but ace high now. Interesting. Uh, this is probably 6-8, maybe 6-4, 8-4, four, four, or it's a hand that wants to check raise. It's definitely not a hand that I think is folding to uh, any bet here, which I don't think AA can get through any bluff here, do you? Maybe. I mean, Shota could just, AA could actually bet and be bluffing with the best hand. Shota could just have, like, king-10 of hearts, too. Queen-9, jack-9. I don't know what I'd do as AA. So it turned out Shota was right. Yeah, Shota was right. Alex was missing Yeah, that Foxen must have accidentally pulled back his chip. Jackson's like that certainly can happen easily. Oh, sh no. Yeah, I think he was bluffing with the best hand because Shota snap folded. Wow. I think if so Shota had any show, nine, yeah, nine. it was Jack Nine, Queen Nine, King Nine. So the turn seven K was a block bet. Yeah. So the block bets are often like vulnerable hands that can't really bet large for value or hands that are trying to set good prices. So that's why I thought it might be like a two pair that then got Thank counterfeited you. or the king nine, queen nine, jack Makes nine sense. type hands. I interpreted it as, as a uh, top of the chip counts, AA here, $134,000, big winner of the night. I think he's up like 84K now. We're about to see that in a second. Mooch is short stack. Will the, currently the highest VP at 47%. Mooch second. Ian down the bottom 19 Pretty much everyone at 25 or higher it's out of, outside of Ian. Ian has been running pretty cold in lots of spots tonight. <laughs> Big winner tonight, AA plus $74,000. Foxen currently throwing the party down 38 k JK down there with them at down 29000 Look at that. Yeah. Very interesting. God, Calling up 7400 Zero, zero. How did Shota get up 12000 I don't remember that happening. Um, Shota's actually... Is that a it's probably okay, a down here. now uh, after that pot? Yeah, Shota's going to be down a little bit. The, gra the graphics take one hand to update. Okay. So Shota's actually down a little bit now. That makes sense. Anybody like wine? I was going to say, I was interpreting sure. the 7K as actually an inducing bet after having gotten there. Yeah, but that was yeah. So, obviously wrong. Yeah, so uh, AA is not up 74K. AA is up 90,000 in today's game. Wow. He is absolutely killing it. A uh, bit of a cooler here for JK once again. Jeez, JK has been getting cold decked over and over and over tonight. Top pair second kicker versus top pair top kicker against yeah. Mooch. And Mooch has been so active. It's yeah, JK just... has his namesake, and it might cost him a pretty big pot. He bets a thousand. Mooch min raises to two thousand. Oh, the turn ace. Oh, well, that's gonna save, save him. him. Yeah, that's gonna save him some money probably. Mooch also min raising might help a bit too. 
Oh, checks it back. Wow. <laughs> and my costume. <laughs> oh, what an ugly river card. That's so brutal. You got to feel for JK here. That's such a rough card for him. It's really hard to put Mooch on the ace after the check back in the river. Yeah. Reverse. And if Mooch raises, I mean... Even when you bet 4,400 to Mooch Jams, that's still a tough decision there. But you're getting the acting for Mooch, too. Yeah. <laughs> Mooch is streaming of Vegas and the Tropicana, but he's already here with the nuts. <laughs> Living the dream. Three, two, I know this would be a dream scenario for me. Yeah. <laughs> he has the peanut gallery with Coward. <laughs> I fucking knew he was going to do that shit. I was not shit. expecting that one. Our, our, our guy, you don't know him enough then. <laughs> it's like the fourth time I haven't expected yeah, look it. Look at how sick know, JK looks right now. Yeah, he's disgusted. I completely expected that, I promise you. I mean, it's hard for him to put his opponent on a hand uh, yeah. that's really strong. That he min raised flop and check back turn. Now he's jamming river. They both didn't expect it. I'm like, you guys did not play Yeah, but I don't know if you make this call. Oh my like, what? <laughs> Having the king of diamonds in your hand isn't great. Block king queen, block king ten, block king x of diamonds. But you do beat maybe a very thin value jam. Queen jack. It's definitely not an easy fold. It's only 8k to call. Getting 3 to 1 of your money versus a player that's been uh, really going back. Uh, E-Wake saying earlier, Fox and accidentally pulled his 500 back. Yeah, he put it back in after. He didn't realize he had pulled it back. I've done that a couple times. Yeah, I've, I've done it before, too. Yeah, times. you can't blame JK call. for calling. I mean, he has every jack beat. Hey, Shaq, no. Hey, Shaq, a heart. It's just a hand I had against you. Oh, that makes sense. So was that the moment where you thought you should just go all in? When I made a full house? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Full house is a good I mean, you said it's like a certain spot, you know? Yes. Is that the spot where you just... Yes, 100%. You have the nuts and 130. Yes. Go all in? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I've done that before, too, multiple times. Sure, I've done it in tournaments yeah, where I've Yeah, especially in the big blind. Back, yeah, the big yeah, blind. Yeah, you, like, go to fold and pull it back. And people like say, "Oh, hey, you pulled it back," and you're like, "Wait, what?" Yeah. I'm not thinking huh? Examining. What are you saying? <laughs> I think JK's taking a little bit of a walk in this fight, like, which makes yeah, it a good move. Yeah, that's you. You got to feel for him. That's such a brutal run out. And that, like that player type two to do it, you just yeah. You yeah. just pay him off. I think uh, no, maybe I a different player he doesn't. doesn't yeah, exactly. And this type of game. When right you run cold, you run very, very, very cold. And again, like we were talking earlier, it's so frustrating because you see all the action. Yeah. You know there's a and, lot of and you see AA there, getting yeah. good hands, getting yeah. paid. Bam! You're like, that should be me. Like, <laughs> like JK, Shota, Foxen are all looking at AA stack and just going, why don't I have that? Yeah. No, we, Where are those we ships? Know all about Young Dolph. Oh, it looks like they're. I think it's Shadow. Are they about to play the uh, stand up game? It might game? be Young Dolph. Is that no. no, it's an early Oh, uh, I think they restarted the stand up game and we somehow missed it. Yeah, because I see some chips in front of Yeah, I see two chips. Games. They must have just restarted it. <laughs> also, someone had Seven Deuce off and just folded it. Yeah. I, I guess he forgot that Seven Deuce game is on. Uh, apparently. I missed who had it. I just saw it and it went by. I am a miss. So Mooch is back in with um, Ace, Ace Jack and Shota is getting a little frisky again with King 5 suited in 3 betting. Because of the stand up game. Yep. Stand up game causes action. I love the stand up game. I think it's like one of the best things ever. Are they all like basically the same? Now, Mooch already has, just obviously won the last hand and already has a button, so it works. It gets through. Yep, exactly. Yeah, this is like part of the not a plus six. It's a classic. The flow behind the stand-up game is you know when someone like already has a chip, they're less willing to battle for pots, so that can give you a little bit more leverage against them. Please don't sing. Of course, the level to that is if you know that, you yeah, may want exactly. to. You know so that they're three betting light. And yeah. So then that's yeah. when the like four bets come in. Like if I was mooch there with an ace jack. <laughs> 
That's young dog. See, I think I might have gone for it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. It's a tough one to pull, though. Those four bet bluffs are always tough. Jacob? So Shota picked up a, a button because yeah, of yeah. that. Yeah, Shota has a button now. No, no, no. he went buff. Check. No, he didn't go. He didn't come. He did. He, he, no, he didn't. He, he, he did come, and he lost. JK, did you experience so the Will is opening. Yeah. Oh, you did? Actually, Mooch oh, yeah. opened Queen-10, oh, yeah. and uh, yeah. Will just called King-10. Now, Foxen has a wonderful squeeze spot. This is just a great spot to be light. It's a great spot to pick up a chip, and he has pocket jacks. I heard about it. And the tray came out. Very pretty hand, especially up against the two hands. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, though, both folded. He's not going to get extra action, but he's going to show it. Get his stand up. And he gets a button. Did, did yep, he get gets a button. Really important. Super pro one. Super pro. Super good hand. I am a miss. Get any action. Big Kerwin is going to land in like an hour. What? You guys would also never play with Kerwin before, have you? I Well, I go in moods. Like, I'm usually pretty tight, but if I get in the mood, Kerwin, then I'll... So Mooch and Colin have been very active and now have some chips because they yeah. both doubled up. Yeah. I get in the mood myself. A lot about right. poker. But usually I'm pretty tight, honestly. Let's first try out. Colin is trying to convince the table he's yeah, pretty he's tight. tight. <laughs> Which he actually could be. You know, playing out on stream... Way more likely to play loose aggressive. He's been drinking. Way more likely to play loose aggressive. Yeah. Six eight. I got it, bitch. <laughs> you, so you got me here too. Did Callan raise the king three off? Really. I mean, you gave the graphics are a little bit. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, graphics folded. catching up. Callan There's folded. a straddle. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fox in, raising to 600 with the currently a mystery hand, but graphics will catch up. Why not? I sat up, uh, Sometimes the system can lag a little bit. It looks like three callers. It? Yeah, that's fair. Um, okay. Ace, five, eight, flop. I guess we're four ways. I think so. So probably 2,600 in the middle. Actually, we're five ways. Will and Shota all are in. I like playing cards. <laughs> There we go. What? You like playing cards. I got the, I got the dollar chip. Show to flop in top pair with this ace-10. Like Bob Currently the best hand. Like C-bag with king-6 suited, huh? He's getting a little frisky, too. Life, yeah, backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Pre-flop aggressor. Turn a lot of equity. With a bunch of gentlemen. Sure. Getting in there and, like... Turns a pair. You guys all got money on the line. Probably go yeah, check, check here. Yeah, when you turn these like, no, it's only 10K. this 10K, like type 10K of showdown, you often check it back. Um, occasionally, uh, you could use it as a bluff, just because when you have it, your opponent's less likely to have two pair, so you can try to get them off their one pair. Wow. Where try to get like pocket tens to fold, ace x to fold, like, but he does check it back. Of them, but you have like 150 there. Jesus. I gave him like and 45. no help for him on the river, really? unfortunately for him. Wow, you're but good for Shota. And yeah, top pretty safe morning, card right? there for Shota. No, I'm not winning. How much have you added on? We're going to see a pot size bet from him. <laughs> he keeps adding on. Oh, you're like even. I'm in for... No. Is there ever a reason to hear a call here with third yeah, pair? Yeah, Shota could have exactly. deuce three, deuce four, three, four suited. So there are some bluffs in his range. Did I just add on a hand? He could actually also have a six that he's turning into a bluff. Go. An eight probably isn't going to bluff here. So Shota's bluffs are those like busted straight draws, some six X chops. Like adding it, you know. And Foxen could, I guess, technically still rep the five. I definitely not an auto fold here from Foxen. He's gonna throw in a time ship. Do they get a limited number of time chips? So I, I yes, you start with that. five. The, the 2040 is like when? Is it? Is it? Every, it's every what Tuesday or it's something random? Every Tuesday, and at least recently, it's been running like either one Friday or Friday. Fold there. Good fold there. But it doesn't run on the week. It runs on Tuesdays, but not the fucking weekends. Every Tuesday for sure. Yeah. That's bizarre. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's Fox Tuesday. Why? I don't know the reason why. I really? heard someone once was because of some old thing with Atlantic City, like they had a game one day. So the time chips don't get replenished no matter how long they nope. play? <laughs> that was and only the first time chip Fox and Idea is too. And it's on you, time chips are unusual in cash games, is that fair to say? Yeah, but usually these stream games tend to use them. So I hope we can get the game going, yeah. If you're there on a Tuesday, the game will run. No, because I'll be, at, uh, I'll be in Philly. Oh, for what? 
to hang out with my That's dad. That's your card, you know, a, a bunch of these people know each other, so there's some. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of East Coast rags. Guys that are originally from Atlanta, but now live up north in the East Coast, or still travel and play big games. There's, like, every city has that fucking problem. I think Philly's known for their open air drug market. All right. Maybe. But, like, come on. Still, there's still a lot to enjoy about Philly. It's one of, like, the fucking yeah. three main cities that existed Liberty, like, back in, like, the 1800s. Yeah, sort of a history lesson. Yeah, I haven't been to Philadelphia. I've only really heard very good things about it, though. I think it's a great city. I've hung out in it a few times. I think it's a, like most East Coast and Northern cities. It's very cultural, very social. Yeah, I definitely want to check it out sometime. AA turning two pair. It has definitely but just been his night tonight. Yes, I know. It's cool. Personally, I have That's no idea what it's like to run well in a Bally Life Poker game. <laughs> Never yesterday. done it before, ever. <laughs> Pure well, skill you, only you, for me. Yeah, you forgot about last night. Huh? Oh, <laughs> and the time before that. Here you go, Alex. Moots decide to raise with the oh. shot straight. Ooh. Unfortunately, he's running into AA's two, two pair. pair. Oh, which gets counterfeit on the river, so that creates an interesting opportunity here. And diamonds come in, too. <laughs> And Mooch is going for it. <laughs> what a heroic bluff by Mooch here. Because the ace is kind of a scary card. It's the perfect river the, between the diamonds, the counterfeit, the ace, and he's putting in what looks like more than a pot size bet. Yeah, it looks like what? 14,000? We'll make it. Into an $11,000 pot. A little bit more than that. 17? 170, Benji's. Holy shit. $17,000. What a yeah. tough spot here for AA. This is very interesting for AA. More fun that way. Yeah, you're right. Wait, is that where G This is definitely a GG moment. I'm sure the graphics will pop up, hopefully. If not, it is always a great game, and this is a tough spot here for AA. Because Benjamin, B-E-N-G, yeah. It is no, but no, I'm because kidding, it's kidding, from kidding. Grand, right? Yeah. And where did Grand get its name? Good question. Robbie J. Luke. Nice bluff there by Mooch. That was a very nice play. It was a helpful river. A very, a river card, and he showed the jack four, too, and he didn't have to. That was purely, uh, I just bluffed to you. That was, well, he, he mentioned it was the Robbie J. Who, so it was the jack four. He wanted to show that as well. I don't the exact suits being Heart Club. I don't bluff. On a stream last week, someone had it exact suit uh, twice and ran bluffs with it both times. Yeah. You just bluffed. Yes, but it's rare. It I was in the industry night game, uh, which actually is going to be uploaded to YouTube on Saturday. I just don't. If you did not see it live. Put it up. Yes. I'm gonna call, you know who I'm gonna call? I'm gonna call Big Jeremy, and you're gonna have to put your fucking ante in. <laughs> ante man. <laughs> ante man. Shout out to Ante man. So, AA has now been playing good. great, running great, but he did definitely get outplayed on that hand by Mooch, who has been very active, but that was a I've really nice play. Yeah, this is a nice He's bluff by good, Mooch. Man. The River Ace is a really scary card to bluff on because your opponent, when they call on the turn, they're pretty likely to have an ace. Yeah. So that makes it an even uh, scarier bluff. But he I'm just fired it off I think I know your cards. and got the fold. So A's back into it with Callan and Will with the king, oh, queen yeah. off, and him That's and that, yeah. Callan both flop top pair. He has Callan outkicked. Yeah, definitely a rough cooler here for Callan. A's been pretty yeah, active I mean, too, yeah, and it's always so going to be tough for Callan to find any folds. But I do, I do the same bet sometimes too. I like doing same check, same bet. These two have actually gone at it a few times. Initially, Callan getting the best on a queen-queen versus jack-jack hand, but since then, AA getting the best right. of Callan. Curious size, looks like he's going pot. Honestly, the way AA has been playing, I think he does a lot of theory studying, honestly. Okay. He's been he, picking a lot of like really good sizes. He, he has, it, I, mean, I don't know nearly as much as you do about theory, but he looks like he's been playing very solid. Yeah, yeah. He's been playing very, very well. See if he can get this thin value. Looks like he's going for it. Wow, nice bet. 12K. That is a large bet. Into a 9K pot, and he's probably targeting this particular player with that bet. Yep. Got his opponent right where he wants them. 
Okay. Yeah, okay. great bet by Pretty AA. Pretty quick call. Loser. Yeah, very well played. If we had like an, uh, loser, so. an award for like one of the best played hands Ooh. of the night, that's definitely gonna go up there. Yeah, there, the jack forehand right, right before him. Uh, yeah, that is a ton of value he got for yeah. that hand in that run. Oh, right. gee, Which I'm here for people running sick yeah, bluffs and them. going large with thin value. Yeah. O W N E D by the Super Pro. Pro. Alex Lee, best executive nice producer in the game. Yeah. Giving a shout out to GME. You really played that hand really well. I, I just met Alex today, but he seems like a fantastic like guy. Yeah, he is absolutely yeah. wonderful to work with. Is there any alcohol in this room? I need some. Yeah, I, so Cocktail. just from my perspective, as somebody who's just been playing multi-table tournaments for a few Cocktail. years, it seems to me that, that those big, thin value yeah, bets is like one of the least yeah, understood yeah, parts of the game yeah. and how you pull yeah. that off and, and understand yeah, how to do that. Yeah, really, 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 really important. At this point, are you done adding on? Yeah. Do you not want me to? It's really like no, no, no. the difference between like an okay professional and some of the elite guys are the people that are very, very, very good at finding those thin value in big situations like that. I need to, I need to have a good hand. Alex has uh, got eight, eight pocket eights under the gun and an opening. I try to get oh, and Ian finally has a seven deuce, and we have some action based on three betting. It. Seven deuce bounty is live for 200 a person. Stand up game is going. Okay, here we go. This, this is going to be some action. So, uh, Mooch also gets in with ace nine suited. Three way, three bet pot here. I do, I do. Oh, interesting flop for Mooch. Enough flush. Draw. Yeah, pretty unlucky there for Foxen to have this this bad of a flop. Scared. Ian continuation betting with seven deuce, yeah, going to keep repping the best hand. He is in rough shape for CS9. Check. Check. Oh, look at the river. What a dirty river card. Seven deuce is now the best hand. So because of that flop, he was able to get I don't, I don't, I the best hand of eights, Alex, out. And then because of the run out, no club comes. So Mooch is going to get a lot of bad news. Not only did he miss his straw for seven deuce, seven deuce drilled it, but now he's going to pay that extra $200 bounty on top. Because he was so, the last one to fold. Exactly. Nice hand, Ian. I, I respect it. Thanks. Four. Very nice. I've been striving so hard for your respect. I should have bet the turn. I would have won. I just wanted to... I wanted to yeah. see a river. I thought the call was going to feel four, off. Four from the button. Who well, knows we're playing a stand-up game, right? I thought the call was yeah. going to come. Oh, plus Ian gets a button for the stand-up well, game. playing a stand-up well, game. Everybody paid you for seven days. Well, Did I? Okay, perfect. Me. Thank you. <laughs> and then Ian also gets a stand-up uh, uh, ticket. No, he has one. The little uh, one dollar chip. JK. I think JK and Will might be heads up. Three, don't know. Three, don't have it. Oh, Colin doesn't have one either. Okay, so JK, Will, and Colin are three-handed in the stand-up game. Stand-up game for $300 a person. Last person to win a pot of those three people will pay everyone else $300. Call the stand-up game because in actual games, people are physically standing up. So we have the seven deuce game, the stand up game. We have Colin and Moots trying out drink each oh, other, and sure. we have a very active table with three bets and four bets every yeah, other game. Yeah, good. you're a super pro, man. This is like where the these big pots occur, and we've been getting a lot of action pots tonight. Yeah, I know the fucking AI. AA getting max max value earlier. Alex Fox in the pocket fives, and pocket fives is a well known hand on the Bally live stream just because it is Nikki Limo's favorite hand. Good Shout to out know. to Nikki Limo. I, I wish I, uh, I'm looking forward to the opportunity to hang out with Nikki one time. Yeah, she is absolutely fabulous. I, I listened to her all night on your stream yesterday and she was a fantastic person to listen yeah. to. Yeah, she's definitely one of the best commentators. Right. Wonderful to work with. So it was a three bet by uh, JK yep. with ace nine suited, and he drills the flop. And Alex really is not running good today. No, Alex has been running absolutely terribly tonight. Some balls. I had some balls. Been playing really well all night, running really bad, and that's just sometimes how the game goes. Okay. It's a reasonable appeal here given the flop. 
Yeah, having that backdoor flush draw makes a pretty big difference in terms of your hand's equity and in terms of wanting to run bluffs. Yeah, the queen is a good card for him, given that. Make a lot of but the really seven on the river's not. Need to eliminate the bad ones and I'll make so, Foxen might actually turn this into a bluff. He doesn't really have a lot of showdown. His opponent can certainly have some hands like 9x that he has. I want to fold, even a jack that might want to fold. So you're probably going to see a polarized bet yeah. here for him to try to get a jack to fold, maybe on, even a queen to fold. You're going to raise me with seven high? And <laughs> so pot committed. He can rep two pairs. Yeah, your ass is pot committed. And even against, he's pot. actually playing against the one player who's also running as bad as him today, so that whole psychology may be a play. $15,000 bet. Uh, it's actually 12k effect. Wow, snaps it the off. pot and gets snapped. You want to try the pot, pot and gets snapped. It's a Hefeweizen. You ever had a Hefeweizen? Wow, what a call by JK. That also could have been a frustration call yes, by JK, honestly. Yeah, it was for your 2x pot effective, and he snapped it off. Yeah, Alex, what are you drinking? I'll drink one if you want to have one. What a yeah, sick you call. Bottle of Camus. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. So he either had a great read or he himself was a little frustrated. I think. Yeah, the that could be either. They, there was a menu over there. Um, it had a Camus bottle, 195. I would, yeah, I don't know. I'm yeah. curious. I mean, I was just saying that as it was happening, that given how JK's been running, maybe the bluff by Alex would work, but maybe it's the exact opposite. Maybe he's just so frustrated oh, yeah. that he just did want to fold. Yeah, he snapped that off. That was a big bet. Oh, uh, the beer as well. The flush got there, the straight got there, two overs to the Thanks, nine. Thanks, Bobby. did look at the menu. Yeah. I'm paying. Yeah, for. that is heroic. I'm gonna that is very heroic. We're gonna have many Are you still stuck? No, but and Alex continues to run bad, honestly. Know, Ian <laughs> under the gun with Ace Yeah, that, that's off. like a really great bluff by Alex. And he just, yeah, sometimes it doesn't matter. Make the super pro pay for the one. Yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay. Yeah, you will? thank you. I think that's Ian opened Ace Queen on this yeah, hand, an AA three bet with Ace eight suited, and Alex has Ace Jack suited under the big blind. So is he good a four bet? Yep, really good four bet hand. You know, we're looking somewhere in the range of 350. There's a lot of pressure on Ian with the ace queen. Thank yeah, you. and I don't... Thank does Ian have a chip? Ian that. does have a chip now. For a row. But he's just gonna, for a row. He is going to call. Uh, I wish you for a row was here. He would probably have drugs for me. Yeah, you're right. Well, <laughs> he'd probably have cash for your crypto. Yes. So yeah, we might be going billions. You know, three ways in this four bet pot. <laughs> It looked like AA had some thoughts for a minute, but he decided just to call. Yeah, decides to just call. Man, Ian really looks like a super pro. Ian, it's going to be really hard to get you into some of these games. You look like a fucking $11,000. Oh, look at this flop. Wow. Because you're horrible at poker. Alex flops top pair, top kicker, but AA flops the nut flush draw. draw. Yeah. Two backdoor straight draws. This is true. <laughs> yeah, this, I don't see how this doesn't get in. You're an online player. Let's see how hot AA is running. I mean, obviously he's been running very hot, but... Uh, I don't know about so, that. Wish I had money. I Alex only has 32K. Behind. AA obviously has 140K. Yeah, we could certainly see this getting in. Um, A's has, like, legitimate reasons to call. He could also raise this. Being in position, he's probably slightly more likely to call, but both options are very viable. This is what we call a heat check, I think, if A raises. <laughs> yeah. Tim, that was a mean thing to say. Huh? That was a mean thing to say. Well, I know you don't think about this, but if you're running good, are you more likely to raise this hand, or does that not matter? I'm allowed to say it. doesn't matter. so bad at poker. I think a lot of people are more willing to, just because uh, they're, they'll just be failing themselves. In fact, here he called, and he turns a straight draw along with his plus draw. Yeah, and I'm curious to see if Alex will jam this. Ten's kind of a scary card. But he barely has a pot size bet. Oh, uh, play for whom the bell tolls. That's a, that would be a great song right now during this pot. Interesting. Let's check it. So pot control from Alex. That's kind of like the tournament player in him, don't you think? No, um, I think it's just a ten is a really bad card for his range. Um, A's calling range on flop just hits this card really hard. Um, 
so he can just use this. He could jam this for value, or he can just use this as, as a check. Okay. Is going to go check, check. Wants to see. He doesn't get there. Does brick no, out. Yeah, actually, you're, you're so Alex finally player. has a good run In out. In fact, like you're one, you're a very good player. I'm serious. Oh wow, I'm, uh, I'm flattered. Um, very he impressed. Says with the cards lie. Yeah. yeah, serious. Uh, thank you. You have all the chips. You have a lot. You have more. Yeah, than these me. are these are all the chips. You I actually have well. more than me too. By the way, you you have more chips than me. So. I'm offended that you have more chips than me. In fact, like. You know, what are you well, picking it's, it's, on me for having less chips than you? Is that why you're bringing this up? Like, Foxen sets a trap. Let's see if AA can fall to. into it. All you have to do is have more money, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's very easy. You know, I don't relate to that. So Just AA checking back the turn doesn't mean he doesn't have top pair ever. He could still have king jack. He could have queen jack. He could have ace jack himself. But he never has showdown value here, right? He has to take a stab at it. Yeah, with the ace high, he essentially never has the best hand. But he does give up. Does give up. That was a good check by him. That was two very good checks by him. Yeah. You need some more. Uh, you need some more alcohol. If if he does, obviously if he raises the flop, it gets all in. If he bets the turn. Going over there. No, they yeah, if he bets the turn, Fox and definitely isn't yeah. holding. Um, pretty much no matter the size. Check out tonight. A8. Well, it shows 136. He just uh, lost a bit of a pot. So I think he's actually at like 128. So still covering almost everyone. Uh, almost the entire table, I mean, covers top three other stacks. Will, our VPIP leader at 48%, VPIP meaning voluntarily put into pot. He's been playing the most pots voluntarily. Ian at the bottom at 20%. Everyone playing very loose tonight. AA, hey, hey, currently our biggest winner at 76,000. He's actually up a little bit less after that hand, so it was up about 68K. Fox and very slightly our biggest lose uh, are throwing the party tonight at 33,000 after that pot. No, 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 Colin. And I see that everybody's V pip is going up a little bit. Shoulders, fast. Yeah, the stand up game causes this action. He can get away with leaving. He can miss hands. So, Shota opens ace do suited. It's just him, right? From the button. No, it's just, it's just holy shit. And just takes it down. Oh no! Actually, uh, it looks the like he, there's no way he knows. <laughs> Mooch calls with the with the queen ten off. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. And Will just drills the flop, flopping a straight. However, it's a three flush flop, which may slow down some of the action. Five of hearts, nine of hearts, seven of hearts. So, Mooch having absolutely none of that flop decides to bet. I fold, I fold, I fold. Or, I'm sorry, check. So that Will bets out his straight no, and just no, takes I, it down. No, don't show me. You want to see how much I have? Wow. You have a straight? Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to flush. We are 94 hands into this fantastic cash game where we're playing the stand up game, the 7 2 bounty game, and where we have a, some crypto rich youngsters, young guns playing fantastic cash. Is it three or two? Um, where we've three, seen a couple three. hundred thousand, where we've seen at least one hundred thousand dollar pots, several fifty thousand dollar pots, and you're on Bali Live Poker, watching it all happen. The big winner so far is AA, um, and throwing the party so far is the most accomplished player at the table, Alex Foxen. Everyone is like, he keeps sexing me. But everybody's playing well, yeah, having the most yeah. fun. He's in, he's in a fucking to come play. And the pilot's got the plane on full throttle right now. I'm serious. I have to utilize my uh, situation. And I thought it's like a no, not the, like, no, I thought the trade. The 14th nuts. <laughs> the 14th nuts. The you deserve one. Yeah. I try. I tried to fight for it. I really did. I tried to I fight for shit. it too. 
No, you weren't here. You might have had the. You might have had the heart. I was kind of. I was kind of worried you had the heart. You let out. I was like, oh, it's kind of. Yeah, you were definitely worried when you raised me to four thousand. Yeah, run it back. Absolutely. No, come on, run it back, run it back. Oh, you know what? That was the stand-up game just ended, and they're gonna re. They're gonna run it back, so they're gonna play it again. Uh, I'm gonna leave out the food. Boo. I thought we were going to have a box session. I am going to have a box session right now. <laughs> Mooch is opening once again um, with 10 8 suited. It's a pretty hand. I don't like it. I just don't, I don't like it. It's, just, it's, not a, it's not a comfortable feeling. Where, where are you going to go play buck at? Aria. Yeah? yeah I'm staying at Aria. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I you look like a punter. Punt you look like a punter. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Come on. He's like, I'm Asian, man. And just takes it down when JK chooses not to defend King Kai. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's like, you know, when you're constantly just... No, I, I agree, I agree. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie you. I don't think you look like a punter. Like like they're right now, uh, they're arguing over whether or not they can get the game going somewhere else after the live stream ends. So some of these folks clearly aren't satisfied with just the action here. I mean, the thing is, is they can keep it running here, too. While the uh, stream will end in a couple of hours, they're welcome to play all night. RW asking who the commentators are. My name is Ryan LaPlante. Um, I'm one of the main co-hosts here at Bally Live Poker. I've been doing this pretty often with Nikki Lima over the last month, and we plan on doing it a lot coming up. Joining me tonight, first time ever in the booth, is Mr. Brendan Schiller. Brendan, if you want to tell people about who you are. Yeah, hi, I'm Brendan Schiller. I, I play some recreational poker, and I'm riding Ryan's coattails tonight and enjoying every second of it. Thank you. I'm glad you're having a lot of fun tonight. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of fun having you in the booth. If y'all are having a lot of fun, please let us know. And also, most importantly, subscribe and like. That is the absolute best way to help us out tonight. Yeah, there's, uh, Ian three betting the King Deuce suited uh, thirteen hundred dollars. So Ian's starting to feel himself after being fairly tight most of the night. He got the seven deuce through earlier. Oh wow! Showed up picking up on it. Out of position. Seven five suited. Showed it aside. Just as you said, he'll do it from any position. Yep. <laughs> Um, you know, uh, and it takes it down. 96 hand of the night, and he is going for it with a really nice hand. Brian runs a really fun game. At least from the experience. Hey, Will. You'll be at Aria punting? All right. Sounds like they're trying to, like, they may go to Aria for, for the after game. Really fun place to play, of course. Promise, Can't blame them for uh, wanting to play there. Really One of the more comfortable really poker rooms. I don't know if we're supposed to be talking about other poker rooms while we're at Bali Night Poker at Tropicana. Uh, we're pretty but, open about talking about everything. <laughs> we don't throw shade here in Bali Live. But Aria is one of the more comfortable yeah, poker rooms. Yeah, definitely. He just, he just made up that crazy story. Yeah, that makes sense. Came tonight, of course, at the wonderful Tropicana in the fabulous city of Las Vegas. Tropicana only going to be around for two more months, uh, closing down on April 2nd. Tonight's game, of course, sponsored by GG Poker. It is always a great game. And if you're enjoying the game tonight, like and subscribe. But also, you can watch the game on the Bally Live app. So Mooch opens Ace 10. Callan was going to call, and then Mooch convinced him not to call. And just takes down the bot. He's being friendly. <laughs> Colin's having a rough night now after that uh, two pair, two pair. It looks like Will may be getting up. Is that what's one hand about sewer fish? That makes sense. Yeah, Alex giving a shout out to GME community. Yep. Yeah, it was the hand with Team GME all night, baby. So Shoda's got a couple fans in the chat. It looks like Shoda's poker is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, but it's very controlled. Like I've seen him go for it in pretty crazy spots, but. He, like, his reads have been spot on so many times. Well, today his reads have definitely, every three bet, four bet has been against, a, for the most part, a weak open. A and week. then his uh, four bet on the flop and that crazy, crazy hand was correct as well. Yeah. He just trusts himself and goes for it and is right so often. Um, Colin has decided to jam 8-3 off. Now, they re, they just, they've restarted the stand-up game. stand-up game. Uh, Octocrab alert. Sorry, 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 sorry. Shout out to Cairo Loves You. Think about this. He's all in. Don't, don't be rash, buddy. I, I have a big hand. 
<laughs> Don't be rash. I have a big hand. <laughs> Colin Man, with the speech cable again. He does have two cards. Yes, I looked at them. He has two. Ian, exactly. this isn't actually an automatic fold for Ace 3 Stewart, is it? No. For its most players, it would be. Wow. Oh, oh, he does he call. call. What a great call. And he's got, obviously, the 8-3 dominate. This is the second time tonight Colin has tried to run a really big bluff preflop and it's gotten caught. Got a really big hand. First time it actually worked out. This is out. our GG no, moment. No. It is always a great game, especially when you have ace-3 suited all in preflop versus 8-3 off suit. See if the Octo Crab can do work tonight, though. Fuck, that's really bad for you, Ian. Oh, there's definitely outs on that flop. Yeah, it picks up four jacks as outs. As, along with the 3 8 Oh, but the... Wow. All right, still has four yeah, outs, though. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, he has kings, huh? Oh, oh yeah, kings. bricks out. So, Colin... Oh, they're running it twice. Oh, okay. Okay, so the first board, uh, that's for the stand-up chip. So Ian picked up the stand-up chip. I don't have it. can't have nothing. It's like an option. He has ace king. That board is me. That board is me. That flop also doesn't help much, Cal. They both have threes, and now there's a straight draw for Ian. That is all me. Oh, I'll look at his hand. Stop, Cam! Colin needs an eight. <laughs> river, river, river. I'm in the middle of a pot and you won't shut up. You're all in. It doesn't matter. And no help there either. Gonna get the bad news that his three is gonna lose two. Wow, you lose another three. <laughs> I stand, Colin. Good job. Um, I understand that's Cairo's favorite hand, but it doesn't seem to work out too no, well. No, not time. tonight, unfortunately. What are you doing? Dude, I, I had a See, when it comes to people's favorite hands, they need to usually have them themselves for the magic to work. That makes sense. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Oh, well, Collins get a, going back in for the rebuy. <laughs> Crazy action game tonight. You sh if you show your hand, it, it, I'm good. It, sh it shouldn't matter. Ian, yeah, not showing your hand fine. Then. Wow. Ian gets the first chip in this round of the stand-up game. Is that like. Yep, stand-up game is back live. We also have the seven-deuce game going. Stand-up game is for three hundred dollars a person. I was doing the octo crab. I was playing the octo crab for what's his name? I you weren't feeling so good. When you I felt great when you said ace king. I was playing the octo crab for Cairo and I got punished. Yeah, I knew I could rule out ace king. You want to count what's that? Oh my mic. Okay. I got punished for. I'll tell you this. They're saying you boys were a lot of fun, yes. and man, you guys are. This is an awesome stream. I was playing the Octocrab for Cairo. Shout and out I, to our uh, executive producer, Alex. I'm a little upset. Yeah. This yeah. is an awesome stream. We did. We also saw the sound man in there for a minute. Yep. Tom is absolutely wonderful. I told Ian, I was hoping Ian would fold, and he kind of looked at me like he knew that I had a bad hand. It was kind of annoying. So Ian's back at it with King Jack Off and JK. Wow. Give He's me, just like, calling with 10-8 suited, but you get the three bet from AA with Queen-10 suited. Space to breathe. Breathe. So, uh, my tonight's game definitely been a little confusing when we have one player named JK and one player <laughs> named AA, <laughs> and then their hands called Cage. Tom can take it. Yeah. Confusing names tonight, but, but you're killing it. You're killing it. Bro, fucking, fucking and Shota's going to go ahead and just flat call. the sevens. Yeah, from the big line. sevens from the big line. To... Uh, Interestingly enough, Ian folds his open KJ. Yeah, being off suit, not really a great spot to call. He's been up since 2.30. JK is going to call his 10-8 suited. Those actually, that's that's a hand that could actually flop very well against a 3-bet, depending yep. on what the 3-bet hand is. Unfortunately for him, he is dominated by this Queen-10 suited. Oh, look at this flop. Wow. So top set for Shota, flush draw with a gut shot straight draw for JK, and the three better gets none of the flop. You're the biggest loser. You know? And it checks around, and then <sighs> the, the AA smashes the turn. Interesting check around. Yeah, I mean, not too surprising. Not great spot there for AA on that flop three ways. That turn, though, what a disgusting turn card. You're up, aren't you? So yes. this is a real opportunity for Shota yeah. here. In an interesting situation for JK, really. Yeah, he can call. He can raise this. Both options are very reasonable. Never seeing a fold. So Shota bet 3K into a 12K pot, and JK does come with the raise. And, and AA finds the fold with the queen with the top Great pair. Great fold. So, AA really has been playing wonderfully all night. Yeah, that was a very good fold. And I, 
1,014. I, th I think he's been, been playing great. The question here now is Shota with middle, with middle set after flopping top set, facing a raise out of position. What does he do? I mean, you can't blame him for either option. Calling or jamming both work really well. And JK, you really can't blame him for raising flop. I mean, part of the reason why he raises flop is to get a hand like A8 to fold, or to get player like A8 to fold that queen 10. So it is a good raise. He's just unlucky running into show to set. Now, he does obviously have a lot of outs with the flush draw and the gut shot straight draw. Yeah, that's why you often see players use these types of hands as, as raises, because they don't have a lot of showdown, but they have a lot of equity. Here you go. Oh yeah, wheel that wheel that alcohol in there. Put it on a cart. There's so much of it. He's paying for the camus. Yeah, he's going all in. How much is it? Yeah, this is for you, Bobby. JK is gonna count this down. Probably calling, but. Well, we see that, so this is one of the, if you do pay attention to equities and hot odds, this is one of the situations where if you know you got 30% equity, the question is, is it, is the payoff 30% of what the recovery is? Yeah, exactly. And he is getting proper odds to call. He is not happy about it, but he also can't fold. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Because, you know, even when his opponent has one of the worst hands for him to see, which is the set, he still has proper equity to call. Yeah, so he called. And he uh, does not get that. Is, yeah, JK is just having a rough night tonight. Like very, very He's been playing well. really, really well. He just keeps running into it. See if the second oh, board will help. Board. Oh, oh well, he, he drills it. So they chop it. Okay, that's fair. That's very reasonable. Shota does get the stand-up chip. I don't think, I don't think being pale is like a... Are you really Hispanic? In many ways, I guess that was like a standard, the way it... Yeah, the, game, the hand played out exactly how it's supposed to. Both players played their hands perfectly, and that's just what happened. Is it not? And if you're Shota, you jam there in case he has something like a set of threes yeah. or set of sixes, but also you want to push out the, the combo. Yeah, you, or you want to just run that equity. Like, you just, you have the best hand almost always, so you want to just get it in. Good God, what is this fucking PC principal over here? No, I'm Jesus serious. Christ. Hispanics? All right, all right, what, what nationality is your grandparents from? Let's go. I'm Italian. My grandparents? Your parents, whatever. Um, Puerto Rican. Where? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yes, U.S. territory. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually an okay. accurate US political and historical statement. Yep. Yes, it is. It, it is the U.S. territory. It's not like... <laughs> Anyways, back to poker. <laughs> he just goes, that's the U.S. territory. JK has been having a bit of a rough night, but glad to see him get that chop. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was... Oh, like he's run into it a little... Him and Alex have seemed to me have had yeah, the worst Yeah, they've been luck. the punch and bake tonight, yeah. and both of them have been playing great. Puerto Rico. I mean, Alex really had only one little misstep that I would say, which is misreading yeah. Colin, but Colin's been drinking. He's been blasting. Yeah. Really can't blame him for that. And he didn't misread it. He just didn't trust his reaction. Yeah, yeah, he said right away that, oh, yeah, you just have this. And then he still called anyways. My, uh, my great-grandparents are from Italy. So, so because of the, um, I guess, maybe the stand-up game, he defends six deuce from the big yeah. line. Yeah, exactly. And he drills Oh, he does turn. drill it. Grandpa's 100%. So... so this is another form of actually running bad. He like drills two pair and his opponents both have nothing. And you can't get paid on him. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to get paid here. Although, Shota's in the hand, so we never know. <laughs> yeah, but Foxen's like pretty heavily incentivized to raise this. Yeah. And it's going to be pretty hard for Shota to run a bluff here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, it's the fold. Yep. So, like, Alex is happy to take that down, but, like, when you've been running so bad all night and you finally pick up a good hand and you have this action game and you just get that pot, that's just, it almost hurts a little. It's just, like, digging in a bit. anything. No. Yeah. You yeah. Once you drill that second pair. He does get a button, though, and is one of three people with the buttons from the stand-up. Very little, Frank. Very little, very little. Is that what I mean? Yeah. I wish I was better at it. A uh, continues his run of good cards, opening ace nine suited. Wait, oh. where did the line go? Oh, there it is. Well, if you fold you're it, good, you're good, Bobby. I shouldn't have. I'm not proud. <laughs> <Yeah. you know? laughs> and it looks like it may actually just get through. Although no, JK is going to defend six four off. 
from the big, from the straddle. Mm. You want to flip for sacks, in? And then just Sacks. drills the flop. Mooch just wanting to flip for chat <laughs> for stacks. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go all in without looking at our cards. The winner will win all the money. Sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> Ian bad? isn't going for it. It's 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 coin flip. flip. I would do it if I was you. Okay. You think it's a good financial decision? Yes. So JK well, just takes down that bad. on the turn after just, smashing the flop yeah, with the six four. With really the Elgin nuts. The Elgin, he, does, he played the Elgin nuts and he smashed the flop like the with them. Is that good? It is good. Uh, it's better than the it's any six forward. Any six forward. Any six forward. Any six forward. Elgin, of course, is town just outside of Chicago where you're from. Yes. And there's a Riverboat Casino there that has a wild poker game. And Look, I like light beer. Six fours can get called the Elgin This has flavor. Implying the best hand you can uh, play there. Sure, yeah, yeah. Thanks. No, it's good. I, was, I don't, yeah. Straddling. I am a menace. Huh? Mooch is definitely not satisfied with the amount of action at this game right now. Why don't you double? <laughs> Somehow. I mean, this would be one of the most action games I've ever played in. Ooh, no. So apparently, I need to play in the games that Mooch likes to play in if, he, if this is enough action for him. I'll learn all Those are my types of games for sure. Mooch did say when he's not at the poker table, he's 24 hours in front of computers figuring out what sports games to bet on, usually basketball. So the graphics are moving a little slow again here, but we do have an open and a call and what looks like a three bet from JK. JK kicking up with King Nine off and taking it down. Hey, JK. Nice hand. So ever since that um, call uh, against Alex Foxen with the third pair, JK's actually gotten aggressive again. Yeah. But also he's had like some better spots to do it too. So so much of like whether someone's aggressive or not. This is why like when you sit at a table with someone for like you know four or five hours, it's hard to really figure out how you know their exact style because there's so many things that can dictate it. Uh, looks like we have a triple straddle. It's eight hundred dollars for Fox to call. So we have. Uh, yeah, straddle to 200, a double straddle to 400, and triple straddle to 800. Get put on. And JK opens up with ace nine suited and the really small blind. And AA with the solver three bet hand, ace five suited. It's a recipe for disaster. So another battle between JK and AA. The players, not the car, not the hands. <laughs> not the hands. <laughs> Both players here have stand-up chips to heads up in this three-bet pot, uh, like in this triple straddle, ace nine versus ace five. <laughs> and it's a flop that really misses them both. But also kind of hits them both. But sure, they both have gut shot straight draws and yep. a backdoor flush draw for A8. It kind of both of what they're representing. Yep, exactly. And this is like He's the really the interesting house. part about this There's flop is both like players could like easily have incredibly strong hands like, here. You know, like you say X, like, so X is the pro in this game. AA <laughs> continuation so, betting really? for a third yeah, pot like, here, pretty typical bet like, size like, considering it's a three bet <laughs> pot and not that deep effective. Telling you the guys in And it actually takes it down. Right? Yeah. Well, there's no backdoor flush draws for Oh, JK. he didn't have a chip yet, so that is now <laughs> his like chip. Yeah, he does a fucking great job. Well, I, I didn't and know so he gets assuming he showed it? They have money. Did he show it? I don't, I can't Maybe. tell from the stream whether he showed it or not. I, he might not have shown it. Well, we saw that mistake earlier from Ian during yeah. the stand-up game, and it cost Ian, actually, $2,100. Yeah, that so. might cost AA. Uh, not, yeah, like, you know. I don't think he showed it. 200. AA strikes me as just a... Oh, uh, never mind. It might be over now. They're not playing the stand-up Yeah, game. it might have just ended. Yeah. And we missed it. Get Ian and some fucking... Oh, no. No, they still no, have I chips in front of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just didn't show it, and he didn't get it. Yeah, like... And I think they're three-handed in it, too. So Alex uh, wakes up with ace... Queen suited Five. and raises, showed his rate. Well, showed initially opened with four three suited. And Alex looks like just flatted again. Yeah. He likes just flatting Shota's opens. Yeah, because he has really action players behind who are three betting and four betting a lot. Uh, and again, man, a terrible flop for his yeah. hand. Three yeah. hearts. 
It actually hits Shota's hand up, kind of. God damn. Yeah. Cool. yeah, this you gotta feel for Fox then. Sorry, sorry, Corey. He's playing great. He's setting traps in really good spots to set traps and just. You have to hit some cards yeah. at some point. And then the bluff that he ran, it's a great bluff. I, I thought it was wonderfully played, and his opponent just wasn't having it. Yeah. I really do think it was more of a you frustration call here? from JK, but no, he's got like, you can't even blame him for the call either. It ended up being correct in a big spot. Yeah, I, I, what makes you think that is what is how quick he made the call? Is that, yeah? Chug, chug, yeah. chug, 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 chug. Wow, Camden has gone in as a lot. Oh, they're both gone. I'm big, I'm big. Nobody yeah, challenged me to any drinking competitions. You already know, Colin. I'm trained at the poker table. He is pretty scary. You right, still follow pretty close there? I'm gonna there. go easy. Bold. It's a good time JK. Bold, dude. JK. So at the, in Gallenberg, let me lay the scene for you. <laughs> Oh, you saw the picture? No, I said I have many pictures. Okay, well, here. I have pictures, so. Um, I think we're on, like, the 18th hour. Probably, yeah. At this point, we've been listening to Young Dolph. Remember that big-ass speaker that Nate had? <laughs> so that's on full volume, and we have Young Dolph going for probably four or five hours. All right, so we just got really? word. The game's going to be running for another 90 minutes. So if you've been to join our game tonight, which I certainly have been, yeah, this has been a fantastic game. I'm not sure how they have the energy to keep all this action up for another 90 minutes down there. I mean, uh, they keep doing triple straddles. They keep the stand-up game going. Oh, yeah. We'll see a lot of action. We have another bad run out for Alex. He, he flops the straight draw, the flush draw, and none of it gets there. This so, is that I'm drinking out. I think we might see him bluff here. That Usually when your hand doesn't have any showdown and you're at the bottom end of these draws, never empty. You Theory loves that. to bluff in these spots. There will always be a beer in this cup and based on how this hand plays, he can still have a queen, he could have a good jack. So this jack is not an easy call. This cup holder is never empty. But like you've said, we've seen AA play very good, and he makes another yeah, good call. Yeah, he does call. find a good call. I think I stacked, like, I had, like, a tower of, like... Yeah, I really like Alex's like, bluff here. Like tower, There's just like not too much he can do. Yeah, like, I mean, if he's... Probably and well, then any other thing but a jack, he probably gets it through. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I don't think a jack five is an auto call. That's what happened. Yeah. You know, we didn't let him. That's pretty what badass. Listen, what happened the, the black the night before How was that they, they let me get... I mean, AA has been playing really well, but I would still say Foxen is the best player at this table. I mean, he's one of the best players on the planet, and sometimes when you're having a bad night, just having a bad night. Oh, obviously, Fox is far and away the most accomplished yeah. player at this table, probably, and definitely the best yeah, player definitely at this the best player. table. Yeah. But just sometimes, just you're, sometimes you're the nail, sometimes you're the hammer. Okay, that was he's been that. the nail so much, he probably doesn't know what I mean, he's been the hammer so much, he probably doesn't know what it feels like. To nah, he does. He's been playing so much volume. Yeah. He knows. Folded ace king I jam like, like he's used to it. Free flop and with 90 soft suit. And they Nate, the made, Nate made the hero fold. So JK opens. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ian opened with the king seven off, and JK just calls with the ace ten suited, and A just calls with the ten ace suited. Yeah, a lot of people are going for these stand up chips, so. Usually these callers are people that have already yeah, won chips will. and are, you know, trying to call these three bets. So Shota did three bet the king queen yeah, off from the big blind, this is a cat which yeah. just gets a quick And see call. here, JK is now calling this ace-10 suited. Knowing that it's that a, was... Uh, a a, but they both have buttons, I think. Uh, yeah, but Shota's just very loose aggressive, so like by calling these spots, you get to put yourself into these Oki really good birth? three bet pots. Huh? Yeah. Oki afterbirth? Yeah. That's why these types of like it's hands not, aren't always three bet, both heavy. from a theory standpoint, but also just from a situational standpoint. So the continuation bet from Shota on a flop that couldn't have hit either one much, but the, the, the pretty quick call from JK. I mean, I was feeding into this. Was, so this is a board that could hit JK call call range, you know, call versus the open, calls versus the three bet. Um, it's not a board that Shota is going to have hit. But Shota could still have aces, kings, queens, you jacks, yes, those man. types of hands. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you yeah, say it sure, is. That's sure. what it is. Yeah. No, it's a very good one. You make it six easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call. 
Well, it depends on what JK goes. checking this back, yeah. Check out. I'm not calling That's pot control. And, uh, <sighs> what a, again, bad run for Big flick. JK. And Shota hits the yeah, that's queen painful. on the turn. I mean, the river. Like, the reason why you check back these ace type hands is because your hand is often best and you have good showdown. And you don't want to bet and get check raised off of it. It's just the downside of checking them is occasionally you can allow your opponent to get there. Doesn't mean his check is bad, it just means he got unlucky with this check. As it as the cards lie, it was a six outer and it, it was hit. Why are you saying that? This is almost yeah, never not, a bluff, like, though, from Shota. No, definitely not true. Look it's at okay. Else. You can say that for a lot of players, but you definitely can't say that for Shota here. Well, it's a, pot, it's a half pot size, I mean, it's a pot size bet. Um, exactly. Remember what I said, exactly. So you think this is this is a call half the time? Uh, I mean, I'm not saying this is an easy call or anything like that. I'm just saying that there's a lot of players, they don't really bluff here enough. So Shota is a type to definitely bluff here. Enough. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell him. And he does make the yeah. call. Yeah, which I don't blame him for this call at all. I think it's a very reasonable call. Shota can easily just have King Jack suited there instead, or Jack 10 suited, that C bet checked, and now he's going to bluff a card that's really good for his range. It's been a real rough night for JK. Yeah. And a really good night for Shota, actually, too. We've been talking a lot about AA, but Shota's been playing <laughs> yeah. really good. Yeah, Shota, he plays a lot in this stream. JK? And, well, he does a lot of really unorthodox really? You stuff. He is a very, very good poker player and has a lot of very big well, nights. JK. He shows why he's so consistent in these games. He trusts himself in every spot. He's willing to battle and go hard, and he can put up these really big results. I mean, the willingness to make that pot size bet and then get paid, I think that was kind of impressive. Yeah, you can't blame JK there. JK is just not his night tonight. He's been playing great, running terribly, and sometimes that's just how it goes. It looks like he's Go, done. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Chip count tonight. After that hand, AA at 145. Shota is at 66, so that is currently updated. JK 7600, but he is racking up and leaving. Will currently highs BPIP 48%. Ian down at the bottom at 21. Pretty much everyone between 25 and 40%. So I do think that JK is actually showing some discipline. Sometimes yeah, when you exactly. want really bad at cash games, you just need to get up and yeah, leave. Exactly. And I know there's a lot of players who don't yes. want to do that. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, AA currently big winner tonight, plus 85. Showed in second down, or plus 36. JK throwing the largest party down 52, and Fox and down 47. Colin also now down 21. Yeah, I do agree with that. You know, part of the discipline of being a professional player and being a very skilled player is either A, going by your stop losses, or B, going by your mindset. And, you know, if even though he's been playing really well tonight, if after that hand he just feels so tilted and frustrated that he needs to go, then go. And that is a sign of a disciplined player. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought J.K. played well. He just yeah, he really played very well. Ran into it. Was that? I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can tell that uh, J.K. Foxen, A.A. and Shota are all professional players. The Queen Trey, man. Are we still playing? Stand up. No, it just, it just ended. He lost. That was, oh, lost. No, you just, you just got the lost. chip to end it. Wait, I was oh, fucking this. lost. <laughs> so Colin apparently just lost the. Colin didn't even. No, wasn't he was even aware. Playing yeah. the stand up game, he just I, lost I, it. I bought JK, it's, so you owe me. 15 to each player? Yeah. <laughs> three, 300 each player. Here, I'll give you 700 for me. All right, give me, you guys, you three, give me a G. Give me a G. <laughs> if you're not aware you're playing, it doesn't create as much action. Yeah, right? Colin, he's give me a thousand. been drinking a bit tonight, a and it had been a while since someone had won an extra button, so he just I, I completely blinked on it. Three. Give me a, give me a thousand. All right, all right. Yeah. No, I don't know. Which, that shit. just yeah, sometimes happens. That's like you part of the nice thing about the stand-up game is that stuff just happens. Yeah. Well, if you're actually doing the stand-up part of the stand-up game, it makes probably, it easier. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Then you'd be like, "Why are you standing up?" <laughs> it's a little bit harder to forget. Yeah. So it's three hundred. So I should only—I just gave her two thousand, and I got five hundred back, and I should get eight hundred back. Look, I have nothing to do with that. So we got like. 
Yeah. An hour, a little bit more than an hour left, uh, 90 minutes left. You have 90 minutes left right. since we're on a 30 minute delay. They're playing another hour for us in real time, and then there's a 30 minute delay on top of that, so we got 90 minutes left in the night. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're on Bali Live Poker at Tropicana, and I got to hang out with Ryan LaPlante for five or six, seven hours watching and talking poker. Yeah, and what a wonderful game. I mean, look at this. You get to see some world class poker, people really battling and going for it. Okay. So AA has nine eight suited under the gun and opens that up, and Rooch is in the hijack and decides to three bet his king six suited. All right, all right. I was confused. Yeah, you're How much do you make it? Uh, looks like nine hundred. Graphics catching up. Uh, I raised fifteen hundred. One point five G's. Well, he said fifteen hundred, but it looks like nine hundred. Oh he no, He raises I'm sorry. fifteen. Colin raises to fifteen hundred. Yeah, it is a large amount. With an unknown hand at this point in time. Yeah, current mystery hand. They are heads up in this four bit pot. Callan and Mooch have definitely been the most active, I think. Yeah, two of them definitely been. And Mooch looks like he drills the flop, although we still don't know what Callan has. They get a G. 3,600 in the middle. Mooch here with this top pair. Can't blame him for going anywhere. He should have the best hand a decent amount of the time. Yeah, he's so it was like a one third pop bet. The queen could complete some hands for Colin. Anything? This queen. It goes check, check. Check. King. And the king is the. It does seem like the king is probably the best hand here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Colin must have had a hand like ace jack, maybe. Motherfucker. Maybe like eights or nines. Or honestly, <laughs> there's a wide range of hands. Yeah, that but yeah. he did seem like when he was four betting that he had a good hand. Yeah. I don't think he has nothing when he four bets there. Carlin is getting to land. He doesn't fucking land yet. What time? Take on the town. I don't know. Let's see. It's 8:36. Yep. Wow. I'm just have an electronic watch. Digital. He's got an AP. Mooch has spent much of the game giving well, Ian a hard time about everything, including his watch. Yeah, <laughs> Ian likes to troll. Or, sorry, Mooch, Mooch likes to troll a lot. Uh, yeah. Yes. We have around an hour until Big Curlin arrives. You guys can make it that long and be rewarded. I go straddle, whatever. If you guys think I looked at my cards, you're you're actually retarded. So we have a straddle from Mooch yep. and a raise from Shoto with a seven off. Oh wow! This guy has no fear. Yeah, Mooch just going after it. What do you want? I'm oh, sorry, Shoto going after Mooch. Not folding. <laughs> and Mooch announcing that he's never folding. <laughs> I'm gonna do a hundred though. I just wanna do a little. We have another mystery hand with Mooch. I want to check one time. A flop that hits Shota's range, if not Shota's actual hand. Yeah, definitely a good see bet spot here for Shota. Shota choosing a small 3, 000, bet. Man. <laughs> okay. 3,000. Oh, interesting. We have no idea what Shota has, I mean, what Mooch has, but he does. Probably has the best hand that he's yeah. bluffing with. Maybe like a. Uh, Jack something of diamonds, king something diamonds. Wait, did he show five of spades? I don't know. I don't understand I, I either. Missed, I, I couldn't tell. Wow, he's something. just going for it. Reason, there's all kinds of shit. What do you think? <laughs> just shows the six of spades. What? All right. What? My reads on I Mooch have just been off tonight. <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, they're on when I can see his exact hand. <laughs> That's like brutally honest. <laughs> what? Like, what? like, I don't know. I think, I, I don't know. About what I don't I'm, I'm about? just watching. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I'm watching okay. study. I am just Okay, so I was thinking about if he plays Minecraft. And, oh, and I'm not so cool. Alex is going to open this hand with uh, King uh, 8 very good point. I don't know why you from the cutoff, which what actually could be the best hand. Right? Like, that's How far back do you want to go? That's a pretty complicated question, isn't it? Mooch has definitely decided he's just in most born. hands at this point that's with 9 six. Pretty centered defend in the big line. Suited yeah, connector. And, of course, he smashes it. Does hit it. 
AA is in here too with a mystery yeah, hand from the small blind. Red one is got out of your chair. Foxen does have two overs with the backdoor king high, flush draw, and a backdoor straight draw, and he's going to bet eight hundred to the thousand dollar pot. Yeah, begin. The AI, no, the AI doesn't like Amos. that. I feel like you ever drank some know, like you're like this guy is. So a AA folded like, the mystery hand. Like, I'm not supposed to do that. Cheers, Whatever. <laughs> and Mooch and just called. I mean, uh, oh, AA's drinking for the first time, so he's joined the drinking party of Callan and uh, Mooch. Queen of Spades I mean, on, the, on the turn gives Alex some outs. I'm not disputing. Yeah, this King High flush draw. I could see Fox and playing this both ways. You can check this back just to like realize your equity, or you can barrel to try to get your opponent to you barrel and like actually a take it down. Uh, nice. So let me ask you this question: Is the fact that Alex is down would that impact how you would make a decision on whether to? You want, do we want to start saying it? Nah. Wait, 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 I'd bet a lot of money that Foxen does not give a single <laughs> about being down. I think he's just like... Don't do it. As long as he hands. thinks he's playing well, yeah. I think he'll just keep playing well. That's it. What? flow. I don't think he really cares, honestly. no chair where you you have to like stay in a squat. Oh, wow. I like that. The fitness guy wants to do that. Hey, he's got his aura ring. Alex is trying to play the stand-up game where they all squat yeah, with Piaz. To stay two. on camera? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with with two guys who are yeah. six sheets to the wind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Six yeah. sheets to the wind. I like that. You can't do it. Colin can do a walk in 20. You know what you're doing right now? Yeah, easily. But anyway, you, you can do a walk in 20. Do a push-up. You walk. You get up. You stand up. Walk. Touch the wall. Get back down. So let's say, like, up, so here's what a walk in wall all the way to 20. Colin. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Colin can't even describe what he's trying yeah. to get to have done physically. So you start at one. It's progressive. I didn't like that push up form. Go and touch the wall, do two push ups. Go and touch the wall, do three push ups. Go and touch the wall, do four push ups. Do it again. Colin, do you think you do a walking, walking 22? I assume it's something that's a lot harder than it sounds. Yes, we were uh, we were prop betting on that like two weeks ago. And I don't think I, uh, I could do that actually. That it's like someone in the game. 300 push-ups. Yeah, that's a lot of push-ups. I know I can't do that. Yeah, that's I couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit less, 280, 270. I could do that when I was 17 and in Civil Air Patrol. I could do that. Against me. It was, it was, it was so a Callan has the best hand, hand here. AA has five high. It was probably like five, six, 140. Five high, yeah. going to be a good bluff, but unfortunately for him, he, Colin has his top pair. I cannot. <laughs> 2,900 could get it done, though. Into a $1,400 pot with some straights. Yeah, you got it only one side. Completed straights, a bunch of two pair possibilities. I don't believe that you got smoked by a guy that was five six one forty. Dude, I mean, he just sat there and I just... Yeah, he's going to call. He, he had, like, he didn't stand up or anything? He was, like, a competitor. Don't really see him folding top pair. Yeah, he, I mean, yeah. he was standing up. We were at, like, a... Stand, we were at, like, a bar stool kind of thing. You know? I get that. Like a fun. chest height table. But you, like, you, like, work out regularly, right? Yeah. <laughs> Asking Fox if he works that regularly. <laughs> But at the, at the time, I was, like, significantly I mean, stronger then than I am now, and, and he just destroyed I'm, me. I'm so weak now. I used to, like, work out a ton, but I'm I'm very weak now compared to how I used to be. It happens. It happens. You, like, what do you train for? Just, like, hypertrophy or strength? Strength. Strength. Stay in shape, really, more than anything. So what's your, uh, what's your PRs? I haven't done and any. Mooch in a is long time. either interrogating or trolling no. everybody at the table. Yeah, 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 he's been, but he's at Fox and he's actually just talking to him. Yeah. Yeah. Like 4 4.30. I didn't look at my guard. I said straddle 600 or so squad and then like a little over 6. Or sorry, like 550 on squad and like 650 deadlifts. Jeez. That's 4.30 on bench. 550 on squat. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy strong. 600 on deadlift. I mean, he was a D1 football player, so. It's more of a technique thing, honestly. It's not. There's a lot of, like, guys that are I'm kind of long, too, so it's not good for me in any way. Yeah, that's so okay. Thank you. Yeah, Fox is saying he, he lifts to stay in good shape, and that's it. 
more. That, that's how a lot of these guys are. It's just you know he's so yeah, used to it that for yeah. him being in good shape is a, a lot. Different higher level. Yeah, exactly. And I'm trying. Yeah, there is actually play. something to I stamina at a poker table. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's why all of the top players for the most part are all health freaks, work out a lot, like across the board. After I played till 6 a.m. in the morning. Where did Fox and play D1? I don't know. Yeah, it's tough to balance the two. Alex, you should go ask him. Boston? I mean, there is yeah, a I think that could be it. I that sounds right. Yeah. Boston University or something like okay. that. Okay. Yeah, that that sounds. I thought it was somewhere up there too. I I just I didn't know for sure. I don't know for sure. I, I'm not. I did, uh, something like that. Was it? Three X, you're right. No, no, shut up. What, what were you saying? I was saying I just fucked up my my elbows and shoulders from benching. It's like right? yeah. not a good lift to do a lot of money. Yeah, if there's anything when it comes to like eating healthy and being in good shape, boxing is a great resource for that. So I was asking him questions about about that stuff while playing yesterday. Yeah, I heard him. I heard some of that conversation. Um, he actually likes eating the fattier meats. Is yeah, because apparently it's better for digestion. Did you ask? I uh, know. He uses the inside, the AI inside and out. Yeah. Yeah, super pro. Alan Iverson. They're super pro. What do you guys just go to Alan Iverson and ask what, what happened? So we've lost two of the original players. Will left down a few grand. JK left down a lot. Like 50. I did start I balling when I was young. 40. Yeah, JK left down about 55K. First grade. And Will left down just a little bit. I think Will wanted to go gamble, so. Thank you, big Bobby. Yeah. So Shota opens here with the king nine off. Yeah. And Alex, someone back me up. Three bets with a mystery hand as of right now. He's acting like it's like a like a big. He's like he's like putting up some asshole for using patronizing. No, Kristen's in chat. She says, "Yep, Boston College." There you go. Hey, Kristen. I went to. Ah, he was a tight end. That makes sense. There you go. Oh yeah, there you go. He skipped the vocabulary. So tight ends are really interesting athletes because they're both they're cross between offensive linemen and wide receivers. They gotta right. be both strong and some fast right, and so have that, some hand eye that's coordination. That's why, yeah, Foxen is built the way that he is. Makes sense. Sure, right. so I got a, hey, Miss Foxen. I got a 36 on my ACT, Cam. Yep. Another yeah, person I hate playing against I at the table is Miss Fox. Chrissy, we had uh, wanted to invite you. There is a seat open, but the game's going to be ending soon. <laughs> also, I was going to mention a uh, ladies' night we're doing in a couple weeks, but we might be out of town. <laughs> Still hit you up about it, though. <laughs> yeah, we are. Dumbass is like me. makes a lot of sense. Look. Ian, I bet you had a good SAT score, didn't you? I didn't take SAT. Why not? Because it's rigged, right? I took it once and it was So we get a three bet from Callan with the Jack Seven <laughs> it's like, Fuck that, man. suited it's fucking against Mooch. Yeah, the two of them have been battling all night. They've been both friendly and battling. And and Callan outflops Mooch. And it goes check check. Kind of a scary board for the Jack Seven, but it's nice when the board pairs. Medium <clears> off. <throat> and the check check may get a bluff from Mooch. Yeah. Oh, he does. Nice. A oh, two X, two tough X spot. Pot. Yeah. Tough, um, tough size. Just as asparagus, yeah. Um, nah. Colin just called in a pretty similar spot, I but this time he lays it down. Just shows the deuce. Yeah. <laughs> very good play. Huh? You, you're a very good player. You, you made a very good fold there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mooch trolling him and lying to him. And Colin kind of knows it instinctually. Yeah. <laughs> Colin knows it. Hello, how are you today? <laughs> Would you have? Drink some yeah. more wine. Drink what do you some have? Of what do you have? Yeah, I think it was just big wine. Yeah. Mooch and Colin are fun. Yeah, in, in they've been aggressively going after each other. Oh, you just picked up a poker player for your women's night, it looks like. Uh, oh, for the ladies' game? Yeah. Oh, hopefully, yeah. If you're in town, I would. She said definitely. she's in. It was the ten, that's Alex was reaching out about playing in general too. Sweet. I had the three. I had the. I had the. I had the dirty diaper. So. Make it three hundred. Kristen Foxen is in our chat committing to the ladies' night poker game that hopefully. Ryan has hopefully. put together. Get me some players. I hate playing short-handed. Colin with the ace two suited, raising up to 300. Showed a king queen suited, same suit. Smothered and covered right now. He must be a very good player. With the three bet. How much is it? 
Eleven. And Mooch is considering his options with the three deuce, the dirty diaper, right? Uh, clean, clean. Oh, clean diaper because it's suited. Yes, suited, yep. Um, Made infamous by um, um, Rigby. No. Yeah, Rigby. Yep, Rigby. Rigby. Yep. And you get a is it a four bet or just a call? No, it's a four, four bet. Four bet to thirty three hundred. With this the, time he actually has it. It's funny he lied about having it. Now he has it, and now he's cold four betting it. Colin. <laughs> Thinking about his, actually, he does he have actually, the best hair. Yeah. With the ace two suited, and he's thinking about oh, a he five is. bet. Nice. Oh. Look at Shona's finding this hilarious. Wow. What a great read. Nice play by Colin here. And a flat? Is that a flat with the yeah. three deuce out of position? Mooch getting good odds. Suited connector deciding to call. Indeed. As it is, he's really dominated. But yeah, he is crushed right now. Oh, <laughs> when he outflops Colin. Oh, that's so brutal. Colin's been having a rough night, makes a sick read, correctly bluffs this. Okay. Gets sucked out on. Instead of continuation. Oh, my God. And now wow. Mooch is never going anywhere. Yeah, Mooch just gets really rewarded with this 3 deuce suited. Cold for a bet. Peel versus 5 bet. And then an ace on wow. the river. Could there be a worse run out for Collins? God, that's so disgusting. Mooch flops the they pair, turns trips, oh. and then gets. I only saw this one before. Collins to get the ace. ace. He's got me beat, obviously. And then stacks Collins. Yeah, that's brutal. He cold four bets, calls the five bet, and gets the cleanest run out to get max paid. It's the absolute perfect run out to get max paid. Yeah, exactly. Before you had to put money in. I know. Captain hindsight over here. We have a lot of history. This game has been very absurd action. If you're enjoying tonight's game, please subscribe, give us a like. Best way to help out the stream. Huge hand coming up. Oh, apparently these hands haven't been big enough. There's no. a much bigger one coming. Don't want to miss this action. We've had a lot of really big hands tonight. So usually when it's huge hand, this is going to be like a 100K pot maybe. It's going to be a massive one. People wondering when this game's going to end. We got an hour left in the night. A little bit over. If you missed it, about 10 hands into the stream, there was a three-way all-in. Ace has got max max against Ace King and Ace Queen. For a $100,000 pot. We've had multiple $70,000 pots, multiple $50,000 pots. Made an ace. It's a 100-100 game, and we've had 1,000 big blinds, 700 big blinds, 700 big blinds. Is it on? Very big game tonight. Thought we said it was. So Colin just reloaded for an, it looks like another 20k. Yeah, he got so unlucky in that ace deuce hand. Hello. It's my go. Yeah. Hello. So really big hand coming up. Don't miss it. So AA opens king six, and Shota has ace five. In the big blind. And he just flats. Yeah, when you're really deep effective, it's not really a hand you want a three bet bluff with very often. Usually these hands work really well as calls out of the straddle, especially. So turn trip tens on the board. Up on Seabed and call, and now AA is considering his options with his king high. He was turning into a bluff. Trying to get exactly the kind of hand Shota has off, right? Yeah, he's also trying to get uh, better king highs to fold and starting to apply pressure on a four. What type of music do you like, Ian? Usually when you bet twice here, your king high is definitely not good. Yeah, so agreed. you'd expect him to run a triple pair bluff Three's here pretty favorite. often. Colin knows is the favorite. He starts blasting it on our I, like, I feel like you're lying. I'm no, not no, lying. I'm not lying. I'll have AirPods in. We it. have seen him give up a couple times. Already too, AirPods though. in. He starts blasting. Oh, no, he does give up. Can you take me higher? It's fucking song, man. 
<laughs> if he puts Shota at a four, he just doesn't think he could ever get the fold. Yeah, he doesn't think he's going to fold that. Um, but he can get king highs to fold. He can get ace high to fold. I know a guy that can do better in this one. <laughs> JG. And I don't think of four calls JG. always. Who's JG? You already know who JG is. Oh, uh... Big JG. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he patronized his ass. <laughs> so we're getting word there's a big Why, hand coming up soon. We've had tons like of big hands, up. tons of big pots. I've learned all sorts of insight from uh, sitting next to Ryan the plant for five or six yeah. hours watching Thank a you. Live appreciate stream. that. I've had a lot of fun doing this with you. You're born natural at it. Go, big Alex. Well, all right. I appreciate there that. There we go. I'm in. Button kicking it up here with ace five once again. I'm gonna have to bet two G's. Fox had defended the queen yeah. seven suited. It's a big flop, it's a big bet. <laughs> the king jack man, I mean, what are the odds you have a king and a jack? Fox yeah. hasn't even gotten close to most fox. No, he's been running terribly yeah, tonight. To Depends on your other card. But He's having like a bad. bottom one percentile type night. King Jack, reasonable to me. The one time he hit a flop was with the six deuce in the stand-up game, and nobody was even yeah, close to the rest of it. Yeah, and he's been like setting some traps and lots of great spots to set traps, and opponents just keep wiggling out of them. Yeah, the ace king against the ace ten, the ace queen yeah. against the six five, I think it was. Yeah, he's had a lot of real tough spots tonight. If that matters to you at all. Yes. You're, you're, I'm faking it. I'm. I have less money than I thought I did. Yeah. I know which ones are mine. Yes, all these. Alex just complimented both of us with the statement oh, that we're giving exactly. great commentary. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Alex. Alex. Okay. Best executive producer in the industry by far. Awesome guy to work with. Wow, another good hand. Crazy. I keep getting these. Make it a fucking G. <laughs> Who Colin is game? over it. <laughs> Colin, three best of four, three suited. Nice. <laughs> oh, Foxen, ace well, wait. king. Shota oh, yeah. wakes up with the ace jack Jeez, you got. in the small blind and hasn't acted yet. Oh, he does just call and Foxen with the ace king. Sorry. Yeah. He said, fuck you. And, three, and four bets the four king. <laughs> you ready like a buck. Is this an auto fold for Shoulder or does he peel? I don't Please. think so, no. Because I'm either going to go Come look on. at my gun. He is out of position. Go, go, go. He is off yeah, suit. 10 seconds, sir. But Five. Foxen can be bluffing pretty easily. Wow. Big big oh, they're playing the stand-up yeah, game. Yeah, stand-up game is going. Ace is marked. Take it back up. That fucking ace is marked. Look at, look, look at the four is marked, too. I can feel, I mean, feel, feel the score. Obviously, I don't know I'm, not sure I'm not sure if Colin is accurate or not. No one's going to pay that. I just, I know, I just. Over, under, and how busy that. Vegas okay. will be this weekend oh, from Lux by Low. Oh, uh, Super Bowl weekend. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's a nuts nice weekend. It's a crazy yeah. It's always a crazy weekend when the Super Bowl isn't here for Super Bowl weekend. Yeah, and uh, speaking of which, today I just did the stuff, the Paramount stuff over at the Mirage. Yeah. A lot of fun. Got to sit on Star Trek captain's chair. I got to play a Survivor challenge and meet the executive producer of Survivor. A lot of fun. Absolutely loved it. Sounds like a ton of fun. You got to yeah. mix it up a little bit, Ian. You got to... I, I, I got to say, as a local, which I've become yeah, the last couple of years, I, I hate that. how the traffic is impacted by various yeah, events here. Like but generally speaking, um, I love all the activity and fun. Yeah, it's yeah, great. I love it, you know too. Means? Dude, come Gronk on. was here yesterday. Oh, sick. Ozzy Osbourne was in the steakhouse. Sick. Yeah, you get all the ledges over here. All right, so this hand's going to be a big one. That's what we were told, right? Margarita stand. <laughs> we're both getting a, we're both getting a yard stand. I, I know we're not really allowed to root for people, but usually anyone who's down a lot, I'm going to root for them. So I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Alex here. You okay, know well, I, that's him. fair. You know him. You don't know any of the other people at the <laughs> table. If JK was still here, I'd be rooting for JK as yeah, well. Yeah, they're, they're the ones who are stuck the most. I'm out of cards. <laughs> Colin with the king three suit and cut off. Alex again with the ace queen. Go, is it? My go. In the small blind. Two G's. Colin. And three bets in. Here we go. Well, last time you were serious, you had a really good hand. 
Al decides to peel with the king three suited. Heads up in this three-bet pot, 4,200 in the middle. And look at that flop for Colin. Could it be better? It's he pretty... flops the pair with the flush draw with the king yeah, three. Yeah, it's a pretty sick flop for him. Fox does C-bet. With only 15% equity as the hands lie. We're playing poker. We are. That's the game. Alex. Calvin is just having fun. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, Colin is definitely having the most fun tonight. He's about to them out. Alex peels. Oh, oh no. Geez, and hits the top pair. That's but disgusting. Can't win because Colin has the second nut flush. Yeah, that's such a brutal turn card. Sorry, Alex, I brought the run bad. And unfortunately, he's playing against the guy who you can't credit a lot. Yeah. Although this action with the time chip. All night, all night. Foxen was right earlier. You know, Colin, anytime Colin has a big hand, he's been very intense, more quiet. He gets serious. Three of a kind threes? That's what you put me on? Based on the time chip, yeah. There's a flush possible now. It was really strong, um, but now it's like, you know. It's still pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a little bit less, though. So. Alex's still initial read strong. is right. Three yeah. Is probably good. Most of the time, yeah. Unless you have ace king, I mean, big slick. You got big slick. <laughs> uh, spade. Threes is ahead of. Oh, oh spade. That's spade. Say, big slick isn't. It? I'm saying yeah, big slick is. I mean, there's only one big slick that you're worried about. Well, the ace could the spade could come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Colin on his second time bank on this tank. <laughs> it's clearly a planned that ploy by Colin. Colin that may work, I guess. I guess we'll see. Four twenty last I checked. Wow, you do know about Tao, don't you? Yeah. Okay, wow. I follow the Tao. I check. <laughs> wow, that's actually a very good play, I think. Made you check. Checking behind Ooh, at the turn. Threes like that river. Threes do. Ooh. Wow, what a and sick the river. And green on the river. 12. 12.7 Gs that you got it on the fucking money, man. And then I got actually 12.7, and then that's, that's 95 on top. So that doesn't play. It does play. It's five short, right? Can we make it play? I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's up to you. You can, you can tell. Scared, you're scaring me now. All right, I got to think about this one. We already can we make it play? <laughs> You're scaring me now. Fox's instincts are right. Fox's instincts are right. Yeah, he just needs to trust himself in that. Play, by the way. And I, this is an incredibly right. tough fold. Yeah, well, this would be a ridiculously queen, tough queen. fold. There's, you're yeah. just, you're losing a set of flushes, that's it. I don't give a fuck about what Fox His, his read is spot on, too. Well, you, Come on, uh, Fox, and you can do it. Big Kerwin's getting ready to arrive. Can okay. you give him some top tips? <laughs> I'm gonna let it count mm -hmm. and bet. Yes. All in. Call. You got three. Uh, okay, so Fox uh, actually jams. Yes, baby! Come on. God, he knew too. He said, "Do you threes?" He still called it. Uh. Do you have any money left? I have like seven k left. <laughs> So brutal. That was a fun hand, man. Fuck. I have blessed. <laughs> you thought you were cat value betting. 
<laughs> Big Alex had them both. Challenge is having the time of his life. Jeez, boxing has been the nail all night tonight. Hey, that hand is so there, disgusting. Man. You're down. The, the queen queen run out is ridiculous. Yeah, it's brutal. so absurd. That was a fun hand. You want to take crypto for chips for your friend? Oh, yeah. Chip count yeah. after that. Yeah. Uh, looks yeah. like Collins up to 37K uh, yeah. after that. AA still our big stack tonight. Um, 142. Still almost uh, covers second, third, and fourth stacks tonight. Yeah. Will still the V Pip captain. Slow played, yeah. Even though he's been gone for a bit, he was a V Pip captain when he's left. Mooch at 45%. Ian still down at the bottom at 19%, although uh, he's been AFK for a little bit. A hey, still our biggest winner of the night, plus 82K Shota there, doing work, $36,000. Foxen now throwing the biggest party, down 63K. Yeah, I'll straddle. Yeah, please. What a brutal hand. That was very brutal. Foxen's been running completely disgusting. That was funny. Ian, you want to add? Let it count all in. whales adding on, so you might want to add more. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's a straddle here. Colin, big fan of the Tau, and Foxen knows about it. Foxen deep in the crypto streets as well, which, you know, high stakes poker players been deep in crypto. I mean, I first started hearing about BTC when it was at like, I don't know, maybe $1,000, $1,200. I first heard about ETH when it was at eight bucks. Buddy of mine was like, bro, this is gonna hit $1,000. You need to get all in on it. How are you not a broke. multi-millionaire now? I was stone broke. I had no money. Yeah. Is it 1,200? I even kind of believed him. It didn't matter, I had zero dollars. Yeah, just pull up your telegram. Couldn't put a dime into it. I actually did pretty well off crypto. Ian, come uh, on. I stay away from it. You think I'm going to fold my big one for 1,200? That's just me. I wasn't asking you to fold. I uh, Three ways to this flop. It's a big hand then. Shota there, while he does have the worst hand, he does have a lot of hope. This is a bet. We're not, we're not seeing a free turn. <laughs> we're not going to wait to see if an ace or a king comes. Uh. And hope he is going to use. And here's a hit three bet. Raise, raise. Raise, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mooch doesn't look like he wants to go anywhere. He really doesn't. Eight. Colin, go on my phone. Wow. Yeah. The There's the three bet. Sick race. <laughs> he ain't wrong. Shota doesn't want to fold. Do. I, mean, I don't care. Oh, now he does. No, I mean, you're obviously upset. What a sick raise by Mooch. Bluffing with the best hand. So Mooch yeah, has right. been you can do you want. a little erratic, but he's actually played really good. Yeah, he's really been playing don't. very well. I, like, I don't... I don't He's, he's made the. I mean, he's had some a couple oh, lucky runouts. The, the three right? deuce against the ace. Deuce yeah, yes, yeah, he's definitely. Uh, what was your terms? Some sheets to the wind. Yeah, <laughs> six. Six sheets to the wind, but he is uh, still getting it done. Three bet on him. What is and the stand-up game is still going too? Yeah, uh, looks like. It's a two hundred, Colin. I think Foxen and someone else might be heads up. Shota. Put it fucking oh, in. Shota and Foxen or no? No, it's Foxen and AA, I think. No, Foxen has one there. I'm, oh, one. I'm not sure who. Looks like everybody has one. Though. I just owned them. Ian. Ian and AA <laughs> are chipless. Okay, so the, there we are heads up. I was just wrong about who. Yeah. Shota oh. takes it. Uh, uh, Ian, oh. pocket kings. Here, Shota's ace queen up. suited. Come over here, come over here. So it's a $3,300 pot to the flop, and Shota smashes the ace. Drills it. Oh, that's painful. Good check back by Ian there. Really tough spot for him. You know, Shota's been really aggressive in a lot of different ways. Two? Yeah. So he is going to peel at least one. All right. There was a one third bet. Let me, like um, from let me, uh, yeah, about half pot. Here, let me just see what I have. All right. Hold on a sec. This is about two thirds pot. Shota. Yeah, it looks like 4,800 to 63. Really tough spot here for Ian. Yeah, Just you can't blame him for calling there. Yeah, he's going to get the bad news. 
Yeah, he played it very well. Nothing really he could do there. He minimized, he checked the flop, he minimized his losses. But yep. Shota, once again, is just chipping up. Yeah, I mean, when you suck out on Kings, you're going to yeah. be doing all right. Paid <laughs> off the net. Yeah, Shota plays so aggressively that anytime he, he coolers you, he just makes money. When you can find good folds for Shota, you are playing very, very well. You can get an app on your phone where it connects via Bluetooth. Yeah, but I don't have the app. Saying you can in the future is probably the best idea. I've actually been kind of impressed by Mooch and Colin's stamina. I didn't think they'd keep, they'd make it this long. <laughs> yeah, they've been, they've been going hard pretty much all night. Raspberry Pi. And then AA joined them once they're, they were like uh, teasing him for being up so much money and not drinking with them. Got him to buy him a bottle of wine. $2,600. So Alex is opening with the king queen off and Mooch is three betting. It looks like with the jack nine suited. From the small blind. Like Nate was saying. And Mooch has been really aggressive in a lot of different ways. He's also been really aggressive with bluffs, Damn, both talking aggressively, good. and he's also like I'm on a page been aggressive on with this talking when he's had good hands Here too. So he's been pretty well balanced in all these spots, surprisingly. So Shota flats with the Thanks. pocket fives from the straddle, and Alex just flat third position with the king queen. Oh, what an yeah, interesting king. flop! Yeah, action flop. Flick a one. You flick a one. So you have top pair with the gut shot for Mooch, who was the pre-flop aggressor, and you have the open at two two hours with the open-ended from. Alex. Yeah, and even though Alex has the yeah, worst yeah. hand, he is still the equity favorite against Mooch here. And it goes check all the way through. Check. And then Alex just drills the queen. I probably should have bet since they king out there. Check around. Interesting check around. Oh, Got wow. Fox into check back, and he drills the king. Oh. What a... $800. <laughs> One tenth pop bet for Mooch with, yeah. with the second straight. There's a bunch of aces out there theoretically. Now, is this? Could you possibly turn top two into a bluff here? I mean, maybe. Boxing clearly does not want to call. Oh. Uh, uh, he does do it anyway. Right to the king. You win. No way. There's no way you lose. Wow. What an interesting run out, what an interesting river bet. Yeah, this hand could have played a lot of different ways where Foxen loses more money. Foxen lost some stone minimum there. Very soon, I need to get this crypto done so I can give him chips. How much are you getting? Uh, probably 50. Okay. Mooch is definitely running good this last hour or so. Yeah, Mooch has been on a nice upswing. He's been getting his bluffs through. He's been hitting versus people. Did I give you a block? Yeah, you give me a block. Okay. Give me the lock back. Um, yeah, give me the lock, yes. Um, no, I like having towers. I think it's intimidating. Thank you. And George asking, why does the commentator sound like Vin Diesel? Oh, apparently that's my voice, right? Yeah, that's you. Yeah, oh, you, thank you. You also look like Vin Diesel. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I feel as if we look the same. <laughs> it's 300 to me. Well, so, Brendan apparently moonlights as a as a voice actor, a, a Vin Diesel lookalike. Apparently, <laughs> another interesting flop. AA tops flop pair, and Shota has the open ended straight draw. It goes check check. Yeah, this turn queen's very interesting card. Shota's could decide to bluff this. Looks like he does. Oh, <laughs> and then just smashes the straight. The the actual absolute nuts on that particular board. Yeah, it looks like turn went bet 400 call. Now river, he bet. Bit over pot. Like one at one five X, that just gets a fold. Wow, great fold there by AA. AA has played, I think, Phenomenally. Yeah, yeah, he's played incredibly well. He made the right folds. Very few moves and what but yeah. been when they've been it, it, they've Yo, worked. Hey, hey. Yeah, and also he's been playing very 
theory oriented, but also trusting himself as well. Yeah. Game really good combo. Yeah. I'm, like I'm when a there. great player runs well, you know, they have the types of knights right. that AA is having. Well, thank you, yeah, George. I, I appreciate say... the uh, the, com the uh, compliment. Jeff saying, sunshine, go show to go. I get a foul. Shoda's had, I think, so Colin started off with a couple fans, but I think Shoda's had the most fans throughout the course of the night. Uh, oh, I'm not even looking. Speaking of big hands. Uh -oh. We have something developing here. AA has pocket queens, and Shoda has ace king. And oh. Mooch, three bet out of the cutoff with seven four suited. Of course he did. <laughs> like a fold, big fold. Big fold, fold it, fold it, fold it. So the four bet from AA with the queens. Big fold, patronizing fold. Shota out of position, could five bet this. He does call. You wanna add on Mr. Big Slick over there? Oh, and this is just a great shot. flop for Shota. He hit top hit, top beer. kicker, no flush draw. Yeah, he has a hate down to one out. Money. One lonely queen. <laughs> so obvious, you could be a little, yeah. It's so obvious and we're trying to even though AA's ran yeah. bad in losing oh, to this ace king well. here with queens, uh -huh. so obvious. he ran very well in that this wasn't like a five bet pot. Yeah, it wasn't a five bet pot, and it's just so obviously a bad flop that once you get called. Yeah, exactly. So even this, even though he's losing this, he's running well by losing the least he possibly can. In a minute. Hopefully this and guy can send me that an just, address. That ends it right there. Yeah. At, like, if he has a queen of spades here, he loses way more money. If he doesn't have chips, I'll be damned. So the flop goes check, check, once really the shoulder turns to nuts. This guy's getting chips at some point. That's for damn sure. Really should give him chips <laughs> this guy, I'll be honest. He's been texting me for days talking about poker. <laughs> the nuts. He, he told me nuts. Dude, he so told me he was there was an interesting dynamic on that hand where, uh, yeah. as compared to yeah, the Alex, previous one really where Ian had the kings behind, where I, Ian yeah, checked the Boston behind Boston. the kings Boston. with the ace high flop, you went and to Boston AA Boston. bet the queens with the ace high flop. Uh, Is there a difference between whether you have kings or queens on an ace high flop? Yeah. So from a theory standpoint, kings checks back almost always. Queens checks back occasionally. Jacks on down C bets 100% of the time. And that's because you want to. Alex. Okay. So kings are more protected. Yeah. So when you have queens on down, those hands need protection. BC, you guys out of that. So that's why I said earlier, Ian makes a really good check here. It's a very good theory check, and that C bet, standard C bet there. After Matt Ryan left. Really. So wow. I, mean, I had high expectations though. Huh. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. impressive to even like be able to make D1 football. Make a D1 impressive. football team, yeah, for sure. I played D3, so it's I was a D1 track and. Yeah, Shota's playing well, but he's also oh, yeah. running pretty oh, yeah. good too. Yeah, he's been running a little hot. Like you were joking, but no. But a lot of the spots that he's made D1 football money in have today. been. Oh, wow. I mean. Speaking of this, <laughs> he just flopped top trips. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, a lot of the spots he's been winning big pots, and he's been really going for it. But, yeah, it this is. Uh, Although Ian has absolutely nothing on this I know spot, a man so. that would do it. His name is. Well, he does continue age. I'm not joking. Just don't call I'm not joking. No. I never joke. I'm, I'm always very serious. That's not true. I'm a serious poker that's player. That's not true. No, that's, that is true. I'm a very serious player. That's not player. true. I'll tell you what's the line with truth from Camden. The truth is that there is someone who would like All right, I'm going to send the BTC. Let me, um, what would you buy? Tight end. This fucking piece of shit wallet allows me to send it. So, um, Alex just confirmed what we had heard earlier, that he played tight end, asking, responding to Ian's question. I didn't get any snaps at tight end. Sad. It's the only out for now. We're not, we're not talking about high school football. Scored a, scored a touchdown in the state championship Stop. to win. Stop. Did score a touchdown in the state, Georgia state championship. Big deal. That is a big deal. Does uh, Trop have a Wi-Fi? Yeah. And action is here. Here go. All right, give me a Wi-Fi. How about that? 300 feet You can just write it down and give it to me, it's fine. Looks like we have a double straddle. 12. I think we have a double straddle, and Foxen is opening to 12, but could this could be a three bet. Graphics are catching up. It just takes it down. Oh, yep, it was a three bet. 
Shota had opened with the A7 and now there 10, pocket nines. And Sorry Colin. about the graphics delay sometimes. I was there. I was right, watching Tom, the second right. championship and baked out of my mind. Yeah. I, I, it, I did notice that A.A. looks like he has a very uh, tasty steak he's, girl, he's focused on right now. I was there watching, right, our stage, it was a big deal for our school. You guys are in the same high school? No. We're in the same grade, so like, it was a big deal, it's our senior year. Yeah. And, you know, I, my friend gave me a... So a we before. thought we might be ending at 10.30 tonight. We are going late. We have... Uh, a really fun player coming in, and since we do, this is going to go a uh, decent amount later tonight. And I was like, oh my god, everyone's looking at so me right Shota now. So like, Shota opens you know, um, under the gun with, with six five suited, and Couldn't have Alex just calls with the ace nine off, and Ian three bets oh. to twelve hundred with the ace queen suited. You're baked. And Shota decides <laughs> like, to call out of position. Fuck, with the I 6 guess 5 suit, and Alex yeah. comes in too with the ace nine off. Yeah, we do have the uh, stand up game going. Yeah, Ian is still last, in, I believe. I like, was not there for that. And Alex actually out flops everybody this time for once. 4,000. Ian going with the. Pot size continuation. Pretty awkward spot here for Fox, and Ian hasn't done many bets like this Everybody tonight. That. Yeah, that, that's an interesting. It's actually bigger than pot continuation. Slightly. Foxen does have the pair, does have the backdoor nut flush draw. What are you doing, Ken? Oh. So, uh, I can give you odds. Ian hits top pair, obviously, but now. What an ugly turn card. Alex has oh, wait, two I need pair. And Ian bets basically 75% pot. Yeah. Foxen's just counting the money right now. And Ian only has 18,000 behind. Yeah, so Foxen has two legit options. He can call or he can jam. Double flush draw, straight draws. He just calls, confident of his skills out of position against Ian with his two pair. And a oh, card that doesn't Lean nothing. run out. No spade, no diamond, no straights. Check all in, and I assume an insta call. How much is it? Oh, actually, Alex is going to think oh, about. He's concerned about ace king. I guess. Yeah, he's concerned about ace king. Concerned about aces. Concerned about kings. I don't see him folding this, How's but. Alex? Yeah. It's eighteen yeah, k into, into a thirty-eight or twenty-eight k pot. Might be a little less. Fifteen. Yeah, he lost the stand-up game earlier, so it's a little bit less. Might be slow rolling you, but. Yeah, yeah, when you say something like that, you're almost always going to call, right? All I can beat is seven deuce. And ace queen. <laughs> Foxen knows he doesn't beat many hands, but he, he still has to call, call us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Slow roll. That's what I said. I might be slow rolling. Though. All you can beat is seven deuce. Ace queen, Almost ace always queen. when somebody says I might be slow rolling you. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh. See, I feel as though like when someone's in that type of spot, like they know that they're in like it's not an easy call, it's not a wonderful situation. It's and even though they know they're pretty much always calling, I feel as though sometimes they do it as like a, a protection of, oh hey, I knew you yeah. could have had this really good yeah. hand. I stand. Yeah. Sorry for the slow uh, roll. No, no, you're fine. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think a lot of people do it almost intentionally, like as like a pre-save on it. But I don't think he was doing that. He just knew it wasn't a snap call, and he was just rethinking through the hand. I mean, honestly, I'm out of cash. Not that I'm anywhere near any y'all's levels, but I've done it a couple times, and what I'm doing is actually talking myself into the call when I. Ah, uh, yeah. See that that that's a good perspective on it too. Yeah, something I didn't think about. So sometimes that's why. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, well, like, hurry up, dude. So that 60K pot, I think that was our maybe ninth or 10th pot over $50,000. I have, I've lost track, but there's yeah, been, been a, a big ton. number. There's been a ton Yo. over 50K. And uh, we have a real fun player coming in soon. Yeah. 
I'll do 70. So I think this game is somehow going to play even bigger than what it has been. I'm really curious who's showing up at the last minute with a big... Uh, Mooch was saying this guy by the name of... Started with a K. Play with this? It wasn't Kieran. Um, He's rebuying. Name sounded kind of similar, though. Uh, oh, it's... So, um, Alex is making a little bit of a comeback after yeah. that hand. Yeah, great to see it, honestly. I'm not rooting against Ian, and I'm not actively rooting for necessarily anyone, really. Just anytime someone's down a lot, I always feel a little bit bad. Um, this is definitely the part of the reason why I don't really like playing cash that much, is that, I don't know, for me, it feels more more bloody. Like, it's a lot more aggressive and, like, uh, you know, it's more cutthroat. Yeah, more, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and like that's why I like tournaments. You know, I mean, it's well, technically more cutthroat, but like, you know, I just sit down at a table and I get told where I'm going. There's a finite amount you can lose at a tournament. Exactly. And the money's already in, and what they happen to lose to you yeah. in terms of chips doesn't impact that. Although tomorrow I'm probably going to bring like six entries to the 1600, <laughs> so I might be in for a lot, but. Technically, it's a finite amount I can lose. Still a finite amount, just a multiple. Yeah, of that just sixteen hundred at a time. So here we have Callan uh, bluffing with the best hand, continuing on his king high against Alex's queen high and taking it down. Yeah, nice play there by Colin. Colin's definitely been a tough player to play versus for Foxen. Uh, Colin's had his, even though Colin has technically had his number, every single time they played a big pot together, Foxen has correctly put him on his hand and then paid him off anyway. Yeah, that's exactly what has happened. Yeah, not quite. But also, Colin has won run ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Colin's been Foxen. doing some uh, fun spots and getting there in really, really interesting ways. The only spot that he ran really brutally versus was that ace deuce, three deuce suited hand yeah, versus Mooch. That was disgusting. Mooch. That was so brutal to watch. Uh, Borg wondering why uh, Berkey doesn't play this game. Berkey is usually playing much bigger than this. He's usually playing, I think, a 1 2 4 game that plays a lot bigger. Well, you had one of his coaches yesterday playing. Yep. And, uh, uh, Landon Tice was on the coach's stream last night. Landon played really well, of course. Very good theory player. Really nice guy. Played great. Ran really, really poorly. It, actually, I found him to be one of the best commentators. It was just the chemistry between him and Nicky was great when he was up. Oh, uh, yeah? Was nice. I haven't, I haven't listened to all of it yet, so I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing that over the next handful of days. Uh, so Alex uh, defended with 9-4 suit in the big line and actually flops a flush draw against Shota's Jack 7 and, and may take it down. Yeah, Colin's going to fold his ace-queen high. Wait, let me turn this off. Tough spot here for Shota. It's hard for you to know that you have the best hand, and having the jack of spades in your hand is pretty rough for you. Because it blocks a bunch of the flush draws. Yeah, it blocks a lot of the bluffs. And even, like, Foxen's other bluffs are going to be, like, jack 10 with either one being a spade. Jack 9 with either one being a spade. So, yeah, Alex takes it down. Yeah, good fold by Shota, even though he was wrong. I like that fold a lot. Well, plus, there's still a lot of equity. I mean, even if you're against two overs with the flush draw. It's... Yeah, exactly. And Foxen can just have like King 10 there for value and whatever. It's like when you call those raises versus people, it's versus people who have very polarized check raises and people who aren't willing to run like multi street bluffs often. Yep. You got now. So you're playing the 1600 at the Venetian tomorrow. Is there, aside from the fact that obviously you're going to be here today, do you distinguish between day 1As, 1Bs, and 1Cs? Or yeah, not? usually 1As are the toughest fields by a very large margin. Yeah. Usually 1Bs are the softest by, or the final flights are always like the best to a decent degree. Um, and, and especially these 1100s and higher in Vegas showing up on time is definitely the way to go just because most of the real fun players are there at the start. Yep. So, so we'll try to get there on time, but it looks like we might be having a late night tonight. <laughs> it does look like that. Here we have ace four off against ace five off, and it may be a situation whoever's most aggressive just takes it. It's yeah. Colin gets AA. Half the pot. Should happen most of the time. $650. 
$650. 700 So they're not allowed to play in increments less than yeah, 100 Yeah, because it's, uh, you're never allowed to raise less than the big line. The stand-up game is still going. They've been heads up in it a very long time. AA is still trying to get the stand-up chip. And it just and checks down and chops. Yep. Nah, man, if he's coming straight here, if he's checking. I told right. him to come he's straight here. He's saying MGM. Uh, I literally told him to come straight here and just take <laughs> care of his bags for him. I literally told him that, so he yeah. said he was going to come straight here. He's Who? saying it. Okay. Friend of mine, Kerwin. friend of mine. Kerwin? You want to straddle with him? Kerwin. Mm -hmm. All right. He's fun. He's real big player, Kerwin, coming in. He's the guy I was telling you I want to roll with him this weekend. This is a well-known cash player, big player. And now, uh, just a good friend of Mooch. Mooch says that he plays really big. And I guess when Mooch says really big, Mooch means really, really big. So, here I can figure out. Going to be another action player in this game. Here you go. Straddled. Raised. Yes, yeah, five hundred. <laughs> Colin, in with the king eight with good the Ian. player. King eight suited with the player. Little Ian. He's on tilt. Big Ian. He's on tilt. Now it's on the button, button with ace ten off. Ian's Pretty happy three bet spot here for Fox. And then Colin's been playing a lot of hands, been playing here. very wildly. Rising fold. And even though Cal, uh, Alex does not run well against Colin, I'm sure he doesn't mind getting in his hand. Alex cheating. Yeah, of course not. Alex cheating. I call. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Check. I gotta see if we can. A much better flop. Even though know it's a miss, a much better flop there for Alex. Yeah, for exactly. Count. Colin's just been running so hot. So anytime Colin bricks, some good news for Foxen. Colin's thinking about it, though. Yeah. I, you know, sometimes you run good against somebody and you just think you can own them, and he, you may do what he looks like he may do here. I don't know anything. Colin is definitely having the most fun tonight. I don't see Alex folding this. Uh, I'm not saying it's an easy call, but, you know, you have the two overs, you have the gutter ball, and you're up against this crazy aggressive player. Yeah, and you're right. I was to make the call. This is kind I don't of think the queen scares either player, does it? No, Colin shouldn't be too concerned about it. You know, only East Queen really gets there. Yeah. Foxen could be worried about this because Colin has been, you know, who knows what Colin has here. He's definitely been unpredictable. Yeah. He's been acting a little differently in this hand, though, than he was before. Yeah, it sure goes. Come on, let's go. Well, no, he throws in the time chip list like he did on the, <laughs> when he hit the flush. Beat them all. Aren't you playing? <laughs> like 70? Or, no, a little less than that. Beat them all. Beat them less than me. That's all I needed to know. Yeah. Less than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Colin has like 30 behind, and Beat Alex has like 70 behind. <laughs> yeah. 70,000. Colin's saying they have about the oh, same as like me saying I'm about as big as Foxen. <laughs> Six G, six hundred and sixty dollars. So that's sixty seven hundred since increments are not allowed. And can I put, can we put the 60 in or no? I don't think it's up to me. It is not up to Fox and it is up to the rules of the game. And that's pretty much like a 60% hot bet. Let him know, we got a point. Into like the $12,000 pot. Speed eight, current one. Yeah. There it is. Just imagine the 60s in there. <laughs> Just imagine. It is really a hard position for Alex at this point. I feel like this is definitely a bluff, but I have nothing. So. Again, he has his he instincts are right. It. Yeah. And he doesn't trust His them. read has been right 100% of the time. <laughs> he, he, <he's, laughs> his read was right. He felt like it was a bluff, but he just didn't trust it. $66 and whatever <laughs> else I got. Dollars. I'm <laughs> scooping the... Alex, trust yourself. You can do it. 
All goes to Mustang. Alan has fresh off the honestly outplayed Alex every yeah, he's had. destroying him with these speech game. Just and Alex has the right instincts and has not trusted him one time. And you motherfuckers. After that hand, <laughs> top of the chip count tonight. Still AA. 134k. Shota second 74. Foxen coming up behind with 70,000. Um, Mooch of the active players currently our VPIP leader at 44 percent. Ian still bringing up the back with 20. I don't think so. So you guys better watch out. Big winner tonight. AA up 74,000. Showed up 44. Mooch up 31, and everyone else is down. Foxen thrown uh, the second largest party of the active players, but been climbing back on the night. Y'all are in for. I did my. I, I fucked around in that hand. I did fuck around in that hand. Yeah. And I'm done. I'm fucking done with that shit because that gave me a lot of anxiety. And I'm gonna make it 200 straddle. But that gave me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> Making a bluff like that made me a lot of anxiety, and I, I don't I don't like to lie or bluff and stuff like that. So I did not want to raise a re All right, Colin saying he's done bluffing. Ian, how much you hear? He seems genuine, but <laughs> he may believe himself at the very moment. Yeah, I mean, when you see a good bluff spot, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So here we have Why are you smiling? Ian's you three-betting the ace four off. Yeah, if you want action, you're supposed to be mad. Pretty small three-bet here in position. Usually this deep effective, you want to go pretty large. action because it means I have the worst hand. Downside of going this small is Shota's queen nine suited here, getting amazing odds to call. Got his ass! And Shota, we know, will go in. Oh. You can never win in this world, Ian. Was that a 4 bet for Shota? Yep. 4 bet to 3,800. Yep, Shota oh. detecting weakness from the small 3 bet and just applying max pressure as he does. Is it true, Ian? Can we see a flop, please? Yeah, we're going to see a flop. Yes, we are. Yeah, absolutely. For time, anyways. 10 9. Deuce, deuce, deuce. Shota's. Um, King Jack. Shota's bluffs have hit right every time, it feels like. Yeah, he's really been nailing these spots. <sighs> Take my blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. Bitten. Either he has a good read on the players or he I just has a good feel for when to pull the trigger. I like. For you. you guys mind if I put 200 in my big blind and also 100 uh, ante? If I put an extra 100 in? So Colin is offering no. just to put more money in the big line just Definitely for not. the hell of it. I'm going to put an extra 100 in. Colin's having fun. <laughs> That's okay. But you can't straddle to two. But apparently this Kerwin guy who's on his way is uh, probably going to be having just as much fun. So big action game going to somehow turn into an even bigger action game. Just for one hand. Shoulder's a little confused about what's going yeah, yeah, you're, on you're with the up. extra let's money go. in the big line. Hey, hey, let's so go. Cheers. Oh, you know what? You can just put it in Cheers. the line. You can Cheers. just put it in the line. Ian wakes I'm up to pocket. I just want the 200. <laughs> you okay? Did you mean to put a fucking brown chip in there? I mean, what the fuck? How many brown chips hold on, do you hold on, fucking hold on. ask God? Did you mean to put a brown chip? No, okay, yeah, did, don't did, put it in. Did, don't put, fix it. They're trying. So, yeah, no yes, yes. We're chilling. Just don't. Don't lie. Don't pretend like you're going to make it a five. But whatever you want. Yeah, whatever you make. 1,200 or whatever. 800. 800, 800, okay. Yeah, 800. Fine, fine. We're not going to fucking punish you for mixing up colors. This is not the super pro. Game. Yeah, we are. Very nice. We're all nice. Music to show to his ears because he gets to defend this 10-7. <laughs> nice guy. If it, no, if it been a $1,500 bet, he would not have had the opportunity. To I try to be a nice guy. I, you can't please have one in this world, and that's something you'll... Annie hits a piece of it. Curl. Might be bad news now. Yeah. <laughs> 5,300 would, would have saved him some money. No chance. Alex says no chance. Well, the ace the and the king Alex. Alex. are slowing down in. In Oh, but then he yeah. loses the stuff. No oh. chance. Not much Shada, do you think Shoda. you can please everyone in this world? Shada says no chance, all right? We're going to pretend he says no chance. If he could understand, he would say no chance. Four? Definitely. Four, yes. No chance you can please have one in this world, guys. Oh, girl. it's just a four hundred dollar bet into a nineteen hundred dollar bet. Nice fold, Shota. He was begging for a call. And Shota finally What a fold. boss! Uh, uh, I'll be back. Uh, so that's a that's a 
Oh, that's the game. That's the stand-up game. That was heads up in the stand-up game for like almost an hour. Wow. Yeah, it went on for a long time. Yeah, that was a very long heads up stand up game. Very, very, very long heads up stand up game. So long that maybe they even forgot that they were doing it. I'm wondering. Nah, I, they they hadn't forgot, but. That was a very long stand up game. You're joining tonight's game, of course. We are playing. Bally Live Poker. Most of y'all are watching on YouTube, but there is another place to watch. You can watch it on the Bally Live app. Bally Live app is the highest quality place to watch the stream. You get the best quality of the stream. They, of course, also have a chat room there. Bally Live, of course, also, besides for having poker, it is a sports app, lots of sports to, play, uh, to watch. Main sport yeah, that they have, though, minor league baseball. They're the home of minor league baseball, the best place to watch minor league baseball. Yes. And tonight's game is, of course, at the Tropicana in the fabulous city of Las Vegas. Did Ian just pick up queens on back-to-back -back Yeah, he just back-to-back -back queens. Life is good. Life is good if you're Ian on the live, Bali live poker stream about six hours in, five hours in. Show to the big blind. Oh, I just took it down. Yep. Tonight's game is sponsored by GG Poker. It is always a great game. And when you're having an AA type of night, that's a that's a wonderful game. You know, AA he's kind of seems like he's locked it down the last couple of hours. And, and I mean, I don't think his style has really changed. I think he's played the exact same way the entire night. Yeah. Yeah, he's just. And he's he's middle of the road for VPIP. He's been around 30% the entire night. He's been staying around there the entire night. He just plays very theory-oriented. If you get good theory spots, he takes it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. That's it. So here he's opening with 6-6 six, six in the cutoff. And Booch is not at the table yet, but he has 7-6 to it and yelled from the background he wants to come look at his cards. Yeah. Friendly game. They're going to allow him to. Still getting dealt in. Happy yeah. three-bet spot. <laughs> for sure. For Vooch. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, these cards are connected and suited. Oh, baby. <laughs> I mean, I love this three-bet, too. Great three-bet spot. It's a flop that doesn't hit anybody, either one of these players. But it hits the three-bet three -bet range. Yeah, yeah. It hits, hits his range very well. Hey, isn't going to fold these sixes. Ooh. Interesting turn. Spicy. Gives them both cut shot straight draws. Um, do you have a four here ever? Four would be real disgusting, uh, River Card. No, if you have ace four. That is a over oh. over bet. You have to take your money to the cage. Yeah, he's going about 1.5x pot. Um. All right, new player about to sit down. How much is Foxen up? Foxen has been running real bad all night. He's been getting dusted. Uh, he's he's climbed some back. So I think he's down about 35. Uh, good luck if you have a four. That's all I can say. 22. Oh, wow. What a play from AA. What a sick read. Pretty sure that. And, you know, honestly, I really feel like Wooch all day is projecting his fears. Yeah. And I think AA finally picked that up in the speech play. Uh, but Mooch has also been talking about those types of hands and then had them himself. Sure. So he's been projecting kind of both ways. I think he's actually been pretty balanced with it. Um, either way, it was a great read at this particular hand by AA. And he... yeah. Yeah, he's been really on top of it. Yeah, he's played very well all night tonight. And like I said, like, you know, he just viewed that as a really good spot to go after it. He went after it. He, he hasn't locked down anything. He's You're just right. playing You're very right. good poker. You're right. Could you be seven high? Be honest. Could you be seven high? Okay. Definitely be seven high. I had seven, six of clubs, so. All right. Hooch tells AA his honest hand and opens here with the jack seven suited. God damn it. You guys won't let me fucking play a pot with Jack 7 suited? 
hell? Are you supposed to give me action? You, you have me crushed, man. Uh, what am I going to do? So we've been building up this guy, Kerwin. I assume he's showing up any minute now. Yeah. You can hear him in the background. He showed up with some money. He's going to the cage. You done? Here, let's, let's finish this off. Let's finish this off. Mooch is, uh, again, putting the peer pressure on AA to drink some wine. We're gambling. Let's go. You're, you're invited. You got a seat. You got a seat. Let's go. You want to play, sir? You can go play. I got a seat for you. Shota opens with the queen jack off and the cutoff. Is it 500? You want to put them in the game? No, I, I can't afford to put anyone in, a, in this game right now. I can barely afford to play on self. Flats the pocket fives from the small How much is it? 500. Make oh, and Mooch wakes up to a real hand. 1,500. How good kings here? 1.5 G's, guys. And that's a tall stack of chips, I'm not going to lie. So that's a three bet to 3,500. Don't, don't, don't fold again. You don't want to fold. Come on. Don't, 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 don't fold. I have a good hand. I have seven deuce. I have seven deuce. Don't fold. Ian, don't fold. <laughs> don't fold. I have seven deuce. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> you liar. Uh, Look at this tall stack of chips. Rebasing Rogers, saying that AA guy is so much fun. Yeah, he's been quiet, but he's been battling. I think he's been playing incredibly well all night. I can tell that he does a lot of theory studying. And he's been trusting his instincts in these pretty tough spots. Like, yeah. that sixes. I don't know if that was theory approved, but it was a great play. He read him perfectly. Yeah, I don't know about theory as much, but I know I feel like he read Mooch and decided yeah. that... Uh, that that was the right play and it worked. I mean, it helps they turned the gut shot and he knew he had some more outs. Yeah, exactly. But I definitely that's just he read Mooch for week and went after it. Yeah. I'm out of there. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. You call 600? No, but I'm I'm in the hand. Um, you know what, Alex? He's a good guy. I'm gonna call 600. So Alex opened the cutoff with King five off and Mooch is. Defending the big line with A7 off. Were you the straddle? Yeah. yeah. And Alex, yeah. how flopped Mooch? Mooch does have some backup equity here. Yeah. Ace high, backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. All those flush draws covered. Yeah. I may have just bet fold on the flop. What are they rolling more food in here for? Which one of you fat asses ordered more food? What the hell is this? Who ordered? I wish I could take credit. What is this? Who was it? What Who the it? hell is going on? It's like it was bad. Right, guys, saying commentator is crushing it tonight. Thank you very much for that. We really appreciate yeah, it. Thank you very much. And this is uh, Brendan's first time in commentating chair ever. First time coming. Well, I comment on life as I move through it. So. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but first time coming here, and uh, I really appreciate. All the direction and guys look out for you. He's been like these days. <laughs> yeah, I fucking saw the Tesla pull up. I was like, this. Is <laughs> like, I was, I was outside. I was like, this. So Alex is opening the hijack with oh, Ace Five. There was no. Off. Off. I was like, bro, who the fuck is? And he's saying, game is still on? Oh, yeah, we're here for a while. Who knows how long? It's going to be a night. He's been texting me the last three days. <laughs> a three bet from AA on the queen jack suit on the butt just takes it down. That's my type of three bet. I love using those high double suited broadways. They're wonderful cards to use. He's a super pro. All right. Sounds like it. Stay out of his way. Huh? So does watching this game make you want to play cash more? So I used to play cash a lot, actually. Not yeah. a lot, but that's why I played before I played tournaments. Um, J JK is a super pro. I, I, uh, He's, I he's like the certainty. Yeah. I like. I, I have a lot more fun playing out of the tournaments. Game for me. And he did. He did. I do like the certainty of the finite amount of buy-ins, whether it's multiple bullets or not. Right. In tournaments. See, for this, Makes sense. Yeah. British Super Pro, because you know. You're but this is a fantastic game to watch, and yeah, it would be fun to play. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Foxen says, "By the way, enjoying the stream. Great job, both you two. Thank you very much, Kristen. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Kristen." 
fucking idiot. You're making it $600. She's complimenting us because every time I played at the table with her, she's ran me over and taken <laughs> yeah. all of my chips. So this is the way that she offsets that. Yeah, she's crushed my soul. Crushed my soul in some pretty big spots, too. You tripped on your way in. They kill us with niceness. Yeah, it, yeah, I see it coming. It's coming. Hold on. Listen, bro. So Callan is three betting the ace deuce of clubs against Mooch's jack four clubs, and Mooch is not going anywhere. Mooch has ran ridiculously hot versus Colin. Insanely ridiculously hot. Uh, there's no way I'm dead with a big ace unless you got a bigger ace. And there you go again. It's a, it's insane. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's ridiculous. 2.5. But it is actually a hand that, a, a flop that hits Collins' three bet range if Collins was three betting. Yeah, so that's, uh, Mooch has to definitely play this a little carefully. Not quarter five, <laughs> but whatever. Of course, Mooch 25%. pretty much quickly calls right away with bottom pair. That's correct, 25%. Yep. Turn big bet. Oh, that's a nine, though. The nine actually would probably make Mooch feel a little bit more comfortable with his hand, no? On the turn. 3,000. Yeah, he also can start turning it into a bluff, too, which is pretty nice for him. Call, yep. call me with ace five. Go ahead. And he almost puts Colin on his exact hand. Yeah, ace king's good. He says, call me with ace high. I mean, I'm, if I had got ace king, I'm going to just go ahead and slow play. Just, just jam with ace king. Might as well. No way I have a nine. I never call three bell with a nine. I'm going to just let it go. Good read by Colin. Mooch had a good read on Colin, too. And the Robbie at Jack Ford. So, basically, oh, Colin Jack Ford. has yeah, it was good. ran over yeah, Alex. I'm going to check back and let you catch. I'm going to be honest with the whole table right now. If I say I have a big ace, I do not have big slick. Because can big I, slick... Can I, can I, can I, okay, so we've been running real late tonight. Uh, Brent and I have been in the booth for a pretty long time. So we're going to get some relief. So we've got Cairo coming in. He's going to introduce the other commentator. I'm Ryan LaPlante. I always have a lot of fun doing this stuff. I will be back next week, I assume, in whatever lineups we've got. Um, Brandon? This was fantastic. I love the stream. I love talking to you. I love the interaction with the chat. I hope you all have a great night. Apparently, this is going to go on forever and hopefully continue to be entertained by this. Yeah, Cairo always does a wonderful job. He is a creative director here at Bally Live Poker. And with that being said, thank you all, everybody. Have a nice night and have fun with Cairo because Cairo loves it. You. Wow. Yeah, no, we bought them a I hit a hand. How much you playing, Ian? I'm not, I'm not looking for a tell or anything. I just literally want to know how much you're playing. Yeah, black. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, perfect, perfect. That's all I need to hear. 2,000, 2,000. 2,000. Good job, good job. Yeah. These guys are fucking nuts. Yeah, I was in there in the room. I was like, yo, these guys are fucking nuts. Here you go, man. You got any good hands? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Ian. Chat. I'm going to let him see the free card. Wow. Oh, all right. Here we go. What's up, guys? Kyra loves you in the booth. I'm going to be joined by Tony. Chat. Chat Pro. These guys playing this stream are absolutely insane. Shout out to Mooch. You're good. Shout out to Ian hanging in there. Six. Ian trying to run it back up. Not a nice thing to do. If you guys are still watching since the beginning of this episode, let me know in the chat where you guys were watching from. Alex is low rolled, Ian. Yeah. You're getting slow rolled. I thought you had it. Sorry, Ian. I guess. promise you it's not personal. I think it's just very fun and it's good for the stream. So. purely entertainment, right? <laughs> and a little bit of money. The money that I blow yeah. is entertainment. Mainly entertainment, a little bit of money. Besides you poker. Probably some of the most fun I've had in my life is playing poker. Real. Yeah.
Okay. Uh, for Big Carl, yes. Okay. Yeah, he could just sit over there. Yeah, I'll just put him in CDA. I don't know why I would. If he wants to sit here, I guess. All right, guys, I'm joined by Tony. What's up, Tony? What is happening? You just touched down in Vegas. Didn't expect to be doing this, did you? Walked right in here. Cairo got me in here commentating, y'all. So uh, be gentle. We were in the studio right now having dinner, watching them play. I was like, this is a crazy game, isn't it? It's lovely. Uh, cats just getting off the planes, jumping right on the tables, and it's action, man. I'm loving it. Kicking off Super Bowl weekend. We go to this flop. Nine high, rainbow. AA with the Ace-4, a.k.a. the Imitation Aces. Nobody really connecting, but AA is going to continue with the C-bet. I see everybody in chat. I'm going to be reading along. I see my homie Rye Guy Poker in the chat. A lot of fans of AA in the chat. Not to be confused with Alcoholics Anonymous, even though all these guys are drunk off their ass. That's the, that man, Colin, is off the rails. Hilarious, man. These guys are the characters. Yeah, for sure. And it looks like we're bringing in Kerwin. There's Kerwin. Popped off the flight straight here. Kerwin, uh, eat. He's friends with Mooch and... Uh, Colin, they said he brings the action. I have a good feeling that he might. Ian's my boy. Ian's my boy. Kirby. Thank you, Andrew. I'll, I'll adjust that. But <laughs> you, you just got to play, right? Let's fucking go. Uh, 500. Curl, hey. Alex, we want shots. We we need lots of shots. Getting a getting messages from everybody. I'm adjusting the mic, guys. Thank you. Okay. Well, I didn't get a mic check before well, I got here. The disco ball to drop. It was set to Ryan Laplante's soft voice, and I have a very strong voice. Yes, that's fine. Yeah, anything? I have a good hand. He, he has a four. No, I got better than the big slow. Um, Five pairs of board on the turn. Yeah, I was only going to be ready for this. Wow, so I'm definitely on the best hand now. Ten of spades on the river. Eight hundred. Alex is actually best here with his four. But Mooch is betting eight hundred. Looking like a value bet, but can Alex find the call with four six? And he does. Four. And he's going to see the news that Alex called him with a better four. What a hand. <laughs> and they're going to chop it up. Oh, for sure. As a matter of fact, River saves him. <laughs> oh, man. The 10 plays, they'll chop. No. Yeah. Kerwin. I'll take Anger. What do you want? Yeah. Yeah. They got it. They don't have Azul here. Uh, the shot. Don Julio. Shout out to Andrew Kelly. He says, welcome, welcome. Soft voice guy loves Foxen a lot. Can't blame him. Ryan, Ryan loves the Fox, and that's his homie. Get five shots. But I love the guys that play Octo Crab way more. I've been uh, angry or just, yeah. Tony, you've seen me play Octo Crab plenty of times. It's a premium hand. It's a premium hand. I won't play it, but it's premium for you. Only for the few, the proud, the brave. And I'm a coward. <laughs> the Octo Crab. Yeah, that's yeah, he, he's I'm excited to see what kind of action Kerwin brings to the game. <laughs> Sit back, kick your feet up, get comfortable, y'all. We're dialed in. We're locked in, as Joey Ingram would say. Lock in, boys. You got it, buddy. I'm going to just call. Right, guys, saying, what up, Cairo? Are, are you going to the Super Bowl? No. I am flying back home tomorrow before all the madness starts. I have, I have been busy for the last seven days, 24 hours a day. 
<laughs> Hand number 145. Right, that's how you know we're in a deep game. Alex Foxen raising the ace five offsuit. 700 from the cutoff. He gets a call from Kerwin, Mooch, AA, and Shota. Everybody wants to see this flop. Six deuce jack. AA has the octo crab. He's feeling festive. Three dimes. Oh, he lets it go. Kerwin opens to 600. No one's seen him play a hand, but it doesn't matter for Moosh because he has 10 high and he also has $3,000 to throw in there. And Foxen. Sitting there with a decision after calling the 800. Uses a time chip. Thank you. Oh, he puts in the re-raise with ace high. I, really want, I know you're bluffing. I just want to see it. That's a nice hand. You had better. You had a better hand than me. Huh? And he shows him. I really like that actually. And Mooch, Mooch appreciates the action. Thank you. I had the best hand. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he. Had, I knew he. I knew he was bluffing. I just couldn't beat him. Welcome to the game, Kerwin. Speaking of Super Bowl, Tony, who do you got in the Super Bowl? Chiefs, the Niners? Yeah, I mean, Look, man, I can't go against my boy Mahomes. The boy is there now, what, the fourth time in how many years? This dude is... I think it's like five. This dude is something else. Uh, I do know it's going to be a close game. Yeah, Mahomes is going to do his thing. I'll tell you guys right now on the Las Vegas Strip, it is active. All, all sorts of weirdos and cool people and... I don't know if people putting 50k <laughs> in activity on my the my type of environment. Yeah, your type of environment, Tony. You know what? I'm gonna make it 200, and I haven't seen my hand. Colin playing blind. You guys know that's my favorite way to play. Raise. Not straddle. No, not. He wants it closed. He doesn't even want an option. What a moron. <laughs> raise. Thank you. I raise. <laughs> Complete moron. I'm not a complete moron. Thank you very much. They're calling calling a moron for not straddling and deciding just for it to be a blind raise. And Mooch with the Oxo Crab against the seven deuce by Shota. I got a two thousand dollar hand. Shota, you got a two thousand dollar hand? Or are you getting out of there? He obviously has two thousand dollar hand. He didn't call two hundred to fold for two thousand. Seven deuce versus octo crab. This is what I'm talking about, you guys. It's, it's late night poker here at ba uh, Bally Poker Live, and he's getting four bet by seven deuce. Fuck! I had eight three. <laughs> oh my god. And seven deuce apparently is better than octo crab in this situation. Okay. I wish I wish Booch would have sent it to the moon. He, we never told him. He shouldn't have to pay. Okay. Yeah. I'm down to play. You might have folded seven there's no bounty for the Octocrat, but there's a bounty for the, the seven deuce. Right. It's 200 a man. Last right. guy to fold 400. Do stand up again? That's yours. Yeah. Let's this game is off the rails. You get a button. We don't actually stand up. Okay. I think he only to pay. Used to be 10, right? Yeah, but I, I assume he just gives yeah, two more. Yeah, he gives two, two, two more. Uh, no, no. No, he's supposed to pay double last one. Oh, he, no, he, no, it's yeah, 200, right? 200, yeah. I paid. Yeah, but from... Wait, it's from Camden, one? right? I paid four. I paid. I already paid four. Yeah. It should be 1,200, huh? Okay. Yeah. So scoop it. Yeah. Okay. Shota collecting the bounty. Yes. Last player, Mooch, having to pay 400. We're playing stand up now. Because he didn't send yeah. his octo crab to the moon. Uh, yeah, let's start now. As we take our chip counts right here, AA up top after that big three way all in with the aces. He's still up on the night. Kerwin coming in with 10K. Oh, shit. My bad. Ian making a comeback, hopefully. Let's look at our V pips. Will and Mooch up top. Will is no longer in the game, but he was bringing the action. Ian down there with Mr. Fox in and AA up top. 85 large, as Magic would say. Shota and Mooch booking a win. Ian throwing the party. His first stream appearance. I know. This will be a nice learning lesson, but it's not over. He could get it all back and then some. There's enough money on the table, Tony. And there's plenty of gambling, too. Yeah, we're on the Las Vegas Strip. Uh-oh. AA on the button wakes up with the snowman, and he runs right into the ladies. Let me 
second guess. Okay, thank you. One of two cards. Uh, a glass of wine, fine. You know, we'll you like Chad, uh, Colin puts in the three bet from the big blind. Now it's back over to AA. Makes the smooth call. And we're going to head to this flop. What a shot right there. Ace, king, four, two hearts. Queens hate it, eights hate it, but eights have position. And Colin is a psychopath. Leads out for 3,400. And AA is a non-believer. That should slow down Colin on the turn, but who knows? There could be a heart. Nope, it's a seven of clubs. <laughs> And does Colin ever slow down here? He, he's had enough drinks where... Solarian. He checks, though. Yeah. You know, are you hammered? And is he going to turn... Yeah. AA is going to turn eights into a bluff. I think there's more nope. drinks on the way, so we're Checks. Good. Four clubs. I know they did last call of And now Colin has to like his hand a little bit more, but he has showdown yeah, value, do so he's going to check. Really? And AA doesn't have much showdown value. Really? He can't beat an ace or a king. Okay. 22,000 in the pot. Turn? And he checks back. He's going to lose. Okay. Do you have Reposado? I can't believe I won versus the Super Pro. Oh, my God. I had an under pair. I won versus the Super Pro. What Super Pro. Right? Yeah, that's what the flop that always comes when I re-raise with Queens. Right? Every time. It's, it's Ace King. The fucking Ace King gets there. Do you have Ace King? No, he did not. <laughs> I don't know. Mooch, so one sleeve good. rolled up, one sleeve down. I Seems appropriate. Clean. How was the flight, Kerwin? Was there any turbulence? Nah. There was a lot of turbulence. Where'd you fly flight. out, uh, DC? Yeah, Dallas. I did, Dallas. I flew out of Charlotte. There was tons of turbulence. But I was Wait, sleeping the whole time. Move. No, I oh. flew from, I flew Rhode from, Rhode I connected. Well, but like I feel like I was like I sleep from talking. Oak to Virginia. I was like I was like half asleep, but I was like mumbling in my sleep. I was sleep I sleep talk. The guy that was next to me probably thought I was crazy. Really? Yeah. No, you don't say yeah, so, Mooch. You don't say so. There was only one guy next to me. There was no one in the middle seat. It was it was very good. And I slept like two thirds of the way. This is six hundred. Big Ian. Okay. <laughs> He's running away from me. You know, Ian's a super pro, so stay out of his way. All right. We've been talking about this vocabulary word. Do you remember what it was? Um, uh, it, it was very big. It was a big word. It was um, patronizing. <laughs> How much is it? The six. Wow, that's a big raise. Fold. Serious? No, no seven deuce. Dude, I swear to God, I haven't been dealt seven oh, yeah, this entire you. game. I haven't. I would have went for it. So chill. I haven't been dealt it this entire game. Patronizing. That's some change. Really. You like that word? He's sucking Duolingo. Or not Duolingo. Uh, Membeam? Membeaming it. That shit. Everyone. Yeah, dude. Thank you so much. Colin, big Colin. I mean, man, big Alex. This feels like a home game, guys. This is a live stream game, high stakes, but this is definitely feel, have the feels of a home game. I love it. Pass out and not be able to play poker, but that's fine. Just the boys kicking it. Yeah, you're way behind. Yeah, hey, you're way behind, Curl. Your ass is fucking behind. That bottle of the truth. Your ass is versus, versus kings, and you got kings. You're behind. I'm going to hit the king on the flop. Yes, there ain't no king coming. Bottle. We need an entire bottle. Oh, give him two behind. Give him an entire bottle. Hey, can you take it? It's early. Oh, well, night. I'm going to go. You know I'm going out. <laughs> max, max. Whatever the most Straight to the flop. we can buy is. Like somebody. I, I kinda Eight, like nine, six. Yeah. AA top pair, top kicker. Yeah, Open ender though for Foxen and he checks it. Now AA has top yeah. two pair. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll distribute them. Foxen yes. looking like he might check raise. Yes, yes. It's value time. 
Brother he goes thin Brother into an eight hundred dollar pot. Light. Two hundred bucks. Yeah, has a shot. Bet's a quarter of it. How you on? You already got one. Give it. If Foxen wanted to get spicy, right now is the hobble hot sauce moment to get spicy. And there it is. He grabs a tangerine chip. It looks like fourteen hundred. Yeah, I can't do them all at once. Oh, man, yeah, yeah. Give him a fucking Says the guy. Is it four bet time though? I mean, is it three bet time? Four fucking classes, right? Yes, Alex. Absolutely. Take it. Take it. Yes, sir. Did that one day. I forgot. You're only losing to seven ten and seven five, or a set. Dude, this shit is for me. Man. Yeah. All right, Cam and Motorola bink? Dude, nope. Fucking... Foxen just binks a 10, but it's not good. But is he going to continue and turn his hand into a bluff? That is definitely the scare card that's going to put fear into AA's heart from the super pro, Alex Foxen. These excuses. You had five drinks of Kase lined up at the table at MGM. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I had to warm up to that. You had to warm up? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. You were out before that. Weren't you? Uh, Foxen puts in 3,200. I'm barely conscious right now, Kurt. I mean, you were so like we fucking gotta... active, but... Like... And AA has a lot of equity here, but there's a four-liner to a straight. You're losing to Jack Queen. Did Foxen really check raise you with a gut shot? Is he sleeper, sleeper set, set trapping? And now the pressure's on, and he's going to let it go. Wow, Alex Fox had yeah, taken that one down. Come on, hey, hey, come on. we got a. <laughs> I was up 100. Oh, and now Foxen's waking up. Bottles of wine. Fucking three bottles of wine as well. Hmm? I won't be the only one to forget this time. Huh? You got a show to win, to get the chip in the yeah. stand up if you didn't know. Yeah, Erwin knows. I didn't know. Oh, oh and Foxen did not show his hand in the Nick game. That's so tilted. He did not want to show that bluff whatsoever. That's the most annoying thing. You win and you still have to... And now AA is going to have a feeling that he just got bluffed out of that hand. He got tilted with that one. <laughs> what is it? What is, what's... How much is it, Kerwin? A G, as you would oh, yeah. call it. I get a G. All right, I call. Call a G. And you were watching a bit? Yeah, a little bit. He <laughs> and Cam fucking so, love to gamble, uh, don't we, Cam? Yes, yeah. yeah, way earlier. If anyone's good for Did a You see when I got Ace no. King, 100K pot, aces and Oh, ace yeah, I saw that one. You that saw that I lost yeah. that pot, by the way. Yeah, he won, yeah. All right. Yes, he won. Yeah, Absolutely. Watch out there. for this guy, Kerwin. All right, I'm going to be careful. Here we go, Kerwin. Uh, 2,000. And right. Kerwin fucking fold playing Kerwin. the seven Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> 2,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mooch snap calls with ace high to backdoor oh, yeah. flush draw. Shota's out of there with nine. Yeah, <laughs> the I best hand's gone. Oh. oh yeah. King of clubs and Kerwin snap jams. Sure. You got a flush draw? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't believe He's got a flush draw. And Mooch calls. Okay. All right, run it twice, run it twice. Kerwin drawn to a deuce or a seven. Show, 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 show. Let's show. Show for the stream. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, you're what fucked. What the fuck? Oh, you're fucked. Kerwin. Ace, nine, or club, I guess. No, you, you're ahead, dude. What are you talking about? Hey, Mooch thinks he's behind. Oh, I thought he had seven, three. Bro, I can't see well. Yeah, you're, you're, he's dead. Okay, first board goes to ace high, and Shota has to be kicking himself right now. And Mooch scoops with the ace high. Seven deuce what? game is on. You would have fucking won huge if you won. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I did. Are you out of chips? You got more chips? Yeah. Okay. okay. If you need more, or just go over there. Okay. Kerwin didn't make it to orbit in before getting stacked. Ace high. All right, thank you. Kerwin playing like me. What yeah, that's definitely a Tony play right there. Who are you talking to? You mean the fuck I'm doing? Tony will, Tony will jam I'm me right in that spot and go, back. it's time for the big boys to play. Get out of this hand, Cairo. <laughs> that's my Tony voice. 
Kerwin's right. <laughs> having fun. He's like, why did I do that? I mean, that was a like valor and effort with seven dudes to turn the fuck straw. Yeah. That's a good term for it. I would have done the right. same that's exact thing, to be honest with I you. I need to get the same. I just uh, haven't. Yeah, that's fucking unlucky. Believe it or yeah. not, I have not been se- I have not been dealt seven dudes once tonight. I swear on my life, I have not been seven. I have not been dealt seven dudes once tonight. Um, why are you that's putting 300 out there? Is it two? Four, four. Yeah. Deal me seven deuce. I'll blow it off. Give this guy aces. <laughs> give me, no, give me seven deuce. I'll blow it off. Stack the quote of the night. So why would I put on it? Right? <laughs> put on. I ain't gambling if no one else put is. On if the fucker to my left ain't gambling. And Will had the same idea. I put on. Who's going? Yeah, I'm not a leave. It's, well, like, it's somebody's go. Tony, did you expect to hear a Young Jeezy reference right now? I did not, but it is Black History Month, so uh, I'm Hell very yeah. appreciative of that. <laughs> Shout out to Black History Month. Shout out to Young Jeezy. Yeah. Start showing. Sure. Thow Wow? I believe it when I see it. Who made it a Thow Wow? One G. I think he's a pro. It's literally just one G. <laughs> Thou Wow called. I call it Thou Wow. You can see after the play. Just because he is in. <laughs> literally only because he's he is in. Really bad, so he I love hearing that. It makes me feel right? so good about my job. <laughs> I figure. Well, you're very good. That's why you have bought in for so much. That's the reason I called. And yes, you're a very good player. Okay, is it your go? so disingenuous. No, no, no. You're, you're very patron. Pa- patriotic. That's why you're patron. Uh, yeah, patriotic. There you go. That's all right. Really? Yeah. Ian, yeah. do you hear that? Am I the charity case now? Everyone, everyone's telling us to stop. Oh, like, man. Am I like Poor Ian. Um, I'm going to make it $6,000, you are, buddy. Okay. Oh, my God. Hey, this is a big deal for you. And you know what? I'm, I'm happy that Mooch you, you just... Know, you, You've come along with Blasting 6,000 into yeah. Alex Foxen's bluff. You know, you need to ask the AI if they would fold oh, 10 versus me. You know, it's a very good fold. I, I can think. just ask Ian instead, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ian, just, just ask Ian. Uh, yeah, just give me a second. I'll just... I needed time banks to decide if I needed to re-raise with the gut shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mark Smith in the chat. Everyone is getting Kerwin's number five. for their next home game. You have all five. Cairo, is that wow. why yeah, you oh, invite me to all your home games? He's a super pro, by the way. No, it's actually why I get invited to every home game. People, <laughs> people see me play hands blind and octo crab. They're like, yeah, get this guy here now. I want some of those those valley dollars. He's playing like a fucking donkey. He folded and I had king eight. <laughs> Jenny, I see you in the chat. Hey. Hey, little poker chef. I uh, had the nuts. Shout out to Mihei. Mihei's watching. Love of my life. Mihei! <laughs> it's all fun. Did you min raise? Okay. <laughs> oh. I mean. <laughs> I'm not fucking folding. Alex. <laughs> uh, Alex Lee in the chat. Our producer says, these kids got that sh- money. <laughs> You're such a fucking six six dude. deuce. Alex Fox and this guy is a fish alert. Pair of twos is actually good right now. Yeah, we in Mr. Minaret is pretty Camden, awesome. if you don't know who the fish is at the table, it's you. Camden, man. dude, what did I do to you? I feel like this is, I mean, I, I'm sorry. You yeah, I feel like you ever play poker with Camden if you think he's picking on just you. No, no, it's not just me. I feel like he's a little salty about, you know, his vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> not vocabulary. <laughs> All right, listen, I know I'm from Texas. You don't have to. Ian bets out and gets snap re-raised by Kerwin's. <laughs> Flush draw. I'm a hillbilly. All right. Fold. 600 into 3,000. Let me. Alex Foxman, let's go to Ace of Hearts with the dudes. I want to see one of your motherfucking hands, man. For real. I guess I got to see a little. No way I can call it my hand. Uh, Yeah. And Ian makes the call. Queen of Diamonds on the turn. Kerwin now with top pair and a flush draw. Ah, big Kerwin. He said all the win. <laughs> Is that patronizing? <laughs> big Kerwin stuck it in your ass. <laughs> Get right. Is that patronizing? Oh, man. <laughs> Some oh. bastards, dude. Man, I had the queen. And he shows for the stand-up game. He doesn't forget. I was wondering if he would forget. <laughs> It's a, gr- a great hand. One of my, my dollars. Fuck. Kerwin comes Who off the plane. Who the fuck doesn't have a button? Kerwin comes off the plane and starts Obviously fucking beating us off. Yeah, you never had a button. You'd... <laughs> Dude, why am I here? You, you just drag me along and... Straight off the fucking flight, man. 
Yeah, I can't even get it my is. footing. Bro, you won't believe city. how much money I'll slap because I mean, we're talking you about Kerwin. Not, you can't even oh, guess how much Either money. Either the guy you're from the Take a guess. You arrived from the yeah. hundred. More, more, a lot Dude. more. More. What game were you fucking playing? He fucking <laughs> lost a quarter mil. He did. He lost I played hundred. with Nelly and Dan Bozerian and I lost 230,000. <laughs> there you go. Where'd you guys play at? Are you? Yeah, oh, yeah, I need a. I'm gonna play there before I leave. Yeah, yeah, you're you're gonna I got, play there. I think someone told me about a game Friday. I got a text for it. I don't know. I'm gonna get a text for a lot of games after that loss. But everybody in the world is gonna be texting me asking to play. I know, I know, I know you're here to, to gamble, gamble. I'm here to, to party. <laughs> yeah, yeah and gamble fair. a little bit. I, I kind of want to party with you. I, like, you already know how I grow. I mean, I'm, that's King Jack two, saw spades, Kerwin with the nut flush draw. Like, yeah. like Alex Fox and middle I mean, pair. I don't know what time it is, but Loki after this, like. It's 10, 17. One thousand. Kerwin with a basically pot size One bet. One he made it a G. He made it, he a, made it a dime. Ten dollars. Whose go is it? Fold. Good fold. Or good call, or good, Sorry. good bet. Kerwin got Mr. Momentum on his side. Let's go. You know, Black Little History Month. You ever play Fortnite? As you said, Tony, yeah. coming in strong. Yeah, I know. I bet I'm the best at this Cam, table at Fortnite. That's a great conversation starter. Fortnite? Yeah, yeah. of course you're I bet I'm the best Fortnite player at this damn table. I've never played the game once. Shout out to Mark Smith in the chat, this legend. Mm -hmm. Cheering along. I'm better than you're ass. No, you're not. Yes, it is. I am. It's a black kit. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going 100, 100. I'm the oldest motherfucker. Put 100 out there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the oldest guy here. When I was listening, they were talking about who's the oldest. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Action is on seven. Four. 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 Call. Curran looks down at eight, five of diamonds and says, this is a raising hand. $3,000. Mooch with a very similar hand and Colin with that almost identical hand, just different suits. But Shoda, he's been quiet. He's usually the action player. He lets it go. He's 10 from the straddle and Foxen's gone. They're like, I don't want to be a part of this madness right now. He's still going one. You got anything there, Kerwin? I'm definitely betting because of the, the face cards. All right, whatever this is. I, you know, I have a very good hand when the face cards come. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's a very good hand. I have the face cards. You're right fucking hand. bluffing. It's not a good hand. You don't have ace king, though, all right? Like, it's, it's a very what? good. It's over 500. We're good. Really? Mooch takes advantage, leads out. Man. It's a very good hand. Ace Invest king. in Tau. Selling Tau? What? You were selling Tau? Yeah, I was. He was the ultimate seller. Yes, he I was the ultimate seller. Bro, this is... He gave up. The ultimate... You got any Tau? The biggest seller of Tau was you too do. young to play this serious? game. Uh, Cam late. Archer trolling me on Twitter. I forget. One My one. own homeboy. It ain't too late. You did a 3X. Yeah, but when you hear this clip, Cam, I mean, it was on my radar. Way. I gotta play my mind. Go sit your lyrical it. miracle yeah. ass yeah. down. You're the first person it. I've met. Yeah, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Alex, 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 Alex. Really? Alex. Yeah. This big guy mine day one. My big one. Yeah. Alex. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's just hear me out, Colin. Big box. All right. Sorry, I didn't mean to. No, you're good. It's fine. Is that you fucking? This guy got me into Tao. The master of the Tao. 2021. Big one. 2021. Translate to poker so well too. Here you go, Kerwin. about Tao the other oh, night. How's it mine? You? Are you fucking serious? Yeah, it was Yeah, think about your go. I a movie in my dream. Make it a G. I'm for the movie with Tao. I'm gonna make it three Gs. Weird. <laughs> Dude, you're <laughs> fucking with me right now. I swear to God. No, yeah, I'm I'm take some. I can't believe that. There's no Has the dimes. He's on fire right now. Oh, fucking Tao. <laughs> yeah. All in. Is that like all over your Twitter feed or something? Tell me how much it is. No. All in. All in. All in. Tell me how much it is. It was really weird. Why don't you take that? Kerwin says, Moose, you ain't got a hand. I ripped it with tens. In, in. This is a fucking sign if I've ever seen it. Like five? All right. Run it twice? When I had the streamer, when I when I. And Moose makes the call with seven five suited. You don't come to Vegas and not gamble. Seriously, like I'm fucking. I love it. Five, oh, I can't wait to see the 5 7 next to the 10. Oh, yeah, well, run it twice, boys. Take that away. Last night, he's going to ace it. What? Suit it in fucking suit me. Yes, yes. Curran's about to get all his money back that he lost in that all in with seven deuce. I won't actually do that. Yeah. Don't worry. I, like, I want to at least win the first. I mean, I get. Because, like, nah, I'll be yeah, okay. Matt, but I'm going to go. First on. board. Here's the flop. I to lose. What are you doing? Oh. Nine. Top set. A nine gives. Yes. Mooch the straight. Nine. 
Oh, spade. Nobody has spades. Spade doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> no. Put a spade out there. No, it's a give it to me on a spade. Are you? How old are you, Kermit? What everyone else? Nine. Kermit, how are you old are you? All right, all right. Four diamonds. That first board goes to the pocket tens for Kerwin. No, Ker Ker Kerwin's 27. Damn, really? And now we're looking for a five and a seven. Fuck. No. All right, how much is it? Uh-oh, here we go. Sweat time. 90, 94. He needs a club. 94. It's like 14 for Oh, no. There you go. Kerwin uh, taking down a $29,000 pot. 14-4. That's fucking crazy. You're lying about the dream. I swear. Kerwin, you're welcome. I gambled with you. You won. Go figure. I'm not that. I never no, win when like I gamble. Yeah, you're not. You're not thing to like oh, have super Alex, you're not, not over leveraged or anything, right? No. Not on talent. Yeah, why would I you never over, fucking why would you lose. Over leverage. Why would you have a dream? I never win. You're not fucking over. Whenever I gamble, I lose. That's why I'm so right, so. You win. Colin, you win. You win. You win. Dude, I'm looking for a sign, and that's the fucking sign. Yeah, man. And I was Alex, actually, man. Yeah, I was actually the chat room being weird. If you guys don't understand, you got two African American commentators right now in the booth. We're celebrating Black History Month all month. I want to see the count. I want to see what the fuck was. I want to see the statistics. Man. Are you familiar with the Put the stats Enjoy. on the, on the screen. Yes. It's Black History Month, y'all. We just celebrating. He's, he's not there with the <laughs> That's how. What is, you know what Tao is, like the actual word? Uh. That's what he's talking about. It's like, I guess good hand, Kerwin. Kind of. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like right? You're lucky. They, 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 they overpaid me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah dude. Yeah. 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 Spot on. All right. Nice hand, Kerwin. Uh, I know it. Like, I'm... all right. <laughs> Can we get the counts it? up on the nail screen? It. But it has something to do with Buddhism. I want to see how much money I just gave away. I got Yeah, I don't know what the Tao is. I do not know. Shout out to the Tao. These guys, the crypto bros, are going crazy. Go buy that GME though. The person who got me involved in GME to the moon. I know Alex Lee would got me involved in Tau. They fucking won. Rye with the W says no issue. Y'all boys chilling. Yeah, drop a one in the chat if you support Black History. Dumbass. I mean, if you're talking about the person who got you in, it's you morale. All right, 1.3 G's. Stuck. Here we go. AA with the fours, sailboats, like raises to 300, and Mooch actually has a hand. After <laughs> after jamming 5-7 suited, he has the image of steamed up. He's talking about how you got him. You got him in the. He got you in the towel, and now you're just talking shit. He did. That's fucked up, man. I ain't talking shit, man. I never talked shit. Showed it with sevens. I ain't never talked shit. Calls the 1200. You just laughed in my face when I told you. The poker table. And AA definitely priced in with a pocket pair. Let's go to a flop. 4100 in the pot. Hand number 156. You're allowed to do whatever you want. Oh yes. my oh, god. <laughs> Shoda found his spot. <laughs> Everywhere, bro. Unfortunately, Mooch doesn't really have anything here. Like, but he also like, has exactly. balls of steel. Says I'm a VIP. Yeah. I like, everyone likes me, man. Bro, your head's gonna explode. Puts 2,000 in strong. <laughs> and Shoda's gonna flat call this, want, obviously. Man. And that's what I like about Pope. But what does AA do here after myself. Shoda calls, after being silent but deadly? I don't mind losing some money if I can nope. be anything. F those four. Yeah, that point, I don't know. I mean, might as well, like, what, what are you doing at Virginia Tech, man? <laughs> Show the flop. You're right, man. Uh oh, and Mooch has the king of diamonds. Alex the two of diamonds gives him a draw to a flush. <laughs> Are there if the poker gods are out there, we need a no, we need the ace of diamonds on the river so bad. Just, uh, just poker play. Oh and no, Shota couldn't help himself. He couldn't help himself. All he had to do was flat call and get a diamond on the river if he only knew. Probably uh He never has an eight there, Shota. He never has eight there. And obviously he doesn't have seven deuce if you have four seven. <laughs> Surely you can. He never has he pocket deuce. So he, he, he can never you say, and I don't know Shota showed for the stand-up game, but... Your bag's not filled yet? Come on. Not at all. It's too much alpha. You can't give it all away. When he says not at all, my bags are not filled. You're the ultimate hater. I need to fill my order. I am. I'm. You know what? I'm the ultimate hater, and that's what fucking cost me. I'm going to fill somebody's order. How much is for damn sure. Cheating the towel? He was a non-believer. Is it my go? If Mooch made merch, I'm buying it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you don't got a button, do you? Okay, no button. That means I'm going to raise to, to uh, 3x. Super <laughs> The internet, internet poker turns. I'm going to 3x, since you don't have a stand-up button. 
put that in your solver and smoke it. How much is 3x? Thank you. 1800. Real raise. He has to do the math himself. Yeah. <laughs> That's 5,000. Yeah, it's 5,000. Oh, yeah. I ain't doing the math for your ass, that, motherfucker. Yeah, right? Oh, I forgot you're no, 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 so a so You're raising oh, yeah. you're raising right. Wait, what the fuck are you putting money in? No, uh, that's not your money. I okay. just retroactively decided to. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yes. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. fucking right, baby. I got position on your motherfuckers. Kerwin, did you call? No. Oh. No, it's just me and you calling. Oh, my God. I mean, what the hell are you doing? I didn't know he raised it. In. No, I'm sorry. I should have. I should have. Oh, okay. 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 You know, if it wasn't right. for Ian, I would never would have played poker and begin. You raised? Wait, raised what? Hey, Colin just realizing he got raised by Ian. How much? 5,000. And how much are you playing? Did you say how much? <laughs> Bro, get out of here. Crypto pun. How much is it? What do you? Uh, yeah, how much do you have behind? Can you see? Can you see? No, I, I, it's a lot of chocolates. Just, just get a little together. closer. Get a little closer. Come on. Three, three <laughs> chocolates. Is that three chocolates? Yeah, yeah. yeah. One. Yeah, time. Two, three. Like the, Two thousand. You're, you're gonna do an automatic force time chip. <laughs> Colin's having an existential crisis right now. God damn! You made it five k. You're making a pretty big scene right now, Colin. This is just a poker game. All right, dude, it's just a poker game I fucking call. Oh, all right. This is 100% home game vibes. <laughs> call them oh, feeling a little I sauced up. I'm a VIP, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Con says they're acting so drunk, yet yeah, nobody VIP. drinking. That's because the Tropicana ran out of alcohol after these guys got here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, we got these guys a bottle of Patron and Octo Crab yeah. on the flop. Colin has Colin. top pair. Ian has a nut flush draw. How does it not go all in with 17,000 behind? You said all in? Yeah. I said oh, Ian ripped it. And Colin is in a spot now. He has top pair with a gut shot. Tony. <laughs> How many times will you run it if I call? Uh, what's the max? <laughs> the max is four. Are you serious? Corey. Can we turn off the stream? <laughs> Can, we Can we turn off the stream, guys? Does anyone agree if we turn off the stream? I can run it four times. I know you got a big pair. What do you have? I have an eight. I'm literally being a knit right now, but I know you, you're the knit, you have the lowest V pip. Yeah, I have, I have by far the lowest V pip, and I'm stuck the most. That's, that has to be some sort of combination. And the speech play by Ian might work. You're all in. You got excited and went all in. Yeah, I got so excited. <laughs> he has ace high, and he just found out that he's being beat by a pair right now, but he is ahead. Look at the equity. I was in this exact same spot last week. How much is the it? The flush Sorry. isn't guaranteed, bro. But at least he knows he can run it multiple times. Covers it. 15, 16. It doesn't. 17. Seventeen thousand six hundred. That's, that's, that's it, right there. So I'll be down. How much I'll be down? You already thinking about how much you're gonna be down? Yes, because I'm losing. How many? Will you run it? How many times, Ian? How many times do you wanna run it? It's, it's I wanna run the right? maximum two. Yeah, two. I'll, I'll go two. You'll go two. Yeah. Two twenty-six thousand. Plus we got a. Uh, all right, so I'll be down. Thirty-four thousand. Ian, be honest with me, man. No. Dude, be honest, please. What do you want me to be honest about? You want me to tell your cards? You, you did a big bet over the thousand, over seven thousand over the oh, pot. I would only do it because it was you. Are you serious? Yeah. So you're, you have a bullshit hand? I mean, you can interpret it however you want. You have a bullshit hand or what? <laughs> this interrogation is never going to end until yeah, those time shifts are running out. Do you have a bullshit hand or not? What do you have, dude? Look at me. Look at me in the eyes, Ian. You're missing. You haven't even missed a Whose hand. Whose bag is that? My bag. Classic. Fuck. Here you go, Colin. Big Ian push. You pushed on that. <laughs> how much do you got? You uh, got the octo crab. Ian, Ian, just call. tell me one thing about your hand. Tell me one thing. It'll make a call or fold. I swear to God, I'll be, it'll be over. All right. 
Ian, Ian, tell me one thing. He's got the mask. What? Where's the clock? I can't see how much. Bill Helm would, would not approve yeah, of this mask right at Ian, all. Just tell me one thing, bro. NBA yeah. young boy would, though. <laughs> Mr. Shiesty? <laughs> Good God. Oh, oh shit. Why did he make it so dramatic? And he finally called. Oh, top pair. Man. Jesus Christ. You're never folding top pair. <laughs> Two I mean, times, two times. You can't fold top pair, all right? right? I, I can't. Why, Why do you make it so straight I, flush draw there? Got the lowest V pip at the table. First one ready? I'm going with. Well, that's the two of the diamonds was folded. Yeah, I'm going with top pair too. Kerwin. Corey, rip it. It's good diamond coming. Ten of hearts on the Blues, turn. Ace, diamond. Oh. Diamonds are never promised. Oh. oh. Colin feeling like a genius on that one. He just has to fade this one to stack his boy. Oh. Ace, oh. diamond. Six of hearts. Oh, oh, six, diamond, seven. Seven. Oh, seven. Oh, seven. That's two pair. Oh, six, diamond, seven. Oh, two, you're my two, two or a diamond. Two or a diamond. Oh, 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 no. He doesn't, he doesn't, no, he doesn't realize it. Motherfucker, it's Max's favorite hand. Two pair, you're busting. Oh, no. <laughs> Just absolutely nutty, man. Oh. He, he wanted him to fold so bad. So bad. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Colin, you suck. <laughs> that, they finally say, all right, come on, bro. That's not fair. It's good stuff. You can't that pull should it be possible. I know, you can't pull That's it. That's nuts. Me like that. <laughs> yeah, and then reverse slow roll. Ooh, let's go to our chip count <laughs> as Colin has moved up. Like he's, he's got the and it looks he's like Ian is going to have to reload. No, I meant the, the fact that... No, he he B-Pips, Kerwin up top. He came in here strong. Mooch obviously playing everything. Will playing everything. Hey, hey, Colin mixing it up. Showed it up there. And Fox and down at the bottom. 31% still respectable V-Pip in this game. Obviously, Alex is lowest, but besides that, yeah. <laughs> Um, Our cumulative winnings will left a little early throwing the uh, three thousand dollars out there with Alex Fox and making a comeback He was down over 60k now down only 37,000. I mean it sounds crazy to say only but yeah, right It looks like there's so many people winning here or like Kerwin, Colin, Mood, Shoda. Hey, hey. Like, right? Like, I'm not sure how much Ian is stuck, but he's coming back in the game or How much do you have? Uh, 30. Are you sure, dude? 30. That's He's adding up 30. No, points. you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Man, that's all. This is a big buy-in, Ian. Yeah, can I can I change? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a big buy-in. What's up? It's a big buy-in. A big buy-in? So just maybe think about it, all right? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Kind of feels like you're needling right now, Colin. Yeah, I'm needling, and I don't give a fuck. Five. Five. Six. Fine. Perfect. Okay. Small blind. Big blind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can't win here, man. Here go. I wonder whose fault it is, mine or? <laughs> I don't, listen, man, Ian. Muck the hand. I'm not sorry. Hands there. Dude, Colin, you didn't have to tell me you're not sorry for me to know you're not sorry. The needles are great. All the time for that. 600. That's how I like my home games. Full of needles. Full of alpha. Full of, full of dumb calls. <laughs> yep. Yo, Mr. Nitt. You got the nuts. I call. <laughs> Mooch raising the loneliest hand in poker. The Jack King on. The Jack King on. Flash in the pot. I mean, you win one pot. And the first become, rule of rounder. Get, get wrecked. Don't no splash the pot. Get wrecked. Shota and like Foxen are like the seasoned player, stream players, and they're just kicking back and letting the madness happen and trying to find their spots. It's hard when you have a bunch of DJs just DJing it up like this. And from the cutoff, Shota just decided to forfeit. Queen Jack off. Somehow Mooch has him. He told me to be careful. Oh, Mooch folds. He's like, no, nah, I'm not playing that guy. How much is it? 55. You're playing, you're playing more than me, aren't you? Double five. He's playing more than you, yes, because he's a better player than you. So I know he's a better player than me. Shout out to Leaf Morgan. Adios. Same stuff. I got, I got. Here we go. God damn. He's got 76.5 behind. All right, so, all right. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome.
big hours. The calculator. I like the calculator. The calculator. <laughs> I would have totally. The calculator. I would have called the calculator. Yeah. Colin, let's let's go. Fart, Let's go. Let's see a fart, please. Let's see a fart. down the dead money. Ten thousand dollars. Can we see a fart? Can we see a fart? I would. I would have called your hand. I said. Oh my you God! I would have called in your hand. You have? I made a top my goodness. Air flop. All right. Oh, yeah, I would have called with your hand. I you had a but I mean pre-flop. I think yes, one hundred percent would have called with your hand. Seven five two isn't ahead of his home board. Exactly. Exactly. Connor Woodland saying, "I'm hammered. Someone staked me to come play in yeah. Uh, yeah. play in the live in Vegas." <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Big Slick is <laughs> king. Close. Um, Big Slick is drawing hand and don't think it's close to an overpair. I don't like not. It's hand. not. I don't even. You Big Slick know. is not an overpair, and don't ever call it an overpair because you have to make a pair with it. Big Slick. Tom, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's always my go, man. On tilt? No, no. You're All right, I'm gonna make it 300. That's fair. I am being on. I agree. You're right. <laughs> that comment would have been uh, regardless of the law. You're right. How much am I in for anything? 300. Call. Call. Is this my angry orchard? Three players. Cam, is this my angry Check in the dark. Yes. Oh, wow. Big, uh, big move check. from Big Yeah, it is. Confuse you. Check. I don't want to check in the light. I've already to the seen this flop we go. Queen check. on that board. AA making top pair. All right. No, you're doing a great job. Check. Three of hearts. I bringing in the flush there. draw for Mooch, which yeah, might as well be the nuts. He has a middle pair as well with his yeah, seven. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. And Mooch, using all the brain cells he has left to make a decision. Call. And he calls. It looked like it was going to be more, but he's supposed to call. And a 10. Now that gives them both two pair. That is the spicy river here yeah, for AA versus Mooch. Probably don't have Let's listen in. If you want to bet really, really big. This is the time to do it. Uh, Mooch is thinking that's not enough. Wow. Could be a straight. I'm gonna use a time bank because I'm a net and I haven't used one yet tonight. So, um, so we kind of calculate the pot. Can you spread it? He's asking to spread the pot. AA is the guy on the left. Mooch is the man leaning over the table with a tough decision to make. This could be a little bit of Halloween. Oh, Hollywood. Two thousand. He says two thousand. Wow. And you just gotta pay him off here. You really just gotta pay him off here. Six. And here comes a raise. Raise the 6,000 and a call. And Mooch gets the bad news. Super muck. That was a yucky river. As soon as that 10 came off, we knew it was going to yeah. be fun. Very good raise, very good raise. You and the two of them. How many people are good enough to make that raise? And AA continues to play I smart. Do you versus Chip and Hunter coaching, Ian? 10 7 of hearts. Do you versus Chip Ian? Maybe it's not your. Yeah. Getting hit everywhere. It's all right, man. That's life, right? You got some towels, it's all right. Hopefully. Alex, I'm glad Thank you bought a towel. Me too. Man, tell a stand-up game. Yeah, it's alone. It's the longest one I've ever been in. Yeah, I'm not sure who's left in the stand-up game. But it looks like Kerwin doesn't have, have a button. Huh? You don't have a stand-up one? Yeah, he does. It's just us two that oh, you do. Two people left. Alex Fox and then Ian. We ever get our, uh, yeah, Alex Fox and Ian. Right now I see Kerwin's button in front of him. All right, cool. Q. I don't want to see. Arya has a lot of bottles. Okay. Are you staying there? While we yeah, wait for this yeah, next hand to get started, you guys drop a comment in the chat. Let us know where you're watching from so I can shout you out. Where is um Park Place or where? Park MGM? Park MGM. Oh, it's connected to Aria. Oh, it's right next to Aria. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. And then, I, well, I got to remember the world, world, too. So we we hope it. Really? Yeah, I, like I just oh, gave I like it. it. I told my friends if anyone wants to come, they can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, do you want an action? 
You're not going to the game, um, right? I already got action, but they gave okay, me okay, they're gonna give okay. me tickets to the watch. Party. I fold, I fold. We'll, really? Where? We'll fight fold, for I'm the. Fold, uh, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. Fight for the chip. I was doing yeah. somewhere. Fuck. No action for Alex because I had a bad hand, and you know I'm not gonna give him action with a bad hand if he's already got it. So. We're still trying to figure out if we want to go to watch party or not. Comes five, ten, eight. Wait. Both players yeah, got a piece of this action. Out, but I don't know. Oh, you Alex bet Martin. seven. Any plan? Backdoor flush draw. During the day. Middle pair. One of the, uh, these girls I know flying in is me to me. Ian We're with the swim spot. Get <laughs> fucking Kerwin's getting the fucking Manny Petty. <laughs> Not the Manny. I buy my fingers. Sure, sure, whatever. A Petty. <laughs> Fucking, and we get to see a I mean, river. man, that, if I had to guess, I, would, I, I believe it. So I'm gonna, I wanna go out, you know. You know yeah, 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 yeah. Here. There's a game tomorrow. I think I already got, and then go out. All right, I wanna, I wanna fucking, like I said, bro, I wanna roll with you. Like I wanna, I don't know if he told you. I told him how much I'm gonna play. Yeah, it's the table game, but like, I mean, I'm down, low key. But I'm like, cool, but I don't, I don't even know like two dudes here. You know, yeah. the girls don't, don't matter. Not yeah, I mean, I'm <laughs> sure like, like a few of us, like, yeah. I mean, I know a few I'm guys. I'm definitely like, want to spend like 5K at least myself. Yeah, like, I'm, I mean, I'm down for that. Five, I'm sure like, easy. That's, no, you're down, right? Work. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, Ian's down. Like, all right, yeah. Like, we're down. Yeah. I'm gonna see either Wait, Travis just, Scott, somebody. Exactly, right? Like, it's yeah. gonna be fucking lit. Like, I'm sure like this, this, this weekend. Too. Like this week, Alex, we fucking spicy look. Like race. we have to, we have to. Oh, I want to go out to some and a call. Yeah, we got to go. Someone got to. Right. So the thing, bad news. Y'all are all in. Fox and try to me after yeah, round and found out. Because <laughs> I was looking at this like one table. Ian, someone's gonna bug it. Making a little bit back. Yeah. yeah I think yeah, he's yeah, on his yeah. third bullet too. Do you have anything booked yet or no? No, but when I looked, um, all the it was only like one or two tables. Jason, Jason, he's still he's like. In. Your you know, there's bed. stragglers that are gonna come in that have money. Is it warm? Is it yeah, cold? Exactly. Tell me about it, Jason. Exactly. And tell her I said hi, by the way. But but you didn't. You haven't. No, I just. Okay. I want, I'm by myself. I want to confirm. I didn't want to book it and then go exactly by, by yourself, bro. Talk about bills. Listen, I, I, Ian, I think we're like, <laughs> like we, we, you and me. <laughs> you, you're not. You don't want to go out. <laughs> no, that's a joke. What? Like you. Th like I think it'd be fun. Where? At least to see. Wherever, wherever. I mean, no, fucking Carwin knows I'm the fucking anywhere. scene more than I do. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, I'm. It's fun. Exactly, bro. He knows the scene more than I do. Last time I'm here, I was like 17. Yeah. So. <laughs> I know, but like, I just mean like. Like you know the scene more than I do. I don't know. Same thing in DC. I'm cool. sure. You just gotta find whatever perform you like. And yeah, 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 yeah. Get a tip down. You have uh, girls all over you. Again? One in the joint. Is it? Promise of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Wait, are we playing this hand? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And it's the same payout? Yeah. Oh. So. But I'll be up chilling. Alex, just be careful with this one. I'm serious. I'm always careful. I know. I'm just saying, like, like don't. That, that's how don't make a move right is. now. Yeah, yeah. You're thinking about it. We're, already, we're already really good friends. I didn't know you. Big hand here. Colin three bets his ace jack suited. Alex boxing with the ace friends, king from the like straddle. <laughs> Ian lets go of his okay. king ten. Save me money here. And Colin's uh, never I'm folding to boxing here. Just like, I don't want to play this. This better be a spicy you. flop. Ace. He's super pro. Two queens. Scared. Two cards that neither of these players want to see. Black out. I can't. I need more. Backdoor flush draw for Foxen. Yes. Hey, and it looks like Foxen's going to get this through. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Colin leaves out for 3,400. Foxen makes the call. Seven of diamonds. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, he's he up. Colin checks, and does Foxen take the lead back?
out to all my Twitter spaces, homie, coming into the chat as we get the three of hearts for an octo crab board on the river. Colin snap checks, Foxen checks back, and he's going to win with ace high. Better kicker. Colin just had to blast that river, and he would have got it through. You lost? Nice hand, nice hand. Super pro. <laughs> you know how... Uh, yeah, you didn't really stand a chance, Colin. I know. So, but like, stand up, yeah. Do you keep up I with uh, WVU basketball? I try to, but... How have they been doing this, like, recently? I mean, they got a new coach, great coach. Who is it? Really? Josh, Josh Elliott. When I used to play there, he was our video coordinator. Video coordinator? Yeah. Really? Now, I know Deshaun Butler is an assistant. That was a long time ago. You I know Deshaun Butler is an assistant. Yeah. So as a, a walk-on. I can't believe nice. we need we need Huggins back, man. How, how important are the coaches? Like, very. Really? Very important. Yeah, so if, if Huggins was coach. You're, you're 19, especially some of the players that thought they were the. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, you know, something's gonna keep them checked, so they, they stay in line. I knew, some of the, I knew some of the basketball players at Virginia Tech. Uh, my freshman year, mm. who like to fucking party. Yeah. And they, were, they are not basketball players anymore, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Literally, I swear to God. Are y'all ranked, like, normally or not really? Like, we're, like, a little bit below that, you know? Like, we're not, top, like, top 50, probably? Probably, yeah. Check. But, yeah, they're not basketball players anymore. That's probably because the coach couldn't keep them in line. Ian with top pair. Kerwin with the mystery uh, hand, but it doesn't matter because yeah. he threw it into the muck. He made... Yeah. Open yeah. ender for Shota though. Yeah. The culture. The culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 I bet and Shota just so moved close to the five. Yeah. There's I, a I five again. Like a lot of sports. Like I was. I mean, I was cross country and track. Ian. Like, the culture and cross Most likely going to continue into this twenty-six hundred dollar <laughs> pot for <laughs> eleven $1, hundred. It looks like. I mean, it's the same. It's a reasonable it's price for Shota to make that call. The one thing I remember him saying is, "You got to be bigger than your." And he does. Big Huggins, man. Big Looking Huggins. for a nine or a four. Yeah. Doing shit. That is an eight. I bet, I bet Huggins yeah. Shota has showdown value. Doesn't want to bluff it. And man, it's the fucking Ian. same thing in any any sport. Like like if you're good enough, if he like, could do something, fuck. but he checks, he's still gonna, gonna win. Be fucking fucking great if you want to fucking fuck around. But then when I first went there, compared to when I left, I mean, it was way uh, different. Really? Like we were really burning couches and stuff. Then they made it a felony. Then like. Yeah, There's yeah. A lot going God, on. I love Couch. they do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's lame. Yeah. Burning Make sure you guys are downloading that Bally yeah, Live app. Thank you to our sponsors, Gigi Poker. Housing. That where we great game. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The function. Yeah, helping. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Yeah, man. Happy. Like, happy to have you here. Cool, where like everything got tamed down so yeah. hard. Or BC, BC, BC. I mean, they had that hazing thing. It was on like CNBC, where the kid died. Oh shit! Yeah. Everywhere. Well, they like got him super drunk, so and then was that a lacrosse? Yeah, that's player? a bad look. It was at a uh, frat fraternity. Oh uh, no, nah, it was just a guy pledging. Oh. Damn. W man. Yeah. Football games are the best. They closed down most of the fraternities on fraternity row. Yeah. Went to shit. My Ian Davis in the chat saying shout out to Kerwin. We see you, Ian. I love how you look. Coco and Snoop Dogg to the moon. Shout out to the Twitter <laughs> Space boys, Coco and Snoop Dogg. Right? Uh, Law School Hill. Hill. It's two to the ace. You get those a lot. Yeah, you're good. You're ahead. That's like a super you, You're supposed to bluff with the stand up game again? North Carolina in the house. Minnesota in the house. Montana in the house. I didn't even hear it. Yeah, me too. Me neither, but I got a button. I'm Ian has a button, too. I was just telling the student ace for fun. These are nice. Shout out to Alex Lee putting together a great game for us today. They're pretty looking. Okay. see you in the yeah. chat. At least looking. Honestly, yeah, that's what I think we should do. Probably let you take I think it would be fun want. if we kind of, <laughs> if we went to a 1-2 game. That's all I put in. <laughs> and we kind of blew it up. Mm. <laughs> I can't get unstuck in a 1-2 game. I had to I just think it'd be funny if we kind of went to a yeah, one-two game and then we waited for I'm, a ninth player to sit and just I'm like stuck six fuck figures. With them. I'm not going to get unstuck in a one-two game. Like, I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. <laughs> the one-two games are where the real men play. Go. We all know that. <laughs> they, would, they, they would, but then there would be a new one to so come. Funny, a rotating cycle of just... No, yeah, they, they obviously hate that, but like, a new one would come. Shota with the Octo Crab. Yeah, I want to play one of your 200, not one-two. I know, I know. It's kind of mean. Oh, he folded it. It's pretty funny, I think. But they just get so mad, like, the, for some reason... Yeah, like, yeah, it's like... Oh, it actually... Alex Fox in three bets from the small blind to 2,000 with Ace Jack off while he oh, continues in this conversation with Colin. We'll flop. listen in. I'm ready for a flop. horrible opinions. Then I do. Just a goddamn idiot. 
Nobody connecting with this board. Why are you getting involved? Fox and Seabets. 1600. I like your watch, Camden. Oh, oh thanks. Everyone likes Camden's watch. But well, Holland has days high. go as well. It's a nice watch. Mucks it. Fox in with the superior play. Man, that was the best. Thing. I know, but I, I thought I. 11.55, man, or 10.55, 10.56. Uh, there you go. Right? There we go. Yeah. We're, we're watching, man. Everyone always says this watch looks like an AP. It, it does look like an it's AP. Like he gets a lot of compliments on that watch, really. I, I, should, I should buy that watch. I guess he could have bought one yesterday. It's a Swiss-made watch, though. <laughs> yeah, why, why, he be, instead he played poker. I could have bought 10 APs. <laughs> OK. No, okay. I was at a watch the other day. A good one's like 100. We get a high-quality <laughs> shot by our director of Mooch's yeah. watch. You can get yeah, an AP for like 20, 25. No, not a, I don't know. Maybe like the ones that look like this. What do you have? This is just a Mavada. Cade McLaughlin. I probably really butchered right? your last name. Oh, South Dakota in the chat. Oh, I had an AP. Yeah, I mean. Can you see that, Colin? Oh, an AP. Too many people getting yeah, targeted for that shit. It's yeah. an AP on a group. That's, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Or like oh, right really? there. It's yeah. AP. You know, it looks exactly like my walk. My I if you look at it really yeah, close, I've heard, it's it's heard, I just heard so I just saw AP right there. Yeah, it's bad. Like, oh, it's a real AP. The I'm links look like a lot like AP. Carmen, it's your go, buddy. Yeah, I'm good with the diamond. Hey. Probably. You shouldn't I don't, do that. I don't think anyone hey, would you that really should this. not do that. Cut your arm off. Yeah, I hope not, dude. I paid. I mean, you got some serious. You're gonna yeah, whatever. Me when we're playing high stakes. I got some good mileage. Yeah, yeah whatever. whatever. All right, man. Someone's, you're gonna pay for that shit in the future. I'm being honest. I can't tell you the time. Go. Okay, here you go. Check. Yeah, I got the dual. Those top pair for Kerwin. The Garmin doesn't do the. Got a backdoor flush draw for Colin. They do, but it's like the UI is like not as pretty. Hello. Everybody gets your. If we want to play quick, we can play. You actually use one for the time. I don't. I'm never using a time thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, I thought I was using. I use one time thing. Twelve, three x. You run there. Race to twelve. I'm training for race. Ten. So I'm done Ryan using time Ryan things. Takes it down. A runner, runner, baby. Runner, runner. Unbelievable. Pain. I have the 10 6 of heart. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Ian, are you going to play any hands or you can keep rebuying? <laughs> Do you have like a schedule to say that every like 45 minutes? Absolutely. You caught me. <laughs> <laughs> Colin getting paid off. <laughs> Kerwin had a queen. I was runner runner tent. <laughs> what do you want? Hey, Hank the Tank in the chat. Shout out to the homie. I'm uh, I need a lot of. I love Hank, man. I'm, I'm kind of. Who doesn't love Hank? We got a bunch over there. You need to take a nap. He's no, the coolest man. guy ever. Maybe some bread. Would that help? No, I need. I need. Uh, I do not need. I need stimulants. <laughs> All right, two super pros. I'm folding. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow, you really must be. <laughs> Top pair for Shota, backdoor straight draw. Shota's going to show. Get his button <laughs> and continuing to just print money on this game. Shoto's been quiet, but he's been sniping, but he's been action. It's been a good combination of all of that. That was badass. I know. That's why I did it. Yeah. Who's got a button? Who doesn't know? Who do not got a button? My fucking button. Are you hungry, Ian? No. He's no. hungry for some big pot. I'm starting to get hungry. Are you are you thinking of do you want dinner at some point? It's later later. than midnight. I know, but I mean, later. It's, it's not. We're on loving. poker schedule. We can eat dinner whenever the fuck we want to. Sure, buddy. Mr. Mustache. Colin. Mr. Mustache. Mustache threw into a beard. That's, looks that's, like he's where, where's the uh, Where's the jacket? Suit and tie. What the hell? I got raised? Me? <laughs> Three bet from Shota. Oops. And Colin with nine, the Gretzkys. Doing some Hollywooding. He 
Good audition for Napoleon Dynamite, I'm too. Of the map. <sighs> Psy call. That's never good. I'm trying to figure out how much more you need to call. Nobody want, none of the guys that are drunk want to play Shota. Well, how does Shota size up this hand? No, he checks. You check? Yep. Are you giving up? <laughs> it's a very transparent question. Shota enjoying that bet. It's a big bet. Ace high is good a lot of the time here. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, huh? Ace on the river. Check. Nope. Check. Ace high still calling check. This is so sick. Yeah, it's like fucking fuck. Ace. Yeah, Ace on. Ah, give me the pocket pot. <laughs> give me the pot. <laughs> oh my God, Colin slow rolling Shota for no reason. Pot. Shota's taking it on the chin. He's enjoying this guy's energy. <laughs> scoop -ski, scoop -ski. Can we get some scoop skis in the chat? Carwin, what do you think that's about that pot? Every hand, I mean, if I go to hand with you, I'm just going all in. I'm not even raising. Yep, that sounds you're like Carwin. Heads up, mm -hmm. all in. Yep, it. I believe it. Not. You're not. You're telling the truth. I, I swear. <laughs> scoop ski. Uh, sounds scoop about ski, right. To be honest. Scoop ski. Scoop ski me the pot, <laughs> sir. I beat the nit. <laughs> yeah, man. I need to double up. I need to win it all in. Mooch with the most southern voice. Put it all in there. Southern comfort voice. Boxing, 600 is his nickel. Three dimes. Queen 10 suited. Might as well be the nuts here. Here you go. Colin does not like being in, able to see the flop. And Foxen says, I have a pair, which is the nuts against Mooch. Mm. And Curran's Jack Big Nine off. Big pot. Jack. Hard stack. Check. Did not come. Check. Not a bad flop for fives. Okay. I'm all in. <laughs> all in. Bro. And Kerwin just ripped it. Not a lot. He took all my money. Eight grand with Jack High. Do we have a new Robbie Jade Lou in this one? Seven. Like you're holding, like, small this is definitely a GG GG moment, I'm Tony. I'm glad you're having fun. And oh. Mooch calls with Queen High. Five Are you hours. kidding me? What have a four is happening? No, I do not. Okay. Show you, right. no? you want to show? Uh, maybe. I'll maybe. show if you show. Nah, just run it. All right, run it. I want to be a surprise. Twice? Twice? Yeah. Twice. Those are high. <laughs> they had it all in already. Right. There's an ace. You got higher than me. <laughs> All right, run around. Twice, twice, twice. They need a king to chop. Okay. Am I good? Not the first one. Actually, no, Mooch gets that. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know I don't even know how you call that. Because oh, he's a fucking maniac. You, know, fucking fucking you gotta wonder who's a maniac. I, get I, know, the best I know exactly what he has. I thought he was. And Fox and Fox and folded a winner. Jesus Christ. He's a maniac. You gotta <laughs> expect a maniac to make a maniac play. Put a jack or a nine out there. Put a queen. Put a jack or a nine. Let's chop it up. Wait, an ace would be. I like Kerwin's heart. A okay, six would be a chop. Jack or a nine or a six. There you go. And Mooch scoops after calling with queen high. Just unreal. Unreal. Jack high goes all in. Queen high calls. Wow. This is good. This one's making the news. Out of all the shenanigans we've watched all night, this one is definitely going viral. Yeah. Tony, can you believe it? I, I cannot. I, I don't even know what I'm watching. All right, all right. You guys can look at the numbers, but everything's unreal. Who, who cares about the numbers at this point? <laughs> Double overtime here at Bally Live Poker. You're there. There's your cumulative winnings. They're not talking about you, by the way. Ian down 60 racks. 
Somewhere in between Alex and Ian is what? is. That you're intolerable. That's exactly how I want to be. Insanity. I, I still, AA and Shota up the most. Mooch and Colin still booking a win. They're definitely the two drunkest. And it looks like that's gonna wrap up our show here, guys. We ended on that. I am your commentator, Kyra Loves You. Thank you, Tony, for joining me in the booth. Good night.